Hello and welcome to Be a Tier, the German Engineer. Yes, today we are finally live again. How are you guys doing? I see Elfie Wolf, I see Keonis, I see Gabriel J is here, Croc Pro Player, of course, on board once again. And Puzzelina, is that correct? I would assume so. Bruce is here as well. How is it going, guys? Are we having an echo again today? Is that right, Croc? Is the audio messed up once again? Yes? Okay. Let me take a look at that real quick. Um, because I figured we would have that problem, it once again, unfortunately, reset my audio. So, let's see. Does this here make a difference? Is this any better, guys? Let me know. What do you hear? Anything good? Audio is good. Got no echo. Oh, you had it play on Discord and on the stream at the same time. <laughs> of course, the dad will certainly do it. All right. Well, how are you guys doing today? I hope you all have a good Saturday. And I don't know if you guys know, but we have a, um, a total eclipse coming up. And I happen to live right in the area. Jesus does not sound different and still weird. Maybe you want to reload your tab and take a look at that. And Cinnamon Night Entertainment is here. Sin is in the house. Very, very nice. And Che fixed it too. It's very good to see that it works for everybody. Cycle 1000. Oh, you, got, you must have quite a base together, I would say. Huh. All right. I would say, uh, let's uh, run it real quick. Let's get all our stats updated, see where we are. Read fibers at 304 units. It just showed 55. I was like, that seems a little bit low. I'm pretty sure we did more than that. But now everything seems to be fine. Driving down to Arkansas as we speak. Uh, to Arkansas? For the eclipse? Like, is it gonna go through there too? I don't know the exact pass. I'm located in Indiana, so my house is literally in the pass of 100% totality, which is pretty exciting, not gonna lie. Uh, certainly looking forward to that. I just hope we don't have bad weather. Uh, down here on the bottom, our zombie spores are going down slowly but steadily. Uh, probably another. I say 10 cycles. We're at 259, at 269, all these here will be dead. And look at this Cinnamon Night Entertainment. Sin is once again straight here. That is insanity with five gifted memberships. Sin, you are the absolute MVP. It is crazy, my dude. Thank you so, so much for that. I truly appreciate it. <clears throat> Uh, we are neighbors if you live in Germany. I do not live in Germany. I do live in the United States. I am from Germany. I lived there for 21 years. Uh, moved to the States when I was 21 years old. Currently, I'm 33. <laughs> did nothing. Oh, you did something. I can see it, and I truly appreciate it. <laughs> All right. Let's take a quick look here. Where, where are we even at? What have we done? Where are we going? I have no idea. <laughs> Um, crude oil. Oh yeah, that's right. We were messing with the crude oil down here last time around. Certainly something we need to keep up with. Um, these two humps right here, if you want, uh, that's going to be my crude oil storage. Once we have all the stuff here molten, slowly but steadily, we're going to work our way through all this uh, solid crude oil right here, and we're going to melt it all down. Um, but that is not a priority. We have currently so much crude oil that we don't even know what to do with it. Eventually, we have to convert all of this stuff here over to wonderful petroleum. But yeah, we will see. Hi, this is my first time here. I like listening to your tutorials, by the way. That is awesome. I truly appreciate that. And I'm glad they help you out. That is um, always nice to hear that it does help. Does memberships need to be renewed? I wouldn't have the money to do so. Uh, yes. Um, memberships do need to be renewed um, but if you get one gifted it just runs out after one month 
And if you don't have the money, um, yeah, obviously the streams are free. You don't have to pay a dime to watch me. Um, I just have the ad settings to the lowest setting anyway. So hopefully there shouldn't be too many of those either. And if you use an ad blocker, you won't see any. Um, it's totally free to watch me at any time. Um, and of course, no obligation to pay a dime. All right. Um, yeah, what are we going to do? That's right. Last time around, we took a look at the star map. And the star map right here shows us what we have. And I did notice we have a water geyser and we have a aluminum volcano, I thought. Uh, no? Oh, it was our, our um, iron volcano. Okay, we do have an iron volcano, not aluminum. We have a normal volcano. But this water geyser right here, that would come in handy right now. Because, um, yeah, our water reservoir down here is getting lower and lower. And currently, we are feeding our spawn with it, which is, of course, a slight problem. We don't have an unending water supply. We do have this cool steam vent right here that is currently dormant. And we have another one over here that we definitely want to tame in due time as well. But it would be really nice to find this water geyser, but we have not yet. Uh, when we take a look at the full map right here, it's either down here on the right, down here on the left, or up here on the left. Um, the two biggest areas are bottom right and top left on the bottom right. We have our beaters right here. So I think we should take a look into the top left first, at least in that general direction. And we're just going to come straight up here with a ladder. And of course, also with our fire pole to take a look. All right. Um, yeah. Um, make sure everyone likes the stream. I just did. I see Venom is in the chat. Of course, I listen to I see Venom. She knows best. <laughs> Maybe I'm just gonna tell you I stole your bedroom design for my new playthrough. This design right here. Hey, you didn't steal it. That is exactly what it is meant to be for in the first place for you guys to use to hopefully make your life a little bit easier. So I sure hope it helps you out. Uh, no teleporter on the stage. We do have the teleporter over here on the right. We will go through here very soon. I just want to find this water geyser. We need to get our water con uh, our water level here under control. Uh, before we go through the teleporter, because once we go through the teleporter, my attention will be basically 100% on our new planetoid, at least for the first little bit until we have our dupe situated. Um, so I would really like to have this one here running in a way that I don't have to be worried about anything at all. That is the general idea. Efficiency is efficient. <laughs> exactly. This thing over here. Um, I wanted to do it with this one here, but we have the second one and we might as well tap into it. It is actually currently dormant. I wonder for how long it will be dormant. Um, we should probably take this opportunity right here and tame it properly. And I think I'm going to try to use an old version of um, Francis John's design to tame a cool steam vent. I believe it should still work, uh, but we will find out here very shortly. So let's do precisely that. In base, we need insulated tiles. We need one space right here. We're going to come up a total of four and then we're going to come over to the left. So that's the first thing that we need. Of course, we need to dig out a little bit more to make that happen. And we're going to plop in a ladder. Just as simple as that. As usual. Trying to keep it straightforward and simple. We're going to leave those betas down here alone for right now. And that should be fine. All right, dupes. Of course, oh, since this thing here is dormant, we want to do this ASAP. So let's give this here all a number nine priority. Let's make sure the dupes can get here. Nothing is blocked off. Everything looks pretty decent. Yeah, the dupes should be able to do that without a problem. They just need to make it a priority and it should be fine. No problem. <sighs> Penland Steel, ahoy mates. Ahoy to you as well. Hope you're doing all right today and thank you for joining. This needs to be dug out, of course. There we go. We will also have to dig over here to the left quite drastically. Um, not entirely sure how high. We're going to try something like this here and then just come down all the way. Uh, we just need this space here, though. There's no question about it. Uh, top left right here. We are making our way up here. 
and we will see what we will find in this area here once a dupe comes by and we can actually see it. Iron Volcano is still working just fine. Very, very nice. And then down here on the bottom, I would really like this here to melt a little bit faster so we can uh, continue digging through all the stuff here on the right. That would be really nice. Uh, probably the easiest way to do this to help us out a little bit is to dig through here first. Once we have that, down here on the bottom, our crude oil is at negative 24 degrees. We're over here on the right, it's at negative 38.8. At negative 37.1, the solid crude oil here will liquefy. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to temporarily come along here with a pipe. And then somewhere right around here, I'm going to put in a liquid vent. Um, so we are basically just pumping the slightly warmer crude oil from the bottom up here to, to the top right. Very, very nice. A ton of steel. Uh, that's surprisingly low. Yeah, I haven't really made it a priority to make more. It's not like we don't have the resources or anything. I just forget to actually tap it in here. You are absolutely correct, though, Gabriel. Uh, we are going to justify that slowly but steadily over time. It's just something that I am prone to forgetting up until I need it. I'm like, ah, damn it, I don't have it. <laughs> yeah, that does happen quite a lot. All right, let's dig over here. And then we will take a look if we cannot heat this here up first. Because as soon as all of those zombie spores here are gone, we are going to dig all of this stuff here up. All of this here has to go. Don't want to see it anymore. And it should be fine. How is our build going? Down here. Looking good. Slowly but steadily. It's still dormant. I want to get most of the build done before we actually research this thing here. Or analyze it better to say. Uh, because it could be, uh, it could come online anytime. And I would not like to have this area here open when that happens. It's just a hassle to deal with. You can add doors through the lava to heat the crude oil a little. Yeah, uh, there's also something that I considered all the way down here that would be pretty simple. Um, yeah, right here. Unfortunately, we have a bunch of obsidian right here. The truth is that this is not really the best possible place to do that. Uh, because as soon as I build my doors right down here, uh, the next tile over will become, or these three tiles, you better to say, will become... Um, what is it called? Igneous rock really quickly. And at that point, the conductivity goes down to zero almost. But it's certainly something that we can try. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. But for right now, just to get those top layers you heated, this you will do. No problem at all. It will be safe. Oh, are you saying there's uh, no chance of a danger soup? <laughs> it will be safe. I've done that several times before, yeah, that, it's actually pretty safe, not gonna lie. Okay, up here. If you could build those last few pieces here, dupes, that would be highly, highly appreciated. I also don't know, guys, right in front of my door, somebody's mowing his lawn. So if you can hear that, I apologize. Uh, should be the neighbor. And I don't think his lawn is very big, so mm -hmm. that should be hopefully over soon. All right, last two pieces going in. Very good. Now, what are we actually going to do with this thing here? We are just going to get the water out at 95 degrees. Eventually, we will have a very long pipe going through the entire base and feeding this thing right here. That is the general idea that we have. So we don't have to use this water here anymore. We are going to use those two steam vents. Well, not this one, this one right here. That's our hydrogen vent. Um, to feed the entirety of it, and that should be sufficient. Um, yeah. No mower? That's good. I don't hear it? Very good. So apparently my noise cancellation software is working just fine. Thank you for your ads, uh, NVIDIA. <laughs> because I can most definitely hear it. All right. But what was I going to say? Yes, right here. We need to actually tame this thing. Okay, so right here we have our ladder. Our ladder will have to go because right where we are right here, we will need tiles. First of all, it should look something like this here. Uh, we need here some plates, here a door, and then right here more. Here needs an empty space, so we got to come up right there. Um, 
What this here is going to be, you will see very soon. I'm just going to plop in the basic layout really quickly. Um, once we have this right here, we are going to stop entering here from the top and from all over the place. We are going, uh, we are going to come in from the left through a liquid lock that we have to build once I know the actual dimensions. Uh, Shadow 8 Gaming is also here. Hi, everyone. Hi, back to you as well. Thank you for joining. I hope you're doing all right today. Uh, we will actually wait with this here for a second so the dupes can still use this ladder for now. Uh, right here. I believe that right here should be the place where we should be easily uh, be able to come across here straight. And the only thing that we need here, and that's basically deciding the size, is a steam turbine. And the steam turbine has to be, I believe, two places off, if I'm not mistaken, right around here. Um, yes, so here, right here will be a wall and it's going to look exactly like this here. Yes, that is going to be the end design right here. That is the size. Of course, we can't do all of this yet or the dupes will not be able to reach it. Also, this here cannot be done yet. Um, we're going to come out a little bit further and then we're just going to plop in a liquid lock. Something very simple like this here. The only requirement is that we have enough space to put in a pump right here. That should be simple enough. So let's take all of this stuff here out, all of this stuff here out, and then let's build us a few pieces of ladder straight over so we can actually reach this liquid lock. All right, dupes. Now you have plenty to do. There's no question about it. Let's plop that in here with lightning speed. Most of the time we are going to be working here in a vacuum, so that's going to be good. The basic, that accent, I got flashback with old style Ar 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 Arnold movie. <laughs> I'll be back. That's right. He's Austrian though, not German. <laughs> but that is pretty close though. Uh, you wouldn't believe it how often I've, I've heard that. <laughs> Since I live in the States at least. Another piece of ladder right here so we can go around. Very good. And you know what? Screw it. What is actually stopping us from just coming straight down here as well so we can go through the bottom as well? Let's get rid of all of this stuff right here. As long as we don't dig into the betas right here, we are totally fine. All right. How are we looking here on the top left? We are making progress. Still no vent or anything in sight. We have something over here on the left. Did we ever look at that? I can't recall. What are you? You are our water geyser. Did we already see that before? And I just never noticed it. Uh, Francis says hello. Hello, Francis. Welcome to the stream. I hope you're doing all right today. So if this here is our water, that makes our life, of course, a hell of a lot easier. All we have to do is dig into here and take a look if this thing here is dormant or not. Something simple just like that will do. And we will see. Many moons ago, did we actually look at this thing before and I just forgot about it? That may well be. That may well be. I have a memory like a Swiss cheese. Is this when I become the villain and say Austrians and Germans are from the same base culture? No, that will actually make you very correct. <laughs> That is actually a true statement that cannot be denied. Um, I just noticed we don't have glass tiles. Let's take a look into research. Why don't we have glass? Uh, that's plastic tiles. We have window tiles over here. So we need some research. So how about we do that? And I believe, if I remember correctly, yes, we have no more water pump in here. Or better to say, no more pitcher pump in here, which we will need, though. So we're going to plop a new one in. Because otherwise, we will not be able to get water for our supercomputer. Might as well take a quick look at the printing pod. Uh, we have a Volpup. And I don't want to bring on a new dupe. I don't really have a use for the Volpup right now. We have plenty of projects going on. You know what? It's okay. We're just gonna, we're just gonna make freaking food out of it here. Let's grab it. Let's wrangle it. And eventually... It will end up in here, like basically everything else. And we will just drown it to this until we find a better use. But right at the moment, we have other projects that we have to take care of first, and then we can take care of something like that.
cool steam vent is still dormant, so that's good. Slowly but steadily, this thing here is taking shape. We can go ahead and plop in a couple more things, like for example, in plumbing, we're going to plop in a liquid vent. We're going to put it right here because this liquid vent here is not only for the output from our um, steam turbine, but we will also use it to fill up the area right here with water. Uh, question is, where do we get water from? Probably just going to come with a pipe temporarily over here and then dump it in. That's probably the easiest solution. So that's most likely what we're going to do. You can melt sand to glass and drop hot glass to crude oil to heat it up. Um, where did we build that thing? Oh yeah, I built it over here uh, to heat this here up. Of course, all of that is now gone, with the exception of this one drop here for some reason. So we could relocate our glass forge over here um, to heat up the oil. That's definitely another option. Currently, we are doing it just with our metal refinery. That's why this side here is comparatively warm to the right side. Um, it's literally all our metal refinery right there. Let's make a few more here. Let's make us another 800. Let's give us four tons to start there. Not me trying to fast forward the stream. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, that's not how that works. <laughs> I'm just trying to be coarse, um, like the aforementioned sand. I mean, the sand is a good idea. How is the uh, zombie spore project coming along? We are in cycle 263 and we have 800,000 left. Like I said, my guess was uh, 10 cycles at cycle 269. Uh, sorry, at cycle 259. So I would say that right around cycle 269, we should be spore free. Um, which makes it very easy. I know what you mean, Gabriel. I've been watching too much Francis John, and I totally expected him to cut the complete improvements. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, in a live stream, as I said, that is not how it works. <laughs> we are building everything from scratch. I think the only thing that we have built is uh, this here with a blueprint uh, that I plopped in really quickly. But the next one around, I will probably build manually. So the people that are interested to see how this thing here is built uh, step by step by step without just plopping in a blueprint um, can see that as well. If we find another one, that is. Um, so far, this is the only one we have on the entire planet to it. So unless we uncover something else that we haven't found yet, uh, we may be SOL out on that one. All right, guys, come on. Let's get it done. Most of it is built so really quickly. Let's make us a liquid lock. That is the first step in the process. Once we have that, that is already half of what we need. Then we can slowly but steadily put in everything else. As a matter of fact, if we have our tiles yet, which we don't in research, we need a little bit more. We do need window tiles. Those are important. And we do need diamond. Uh, do we even have diamond? Oh yeah, we have 11 tons. We are totally fine. Sir Beard here. Thanks for all the nice videos you post on YouTube. I really, really helped me out on my only playthroughs and still is helping me because there is so freaking much to learn in this game. That is awesome to hear. I am uh, truly happy to hear that my uh, tutorials and my playthroughs help out a few people out there at least. That is really nice to hear, honestly. So I'm glad that uh, you were helped with what you needed. And of course, if you have any other questions, feel free to ask at any point, either in the comments under my videos or on the Discord channel or wherever else you feel like. Uh, we have a lot of people in the community that are always happy to help. So let's go to crude oil with a number nine priority, enable auto bottle. And I think we can't do that. Yep, we cannot, of course. What else would it be? Uh, where are we going to plop this thing? Probably right here, as a matter of fact. Our level here is going to drop very soon anyway. But for right now, that will get the job done and allows our dupes to still come through here. So that works. Uh, do you still need the liquid went to the left of the natural gas vent? Where are we at? Um, gas vent is right here. Oh yeah, that would be a faster option actually. You are 100% correct. No, this here is not needed anymore. Um, this thing here is built out of steel, so there is no reason to ever enter this place here again. So, good call. Very good call. 
Um, I'm just going to build one right here. Get rid of this tile right there and we can suck it straight out of here. That will work. Who is suffocating and why? Oh, you got stuck down there, didn't you, frozen hair? Come on, dig yourself out of there. There you go. Always on the lookout for the dupes because, as we all know, they do have a tendency to kill themselves. But yes, Bruce, very good call. This is definitely the better option. So we can get rid of this crude oil right here because it's just sitting around anyway. So that is actually perfect. And also the path is, of course, a lot closer for the dupes to get over there. Didn't notice that at all. Uh, come on, dupes. We're already playing at three times speed and I still don't see a lot of movement. Get rid of this stuff. And once again, I do need my research to be completed. Not the clothes refashioner. Uh, definitely not what we need. Or the comfy bed. I need those 10 applied research. Are we good on that? Yes, so we are working over here with our radiation lamp, so that works. Did I saw a zombie spore plant there? How did you tackle that? I made a liquid lock and put a storage bin with bleach stone and waited a few seconds to kill off the germs, but it was a slow process. Um, right over here on the right, we had zombie spores and we're going to have more over here. Where's the water coming from up here? Where, where is the water coming from? How did we get water here? How did we get water here? Not entirely sure where the water's coming from. That's quite interesting, but okay. That's fine with me. Uh, it's just going to melt, or better to say freeze and fall all the way to the ground. Uh, but yes, we are talking about zombie spores. Now let me uh, get uh, distracted here. Uh, zombie spores, I dug into here with a liquid lock. I dug them up. And I put in three mechanized airlocks that are made out of uranium ore. As you can see, uh, they have radiation. And the radiation will just kill them off slowly over time. We, since we are not really in any time pressure here, we have all the time in the world. As a matter of fact, it's not like we need this area here to build anything. It's the simplest solution because when you're done, you just deconstruct it. And once you deconstruct it, you get all your uranium ore back. Literally as simple as that. You might have water changing states in pipes somewhere. I don't think so. I think what the problem is, is actually this one right here. Um, because every once in a while, um, after loading a safe game, the amount of water in here is not saved properly. And it can happen uh, that there is more water in here. And we're not talking about a lot. We're talking about a few hundred grams or so more than before the save. So the first time this door, these doors here close, it may overrun. That is a downside of this build, but it's not really the build's fault, it's really the game's fault because it does not save the state correctly. I have encountered that several times. All right, are we getting our liquid lock here, guys? Looking good. Is it already enough? Nope, we need one more bottle and we are golden. Oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, thank you, that's a very good approach. Well, I appreciate that. And I'm uh, glad that it will hopefully help you out in the future as well. All right, we got plenty of oil. Let's get rid of the thing here. We don't need it anymore. And now that we have the oil, we are just going to put a pump in here in uh, ventilation. Any kind of pump. Put it right there over here on the side. And then we're going to come out with a gas pipe somewhere. What's our pressure out here? Negligible. That's good. A gas vent. And then... Eventually, we will have to power our steam turbine, or better to say, extract the power from our steam turbine anyway. So we might as well take care of our power situation right now. Um, we could literally just do something like this here and call it a day. Come over to right there, all the way up to right here. Not like this, though. And then all the way up to the top. Simple and straightforward. Nothing stopping us from doing precisely that. So let's do it. There we go. A little bit of ladder right here should probably be helpful. Other than that, that is all we need. And at that point, the good thing is we are playing on Rhyme. Everything's freezing cold, which allows us to put um, large power transformers all over the freaking place if we uh, choose to do so. For example, right here. If that's going to be uh, temporary or not, I haven't yet decided. But eventually, um, we can move it without a problem. But for right now, we just need power to this gas pump. That is highly important. 
And once we have a vacuum here, we can finish this entire system here in no time. Uh, stop, you don't pump oil. I don't pump oil. I don't pump oil where? Oh, right here. Yeah, the little bit that's left over is totally fine. Uh, we can just mop it up. That's no problem. Also, we don't need this pump here anymore. Or are you talking about the bottom? Uh, in F6? Yeah, this is not built yet. Not entirely sure what you mean with you don't pump oil. Hello, I'm just listening, trying to do some work, have fun making all the designs. Well, that's awesome. That's definitely a good way. A little bit of background noise. Never hurts. <laughs> I appreciate it either way. See, the oil is just going to run down here. And now that the mass is so small, we can just go ahead and mop. It's simple. We have another liquid lockdown here, as a matter of fact. Are you going to use temp shift plate made of igneous rock to spread the heat in there? I am going to use um, temp shift plates. Probably made out of diamond. Uh, let's take a quick look at those things. Save the game. Temp shift plates. Uh, where are we at? We have diamond right here with a thermal conductivity of 80, which is probably going to be overkill. You're probably not wrong. Um, we have igneous rock with a thermal conductivity of 2. That's a little underwhelming. We need more than that. Um, and how many do we need? Let's see. We will need a total of 6 of them. Six of them should be able to, able to cover the entire area that we need. So yeah. That is most likely what's going to happen here. And while we're at it, dupes, could you please clean up, uh, clean up after yourselves? That would be nice as well. Alright, guys. Get it done, please, dupes. We all know you really don't have anything else to do. Uh, looks like our research is done with our window tiles. That's very nice. What else do we need? Right at this very moment, we didn't need the window tiles. Uh, is there anything that we have an immediate need for? We don't need a memory toggle for anything quite yet. We don't need transit tubes quite yet. Um, we will need a desalinator rather soon. Because I don't have another option available right now. But... Also, that is researched in a heartbeat. I do want to go to space eventually. So we will need right here the small petroleum engine, as well as down here on the bottom, the nose cone and the space for a module. So those are certainly two things we will need as well. But an immediate need is not really there right now. Not really there for anything. So instead of researching anything, you know what? Right here. We are going to get us the space scanner and the enclosed telescope because we can slap one of those into space and just take a look around us. That never hurts. Plastic ladders and phones. We don't have plastic ladders yet. Did I miss that? We do have plastic ladders. I thought we had. Uh, we don't have phones though. You are correct. We could make a recreational room. Our stress is currently at 7%. Definitely something on the agenda. But yeah, let's get started with the with the telescopes and then we will get us some phones. Alright, can we please, for the love of God, get this here built so we can get a vacuum in there and so we can finish this build. That would be nice. Window tiles also made out of diamonds. We need uh, two right here and two right here. We can already put those in. Just saves us a little bit of space that we need to vacuum out. Definitely doesn't hurt. In the mechanized airlock, we are going to make it out of steel due to the higher conductivity. No other reason than that. We're right here in the middle. That is all we need for right now. Um, you know what? Screw it. We could put a little bit of automation in there as well. Uh, we need a right here on the bottom. We need a thermal sensor. Above it, we need a hydro sensor. And then on the right side, we will need in plumbing a liquid pump. And that has to be made at the bare minimum out of gold. So we're going to plop it over here. Just as simple as that. How long can you program the filter and buffer gates for? I have no idea. Not even gonna lie about it. What is the maximum that you can slap in that bad boy? I have no clue. Um, automation wire buffer gate. 200 seconds for the buffer gate, I guess. And uh, filter gate, I don't have one. All I have is buffer gates. I'm assuming it's probably also 200 seconds. 
200 seconds, by the way, happens to be exactly one third of a cycle. A cycle is 600 seconds long. Uh, definitely also some good information to have on the side. All right, all this is in. Very, very nice. A little bit of debris that the dupes didn't feel like grabbing. Come on, dupes, get it out of there. At least that. You can already put in some uh, automation wires made out of copper. That is totally fine. Let's bring this over and let's bring... Well, don't want to dig this here up just now. Let's give us another second or so until we have a vacuum in here. Uh, currently, it's all carbon dioxide anyway. So the dupes... It's not like the dupes cannot breathe anymore with a vacuum. We have carbon dioxide. They cannot breathe either way. <laughs> it doesn't really hurt anything. That's it. I kind of messed up my idea for an automation incubator. An automation incubator. I don't know what you would need a buffer gate for that, but maybe you have some completely crazy out of this world idea. <laughs> May well be. All right, let's get rid of these here. It's not like that we need to get rid of them, but might as well. Slowly but steadily, we are getting a wonderful vacuum. Uh, we will need some piping in here. Uh, I better put that in before I forget it, because I am prone to forgetting it. Um, all we need is to come out of here, and then we can go with our pipe wherever the hell we want. Most likely, how are we going to get in the best way over to this area? Let's see. Probably straight through... More or less straight freaking through. Yeah, that's going to be pretty straightforward and simple. Nice. Couldn't be much better than that. Or at least much simpler than that, I guess. Right here where the gas vent is, we will need a uh, wire bridge, or better to say a heavy butt joint plate. Uh, but for that, the gas vent has to go. That is going to happen as well. Uh, I used to struggle with automation for incubators till I learned indeed that the day was 600 seconds and I used instead a timer sensor instead of a cycle sensor. That was a game changer for me. Uh, yes, I am using a mod. Croc Pro Player is 100% correct. It's just such a nice improvement. Right here, you can see it. Um, it adds an output to it and it sends an output whenever um, the egg here needs to be hugged. Uh, so it turns it on. And as soon as the egg doesn't need to be hugged, it turns it back off. That's a really nice mod. It doesn't do anything that you can't already do in the game. It just saves you from wasting a bunch of space. You see in the middle, I have this empty space. I uh, put that in there to put the original automation in there with a cycle sensor. Since we installed the mod, don't need it anymore. So now we just have an empty space. Definitely worth getting. Can highly recommend. Also, don't forget to do hook your pump up with power. Yes, everything needs power. Um, there will also be a aqua tuner right here. So, um, yeah, need to feed into that as well. The aqua tuner will actually be, we might already put it in here. Might as well while we are at it in, where am I at? Utilities, of course. We need some aqua tuner built out of steel. And we need to turn it around this time around. And it's going to be sitting right there. Right beside our pump, actually. So that works just fine. And then we can go through here and we can hook all of the stuff here up. Something just like this here. Uh, what are we made out of? We are made out of lead. It doesn't matter because the melting point is 330 degrees. And if anything here reaches 330 degrees, we have bigger problems anyway. So that is good. Now someone has a YouTube video of a buffer array of incubators. Okay. That's the nice thing about oxygen not included, I guess. Um, you know, you can do many things to get the same result. If those are necessarily the best ways or not, now that's on a different piece of paper. But it's certainly, uh, certainly a lot of things get you the same result. Rimko says, okay, sir, I have to go. I'll check the video tomorrow and learn some new tricks. Enjoy the play. Thank you, Remco. Thank you very much for joining. Truly appreciate you have, uh, having you here. And I hope you have a good rest of your day.
In the F6 overlay, we can also go ahead and put in the standard plumbing. We're going to come out here, going to come out there. We're going to come over to here and then we need a liquid bridge this time around. The other way around, of course, we need our standard bypass down here on the bottom. That is highly, highly important. Of course, as usual, uh, we're going to come straight up to it, uh, to right there. The only problem is we do need a liquid reservoir. I'm probably just going to make it live right here. That's totally fine. It's not going to harm anything or nothing. So we're going to come into here, going to come back out over the top of it, and then we will come into our steam turbine room with this pipe right here once we actually do have a steam turbine room. <laughs> Currently, that is kind of lacking, but it's also not on the priority list very high right now. First, we need this vacuum in here so we can build all of this here. And actually, you know what? Screw it. We are going to start analyzing it right now. A uh, little bit of a risk here, but... No risk, no fun. Let's see. And Cassiopeia is here. Hello there. How are you doing today? I'm really glad that you could join the stream today. Are you waiting for new deal, uh, DLCs for this game? Um, am I waiting for it? Not really. <laughs> am I going to get it the moment it comes out? Definitely. <laughs> uh. I play so much with oxygen not included carnivore challenge that I started to be carnivore in real life <laughs> that is funny alright let's see here be nice to have new asteroids from the DLC I don't think they have really said too much what the first DLC is going to be right but I'm assuming they're probably going to have new asteroids and stuff. A little bit more here. The carbon dioxide here is uh, slowly but steadily disappearing. But we do need to come in here. Please, with a level 9 priority, dig up this tile so then Cassiopeia or one of our other researchers can start actually analyzing this thing. In the same time, let's pause it real quick. In utilities, we're going to grab us those temp shift plates we mentioned earlier. Um, we need six of them, but we only have 2.6 tons. Didn't we just see we have 11 tons? What happened to the rest? Please put those in here. And um, if you say we don't have enough diamond, uh, we can certainly fix that right away. Just need to come with a ladder down here. Temporary ladder, as usual. And we're just going to dig this stuff here out. It's all diamond. Plenty of it. So we are going to make sure that we're going to be able to get all the stuff. The dupes cannot get here, though. That is a problem, mainly because we have one piece of ladder missing here. So let's put that in, which will make the dupes be able to come over here. With a number 9 priority, get this here done first before you do anything else, and then we will go from there. Did you make the window tiles out of, out of diamond? Yes, I did. Uh, window tiles are also diamond, but they don't really cost much. Window tiles are only 100 kilograms, and then now it says here 7,542. I don't know why it is jumping back and forth with the amount that we have. Not entirely sure what that's all about, but here we are. <laughs> Alright, Deer Guard's here. Deer Guard's uh, letting us know shortly how much longer this thing here is dormant and uh, when crunch time is coming in. I thought you were that one nasty guy. Absolutely bollocks. Power trip mod of one Oni server. I was once then, once a time. That's funny. <laughs> no, that is certainly not our Cassiopeia. <laughs> yeah. Few more tiles. So now they're building the tiles without problems. Yeah, I don't know why it's jumping back and forth between how much we have available. Not entirely sure. Let's stop digging this here up. 50,000, 60,000 zombie spores left. Very soon we can dig the entire area here up anyway. And right over here, now our liquid vent is actually throwing out a nice and com at least comparatively warm crude oil. Uh, that should help us get us through this stuff here in no time. Also, this one tile here is iron ore. We're going to get rid of it as well because it just holds the temperature much, much better. And we certainly want to get rid of this heatsink right here, because that's basically what it is acting like right now. Come on, gas pump. You can do it. I have absolute faith in you. <laughs> I 
The one ladder you put up to get the diamond dig, the lack of it made your diamond count go down. Oh yes, you are 100% correct. Ah, love the attention to detail, Gabriel. That is amazing. I didn't even notice it. Of course, all of our diamond is laying around right here. And the dupes couldn't get to it because this piece of ladder here was missing. Still though, it's, n it's not like this ladder here was there before. So why was it jumping back and forth between how much I have? The first time I looked, it was 8 tons. The second, or 11 tons. The second time I looked, it was 2 tons. And now it's 8 tons. So... Not entirely sure what the hell is going on here. Can we check blueprint? Uh, what do you mean? What exactly would you like to check, Croc? The blueprints that I have, you mean? We can take a look. There's not much here. Here's the timer. Um, here's the critter killer. Here is the, um, the Great Hall. And right here we have just a standard, um, where are we at? Tamer right here. I don't really have much right now. Oh, you mean this blueprint? <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, of course. We can open up one. Let's take a peek here. And we have a, a splendid spiffy Atmo helmet. The twin antenna serves as an early warning system for low ceilings. That's actually funny. <laughs> that is actually funny. That's a good one. That is a good one. Come on, make it a vacuum and dear guard. Come on, get it done. You have a job to do. You know it. Once we have it, it's going to be good. Prop. Pro player is here himself to help us out. Chase says, I want that one. <laughs> the helmet with the, with the two springs on it. <laughs> After we got a lot of, what was it, socks or shoes or something like that. It was time to get a good one, right? Very good, very good. Almost there. Show us. Show us. I need to know. How much longer do we have before this thing goes online or comes online, better to say? Come on, Croc, come back here. Full speed. There we have it. Cassiopeia finished the job. Next activity in 17.9 cyclones. Oh my god. We have literally all the time in the world. Uh, oh, look at this here. I just noticed that our symbol reads here. We ran out completely of polluted water in our infinite storage and in our temporary heat up storage. And, of course, in the pipe as well. We are completely dead on symbol reads. That's funny. Um, I guess I will turn this here off and I try to accumulate a little bit more in our radiated infinite storage for polluted water coming straight from our bathrooms. Maybe it would also be time uh, to put some showers in here just to get a little bit more polluted water out of it. But we will do that eventually. And our water geyser here was unearthed, and we can see it is currently idle. Water geyser, thankfully, the water is coming out at 95 degrees, 9.8 kilograms per second. That's not too shabby. Um, there is not really anything to tame this thing, at least not with what I want to do with it. I'm just going to feed this system here with it. So we're going to have two cool steam vents and uh, one water geyser that will feed this system here constantly. We shouldn't have any problems, basically ever. As a matter of fact, we will probably need some kind of hot infinite storage for all the water coming out of the two uh, steam vents and the water geyser together and then feed it from there into our electrolyzers. That is probably the best thing that we can do at this point, And that is most likely what's going to end up happening too. Um, what are we going to do with this water geyser here? I mean, we have a very nicely laid out natural type of storage going on here. A little bit of liquid chlorine sitting around. Yeah. We can't just make this entire area here a storage. It's not like we don't have any space on this map, so might as well. All right, dupes. Let's start digging this stuff here out. We're going to go four high along here and then all the way over. And we're just going to use the abyssalite as it naturally, occur uh, naturally occurs um, as our basin. Simple as that. And another vent. 
Uh, did we see another one? No, we haven't unearthed anything new yet. Let's just keep on going up until that changes, I would say. That's probably the easiest part. And see if we can find something in this area here. Because we still have on the star map, if I'm not mistaken, yes, we still have three unknown geysers, and we are going to see what we find. Hopefully not another infectious polluted oxygen vent. That's the last thing we need. <laughs> but other than that, you will see. You can create a storage for hot water using natural abyssalite tiles near them. Yeah, we could do that. But, you know, in this case right here, I'm just going to dig all of this here out. Put in one wall right here and call it a day. It's going to be very, very simple and straightforward. Just this liquid chlorine here, the moment we dig it up, it will explode and we will have a ton of that damn gas in our base. Not necessarily something I want, but now we will figure it out. Oh, look like, oh, this one right here. We have another one. How many cool steam vents can we have? That's one. That's two. Uh, didn't we find another one somewhere else too? I'm pretty sure there's still somewhere one hidden over here on the right side. So that will make three already. Good grief. So we are definitely not going to run out of water anytime soon. Pump chlorine? Yes, that is the general idea. Um, I'm going to dig down here and I'm going to put the pump into here and then just pump out this entire room, all the chlorine here. It's going to build a temporary pipe all the way over here. Uh, this here is our gas pipe that is just going out into space where we don't care about it. And we're going to do the same with the chlorine. Water for life? Yes. <laughs> Is it possible to geotune the hot water geyser and make the water so hot it turns to steam? Yes, that is possible. Um, you just need the resources for it to actually keep that going. Uh, because once you run out of the resources to keep it geotuned, of course, that system will break. Uh, we do have our vacuum now. We still have our cycles right here. We do want to retrieve that data bank. And as soon as we have the data bank, we are going to close this side here off. We are done with it. Cool steam vent seems like one of the most common vent types. Maybe the most common unless you count oil reservoirs. It is. I mean, at least on this map right here, it really depends on, right? But on this map right here, that is absolutely a true statement. There is no question about it. All right. So far, so good. We are looking decent. Um, we have right here our power. All is hooked up in F6. We do have our output. The only thing that I would like to have, uh, just as a, a little bit of a... Um, you know, helping us out here. We want to be able to turn the thing here on and off. Just as simple as that. As soon as we have this here, we are ready to close it off and build the rest of our piping as well. Uh, the gas pump not needed. Gas vent not needed. In F7, of course, all this stuff here not needed anymore. And in F2, we are also going to rip out not all of it. Only this here. There we go. Don't need any of that anymore. That was all temporary, just to create our vacuum. There is a bleach stone making machine now, isn't there? So if you have a chlorine vent, you uh, you could make bleach stone renewable. I think bleach stone is the resource to geotune water geysers. I believe so. I think that bleach stone is what you need, right? You didn't connect the hydro sensor to the pump. I did not. Let's check it out. I did not. That's right. Um. We actually have this here. That's the, I totally forgot about the sensor. Look at me. My god, we don't need the signal switch right here. Uh, because we have the hydro sensor. What am I doing? Ay, 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 ay. <sighs> One of those days, I'm telling you. It's gonna happen. <laughs> uh, right here with the fire pole, we can come further up to roughly right there. Um gonna be a problem though we need to have here some tiles uh, yeah we're gonna do it differently because we have sand going on here and we don't want to have sand going on here um, we're gonna put those two in here directly as tiles and then we are also gonna get well that's only 78 grams you know what screw it who cares in the first place we are gonna go straight through here it's not gonna hurt anything just not to right there. We don't want to have all of this brine here in our base. Definitely not. But right here, it doesn't matter. Those 37 grams, we can just mop up. 
Without the machine, you have to ranch poofs, which just seems like the greatest thing I know. Yeah, I don't ever ranch poofs. Uh, the uh, time to reward ratio is just not there, in my opinion. Like, the amount of work you have to put into to get it done is just not worth it. It has never been, and even after the update, in my opinion, it still is not. So, yeah, that ain't happening. Let's plop in a tile right here just so it's closed off. And other than that, we are going to keep going up and we will see if we find something else. In the meantime, let's keep on digging four tiles at a time as long as we can. Down here, let's rectify my earlier mistake. There we go. Let's get rid of all the stuff here. And as soon as this here is out, we are ready to close it off. In plumbing, though, or better to say, right here, this heavy watt wire, we're going to get rid of it. Uh, we need the heavy watt joint plate right here first. And then in F6, this insulated pipe here is done. We just need to cool this here down somehow. It doesn't have to be pretty. It doesn't have to be efficient or anything. It's barely going to create any heat, as a matter of fact. So, yeah. As my friend says to me, it's the age. Yes, it is. <laughs> It is indeed. It's getting worse by the second, I feel like. Not gonna lie. Um, let's build us a box. Simple as that. That's all we need. And then once again in F6, we are gonna grab the insulated pipe, a radiant liquid pipe. We don't need aluminum. That's overkill for this thing right here. How are we gonna do it? Something like this here. Liquid bridge right there. And then from the liquid bridge, we're just gonna come down. It's... As simple as we can build this thing, that is as simple as we will. Uh, but then, right here, when we come down here, insulated pipe through our steam room, and then straight into here. Right here, though, I do want aluminum. And we're going to come with the aluminum through here, with the insulated pipe back up, and over. Just as simple as that. That's our entire piping. That is totally fine. Doesn't have to be pretty. Just has to be functional. Without bleach, uh, bleach star manufacturer, I could see geotuning making the farming puffed potentially worth it. Even then, just get the water out of it and call it a day before you mess around with puffed. <laughs> Again, that's my view on it. That's just how I look at it. I always hated those puffs with a passion. But yeah. Once I tried to create a tutorial about it until I was like, no, not happening. <laughs> It just, even in sandbox mode, uh, annoyed me too much. <sighs> okay, everything is uh, done. Three corner pieces right there, and we are truly through it. So we can then start putting in some walls. Down here on the bottom, it's going to be pretty straightforward. Uh, we're just going to make it double thick right here, because we need just this area right there. And then before we do anything, we need a water source. Uh, our liquid vent right here is going to be how we get water in here. So we need to figure that out first. Also, you can't build four walls at a time. Of course, you're going to build the wrong ones every time. There's no question about it. Uh, how are we going to do this here? We will need a temporary pipe probably just coming out of here. It doesn't matter too much. We don't need a hell of a lot of water. Just a little bit. Um, how are we going to come over there? Screw it, we're going to go straight through everything. Um, a little bit further. We're going to rip all of this back out here very soon. Just as simple as that. Right here, straight through. Let's dig all of this out. Might as well. Puffs <laughs> are adorable. I have a stuffed one that farts when you squeeze it, really? <laughs> that is funny. Why do you use bleach stone to geotune? Um, you have to. Uh, it's You don't have a choice. Uh, for different vents, you have to use different materials to geotune them. And bleach stone is one of them, or some of them. I would have to look it up myself. I don't know it from the top of my head. What exactly is what? I guess we could build one and could take a look. But yeah, you don't have a choice. All right. This pipe right here, 
is going to be our savior. We need to fill this here up with water. And we also need in plumbing a liquid pipe thermal sensor. It will have to be built right here. Um, that is just how that has to go. Unfortunately, we don't really have any space anywhere else for it. So it's not necessarily optimal, but it will get the job done. Uh, there we go. I'm going to put this just like that. Usually you want to build it right beside your aqua tuner, but right here, it's not going to cause any harm in any way, shape or form. Just as simple as that. The only other thing that I'm looking for is um, polluted water. Because I would like to fill this loop here with polluted water. Where would we find some of those? Probably up here. Here we have plenty of it. Might as well just use that. Plop in a pump real quick. And then just uh, pump it down here into our liquid reservoir. That should work just fine without a problem. Very, very good. Everything's nearby when you need it. That usually doesn't happen. And of course, the dupes are slacking off again. I'm telling you, if I don't put it what I want to get done immediately on a number nine uh, priority, the dupes just refuse outright. Even though most of the stuff in my base, other than of course uh, the grooming and our flowers right here, or better to say our food right here, everything else is on a level five priority. And we don't have that many dupes that are ranching and farming. So I'm not entirely sure what are they doing all day long. I hate him too, but I just love so much of the game. I want to do all the things even more than poofed wrenching. I mean, yeah, I have done most of it too before at one point, but it doesn't mean I have to repeat it if I don't like it. <laughs> so I look at it. I guess I'm just unfamiliar with what geotuning actually is. Well, there's a building in stations. Do we have that thing even unlocked? Yes, right here, geotuner. The geotuner has to be built inside of a laboratory. Um, our laboratory does not have enough space right now. Of course it doesn't. How else would it be? Um, we could just plop one for testing purposes into here. Um, the dupes can't go there right now. Are we researching anything right now? I don't think so. No, we are not. So we are safe to open the store here up so the dupes can build it real quick. And once they build it, we can just look at it. Um, we can pointed at different stuff that we have around the base and you will see what it uh, what it tells us so here comes my pipe where is my water there should be some water coming out of here it uh, does not why does it not isn't it connected to the output yes it is it is also connected to this output right here There is really no reason why it shouldn't work the way that I built it. What am I missing? I guess we can always, at least temporarily, uh, put in a, a liquid bridge right here. See if that does anything. Very weird. I could cut the output. Will that work? Is that literally all the game needs? Let's see here. Yeah, it's literally just confused by the output. That is telling you those pipe mechanics are sometimes insanity. Um, it has clearly an output right here, but this one here that does absolutely nothing is breaking the system. Of course. Ever messed with arbitries and the distillery? Yes, I've tried that as well. Um, you have to do that, actually. Yeah, well, not necessarily have to, I guess. That's uh, too strong of a word. Um, but it is recommended to do that on the um, forest world or the forest planet to it. So we need water in here. Uh, we just need to fill up the bottom tile and then have any amount, literally any amount in the top tile. And as soon as that is done, we can close this here off as well. Uh, that is the general idea here and should be pretty simple and straightforward. So we're just going to let it drop in and in and in. Up until the bottom tile is at a thousand kilograms and as soon as we have that i'm just going to cut it off and everything else that is in the pipe is going to go into to the top and it's going to be fine uh yeah it's always nice when you have a simple build and you don't really have to consider a hell of a lot and it's just easy and straightforward 
As a matter of fact, these two tiles here we can already build, might as well. Make this one here a higher priority, so the back one here gets built first. That is always a good idea. And in the meantime, tell the dupes to clean up their stuff. In here maybe first, and also these pieces that are in here as well. Our sensors here, we still have to set those up, but that's going to be also a pretty simple exercise here. We're going to do that once we're finished, one by one, so you know exactly what's going on. Rule of thumb for very easy pipe direction control. Any section of the pipe can have any positive number of green sockets and one white socket or any number of white sockets and one green socket. Yeah, that is 100% correct. We are full. I need to snip it off right away. We don't want to pump more water in there than we have to. Could have cut it off earlier even if I paid attention, but I didn't. And it doesn't matter because this water right here is effectively just a heat sink. Um, therefore, it doesn't really matter that much if we have, quote-unquote, too much. As long as it's a sufficient amount, it doesn't make a difference. And there we have it. Very nice. Now that this is full, we can build us two more tiles right here. And as soon as these two are built, once again, with the rightmost one with a higher priority, uh, we can close it off right here as well. And we are done. Let me double check once again to make sure I didn't forget anything. We have power here, power here, and power there. And in F6, we are coming through in with our piping system, the entire thing. Nothing is disconnected, at least nothing that we can't reach. This one here still is. And right here, we have our output that we can put wherever we want, whenever we want. Yeah, that's all we need. Simple. Uh, if there are one, if there are more than one green and more than one white socket connection to a stretch of pipes, you, uh, you're likely to have problems. Yeah, I could have just put a um, um, bridge anywhere along this line here. It didn't have to be here, and it would have solved the problem as well. You know, it just depends on however you want to handle it. Really makes not that much of a difference. Either way would have worked. Cutting this here off is, of course, the easiest solution. No question there. Absolutely no discussion necessary. But dupes, come on. We are a second away from finishing this. Let's get it done so we can move on to the next project. And eventually, take a look behind that teleporter. But first, I want to make sure that we are not running out of water here anytime soon while we are gone. That is highly, highly important. That's why I want to get this, steam, uh, this cool steam vent here, as well as this water geyser here under control. And this water geyser here will in fact also be able to help us with this water geyser right here, or this cool steam vent, better to say. Because this one here we just built very simple and quick, because we didn't have much time at the time. We just put some radiant liquid pipes through here. Uh, if we have water that comes out of uh, this water geyser here at 95 degrees, and it's going to cool down a lot, at least in the beginning, because this area here is cold, even at 95 degrees it's going to be enough to cool, or better to say, to um, evaporate, all of the steam that's coming out of this cool steam vent right here. So we're just going to feed it through here and then back into those pumps right here, better to say that those electrolyzers. That is the plan. Should work like a charm without a problem. The only other thing that we need is a infinite storage over there for all that water. Now you can put a little crude oil on the ground on the steam turbine for better conductivity. Yes, definitely could do that. Probably wouldn't hurt. You're correct. Let's do that real quick. Doesn't really hurt nothing. Um, gonna build me a tile here. Gonna get rid of this tile right there so we can still get in there. And then right down here, we have more crude oil. Um, earlier we had another spore kit right here. We used the exact same method. You can see nothing's left. And all we did is we put in some doors that were made out of uranium. Let's dig those up. Not entirely sure why I did that first. It's not like that's gonna do anything. Just the pitcher pump. It's just gonna live right here. Let's dig up this tile. There we go. Petroleum is better than crude for those things usually. Yeah, but again, in this build here, it doesn't matter. It literally doesn't matter in any way, shape, or form. Because this steam turbine here is not gonna be running that much. I think it has a much higher thermal conductivity. Not entirely sure what the actual difference is. 
Uh, I would have to look it up too. But I do think that petroleum is slightly better than crude oil. I don't think the difference is that big though, if I remember that correctly. Let's deconstruct this tile right here. And let's um, plop in just one load with a bottle emptier. Very simple. Why am I running it at one time speed? We're never going to get anywhere like this. Come on, guys. Speed it up. And get rid of all this stuff. Okay, all this here is now done. So that is good. We can now go in here and fill this here up. Uh, the thermal sensor here, I did connect that with a automation wire, didn't I? Yes, I did. So that should work. Um, yeah, everything's good. Everything should be connected the way it's supposed to be. Yep. No problems here. Come on, build me my bottle emptier. And once we have that, one drop of oil and we are good to go. There we have it. Liquid crude oil. Number nine priority. Enable auto bottle. Grab it from down here. Bring it up there. Give me one bottle. And that is more than we will ever need. And there we have it. And we are done. Deconstructed. Get rid of it. We are ready to roll. We have 40 kilograms per tile. Our steam turbine is not complaining. Well, it is, but at least not about that. So that's good. Plop in a tile right here. Let's make sure. Did you grab everything here? Yes, you did. So we can also close this here up. Very nice. The big yields both with conductivity of 2.0 petroleum having a slightly higher specific heat, which definitely would make a difference if you're running it through pipes. Yeah, depending on how much, uh, how big the difference is, but I don't think they take too much from each other. I think the major advantage is the wider temperature range, which again should have little effect to this application. Yeah, no effect, I would argue. <laughs> again, look at this tiny little steam chamber that we have right here. That's all we have. That's it. Uh, I can actually not build this one here yet. Because we still... Well, I just snipped it off. I don't need a dupe for that. There we go. In F6, once again, we're going to snag a little bit of water. This time the water is not going to go down here, but it's going to go into a chamber, which is complete vacuum. It's another reason why we have a vacuum in here already. So we can't just fill it up with water. Um, how much water? Again, it doesn't really matter too much. Really makes no difference at all. It's always nice if you are very open with what you can do and you are not that constrained with, oh, I need to have exactly 0 0.25 kilograms or everything's going to die. Thankfully, that is not the case here at all. We're just going to fill this here up with a random amount of water. Anything will do. That's already way too much, as a matter of fact. Not too much, but more than we will ever need. Uh, therefore, we can just go ahead empty out this pipe again so we can tear it back out and we are good to go as simple as we can build it every single time speed it up a bit here empty out that pipe and then last but not least we are going to reuse this pipe here at least part of it again um we're gonna go ahead and hook this here back up then snip it off right here and then we said we want to have this polluted water right here. Are we going to get there? What's the easiest way? Probably just dig up here. Something simple like that. And then we're going to build us a little basin. Uh, something like this here. That should do it. We are not going to dig all the way over here. Then we're just going to dig into here. It's going to drop down into right there. We're going to build us a pump in there. And we are done. Precise measurements might be important to many engineering designs, but Oni is more loosely, loosey-goosey. It depends on. There are some builds where you have to be very precise uh, to get the desired outcome or everything will go to hell. Thankfully, this build here is not one of those. But there are definitely some where that is a very true statement, though. 
but now that all this here is done, we can take a look at all those sensors. The liquid pipe thermal sensor right here. Usually we are using polluted water just because we have it. You could use water as well. I would set this here to negative five degrees. This time around, we can do that. If I set it to negative five degrees, it will freeze our water in here. And we don't want that. So we're going to set it to 15 degrees. Uh, if our water or our polluted water coming through our system right here is at 15 degrees, the thermo aqua tuna here will cool it down by 14 degrees, which still leaves us with one degree, which is uh, roughly five degrees away from the actual freezing point and totally fine. Then the thermal sensor over here needs to be set to 95 degrees. Send a green signal if the temperature over here is not below, but above 95 degrees. Um, actually, we want the door to close to cool it off. We need to have it below 95 degrees. Because below 95 degrees, the door will be open. If you're higher, higher than 95 degrees, the door will close in that particular order. And then this hydro sensor right here, uh, send a green signal to our pump, turn it on effectually. Um, if, what are we going to put in here? Does it matter too much? 750 kilograms. So we're going to send a green signal if you're above 750 kilograms in the second tile right here. So as soon as the second tile here fills up, we are going to turn on our liquid pump and pump it out. I think that works. I think that heat exchange builds really benefit from extreme precision. Yes, petroleum boilers are one of those because you have like, um, when you think about the counterflow boiler, right? Uh, the oil that's coming through your counterflow boiler has to be within roughly, what was it? I can't recall, 20 degrees Celsius, I believe. Um, if it's any higher than that, it will break your pipe. If it's any lower than that, it will not flash into... Um, uh, petroleum anymore the crude oil that's coming in the raw crude oil that you're trying to convert to petroleum what will the temperature be when the water leaves roughly 95 degrees we are not cooling it down any further um, we could do that uh, the reason that we are not doing that is again i am planning on feeding this thing here straight uh, into my electrolyzers over here therefore we don't need it at a lower temperature that is going to be pretty simple and straightforward. Uh, let's put some ladders down here. Something like this here. Let's dig this out. And then we're going to dig up this tile here. So it all drops nicely down here. Sebastian, good evening to you as well. Um, I have actually not tried that, uh, Kionis. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't know. We can try it. We can just set this here lower and lower and lower. Uh, slowly but steadily and we will see how low we can get the water um, usually i just set it to 95 degrees because at that point we don't have any more problems with our cool steam vent right here uh, the steam is more or less immediately becoming water and it just leaves but we can certainly try around with it right um, nothing stopping us speaking of trying around right here we have our geotuner now uh, with our geotuner we can now select all of the vents that we have found um except these volcano this volcano the water guys are into cool steam vent and the reason is they need to be analyzed and if they're analyzed like our iron volcano right here um it should tell us what we need i believe let's see here um we need to first set it up for that it doesn't have any power connection right now so i'm not entirely sure will it show us what it needs uh let's see here doesn't look like it without power and i don't think it tells us in here either we could hook it up to power real quick just to see what it does let's hook it up to power let's see if we can figure that out i want to do a petroleum boil in my current colony but i really need to start space exploration and get some diamond among other things the steam guys at tamer uh, used most of my available diamond yeah <laughs> that is how they go sometimes right <laughs> Thankfully, on this map right here, we still have a stash or two sitting around. So there's plenty of diamond to go around here uh, where we can definitely build us a, um, a, a counterflow exchange. Um, damn it, laying on the tip of my tongue. Petroleum boiler. That's the word I was looking for. Uh, we can use this one right here. This one right here, though. I don't think we have enough space. How much space is that? 30, no, sorry, six, 18 tiles. 19 tiles, 
I don't think we can do it in 19 tiles. We will see. We will see. But over here we have another one. And I'm pretty sure we have more on this map somewhere, if I remember correctly. So yeah, not a big deal. Should be working just fine. Done here. Everything's done. How are we looking here? Okay, you duck this out. So let's get rid of this tile right here and drop the polluted water where it belongs. And as soon as we have that, all we need in plumbing is a, a little bit of a liquid pump that we're going to plop right here. Just as simple as that. Uh, we need power from somewhere. What is the closest power wire? This one right here. Get up here. There we go. And then in F6, we also need some piping. Um, can we just dig straight down here? Yes, we can. Nothing stopping us. Very nice. Love it when that happens. Just like that. And then right here, this one here, we are going to extend all the way to here for all I care. Once again, all of this is 100% temporary. We're going to get rid of all of it and we're going to reclaim all of those materials once again. There we go. Let's see. Um, where do we have our geotuner? There we are. Okay, there. Now it tells us now that we have power. So, for example, for our iron volcano, we need refined phosphorus and we need 80 kilograms of it, apparently. Um, obviously, we don't have any refined phosphorus right now. Uh, if I change it over to the natural gas geyser, uh, a dupe has to come by to set that up, if I'm not mistaken. Let's take a look at that. Not sure. Pretty sure I have to like change this little picture right here. Is anybody doing that? Yes, here comes Chemster. And now we need 100 kilograms of abyssalite, which we have. So Chemster will actually do it. He will come by, he will throw it in there um, and he will start. What else do we have here? Cool steam vent. That's the one we were talking about. So let's take a look at that. Chemster's back, changing it over. And now we need 50 kilograms of bleach stone. Of course, there is a list of it on the wiki, for example. Um, I also have a um, tutorial that I made myself for it on my channel, uh, which is specifically about geotuners. And it also has an explanation in it of how to get um, this. Um, what did we talk about here? The refined phosphorus, because that is probably the most difficult one to claim or better to say to find. It's not like just laying around. You have to make it yourself. And I made a little tutorial about that in that as well. So if you're interested in that, check it out. Definitely going to be helpful. And now that we have power, it actually shows us right there. Required resource, bleach stone, abyssalite, polluted dirt. And these here we can't see yet because they're not analyzed. And even tells you exactly what it does. For example, for a hydrogen vent, it will increase the output temperature by 15 degrees. And it will increase the output mass by 54.3 grams per second. So yeah. That's nice. Did you use the critter analyzer already? No. Uh, no, we sent one through here. Uh, we don't have any more yet. Uh, we have some poke shells. We can probably take one of those suckers and send through there. Um, but we don't really. I could have probably used that um, wool pup that we had. But other than that, no. Um, we have not used that yet. But also... I'm pretty sure that this polluted water here is not necessarily needed for that thing, right? <laughs> Come on, guys. Build me the piping. Build me the power wire. That is what we need right now. This thing here still has 10 cycles. All easy. Right over here. Yes, we are getting now into this chlorine territory. So we are going to build us some insulated tiles now, just so we have them in here. And we are going to come, let's see, this high right here at the bare minimum, one higher, two up and one over. This is going to be the entire size of this thing. Just as simple as that. Absolutely, as usual. Keeping it easy as long and as much as we can. There we go, a few ladders so the dupes can at least get up here. And of course, if they can't reach it, let's just dig through here. As a matter of fact, that is natural abyssalite. We don't even need this thing here. We just need to dig all of this stuff here out. 
we have more abyssalite right there and we can literally just go with those extra two tiles and call it a freaking day manual airlock then done deal simple couldn't be much simpler as a matter of fact let's change the priorities here with a number nine we're gonna dig out this year and then with a number seven we're gonna dig out this year and then we are going to plop us some ladders in once again with a number nine so the dupes can walk around in here just right there and that should hopefully be enough for our dupes to get back and forth here and take most of this stuff here out with any more intervention we will need one right there as well though there we go now we just need to build those ladders before Watt or Jay better to say starts digging out this stuff and we are golden very very good and once we have this wall right here we're just gonna po uh, put a pump in here and let it pump until most of the chlorine is gone easy um down here the heat exchanger has worked look at it wonderful and of course i didn't check it 269 <laughs> only seven cycles left guys sorry about that uh but of course all of our germs are now gone that is a problem off the past now we can just come in here dig all this stuff here up or better to say deconstruct it we will not need it anymore for anything and we can start digging from the top down as usual of course we will not be able to reach all of this here right away so we need two more ladders because they will dig this here up and the rest will become unreachable right away and we definitely don't want that but we're gonna dig all of this stuff here up and right over here on the right side we have more solid crude oil uh, certainly something we want to get to therefore probably the easiest way is yeah let's just do something like this here all right very good obedieri ice obedieri as well <laughs> okay a little bit more piping needs to be put in here what you doing dupes chilling somewhere else don't feel in the love as usual. Hopefully they will get that done soon. Not a lot of progress right here. But Mason is on the job. Alright. Yeah, this here will be easily completed without any problems before anything's going to happen. So that's very nice. Oh, what do I see right here? Have we literally already filled up those two gas reservoirs right here with two tons? And our hydrogen vent here is dormant with a full five kilograms in it because the entire pipe here is full. Yeah, we definitely have to do something about that. I'm probably going to change the system. Yeah, let's see. How are we going to do this? It should be pretty straightforward. Instead of having this pipe here come straight in and feed those, we're going to come into those two reservoirs right here. And we're going to use the reservoirs at a buffer tank. Uh, just need those insulated gas pipes to unfortunately come all the way over here. So we can feed it all straight into the infinite storage from our hydrogen vent. Uh, who knows how long this thing here has been all the way full. Um, and we just wasted cycle after cycle after cycle of this thing here being active. That is certainly not something that we want to ever happen. Again, not very efficient. We don't like that. Therefore, we got to fix that. So let me come one higher and then all the way through here. All the way up to right there. Very simple. Not connected there, please. We don't want it into our um, oxygen supply. And then right here, a straight pipe through. Can't reach all of that, of course. Let's fix that real quick. There we go. And then last but not least, we will need a gas bridge that goes into the other direction. So it's not necessarily optimal to have it all the way from the right coming through the entire base over to there. But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter too much either. This year we're going to snip off and we are going to change the orientation of how these here run. Uh, we're going to have this pipe come in um, as a supply better to say we're probably just going to come straight through here and feed it back into here and don't change this thing yeah very simple let's get this built and then we will go from there
Uh, if you use a timer to control the flow of gold so the rails are always full, you won't usually get those micro packets because you you will sweep more gold into the conveyor loader before it outputs. Yeah, those little packages are literally a problem. Anyone had that before? Yes, that is a known bug. Unfortunately, there's not a hell of a lot you can do about it, even with uh, Jay's workaround. Usually what I do is, if I see them appearing, because they can appear in any iron or any volcano tamer, for example, just whenever they have built up, you set it really quickly to below instead of above, and everything will be output. Unfortunately, that's a manual process. I haven't really found a good and simple way to automate that process. So every once in a while, you just have to think about to come by here, set it to below, and back to above, and you're good to go. Gunnar says, good morning, people. Welcome to the stream, Gunnar. How are you doing today? Hope you're having a, a wonderful Saturday, wherever you may be. We can add a bridge to force hydrogen to go first to the tank and rest to the infinite storage. Uh, that would also be a way to do that, yeah. I think I'm just going to use the hydrogen, uh, the infinite storage, to pump it out um, and bring it over. That's probably... I don't know, is it the better method? I guess. I guess we could do it like that. Yeah, you're right, Croc. That's a much simpler solution. Uh, let's get rid of... Well, we don't even need to get rid of it, actually. Screw it. We're just going to put a bridge in. That is a better mousetrap. You're 100% correct, and that's precisely what we're going to do. So, what are you saying is we're going to put a bridge in here. And if the end of the bridge is full, as it is right now, nothing will change. It will still go along this line to the infinite storage. But if there is space in the tanks, it will prioritize the tank, and it will go over through the bridge on the left. So, yeah. There's that. Definitely a good call. Croc, 100%. I'm tired of waiting. There we go. That'll fix that issue in a heartbeat. I guarantee you that. Press the blueprint button. How long have we been here? We have three blueprints to open, as far as I'm aware. And I'm going to be here for a total of five hours, roughly. Somewhere along those lines. So let's wait a tiny little bit longer. How about that? It's Sunday for me, but have a good weekend too. Oh, damn. Where is it Sunday already? Is it uh, Australia, maybe? <laughs> for metal uh, volcanoes, I used a timer function to try to make the metal output continuous over the entire cycle of the volcano. Uh, not only does this mean the conveyor loader is almost never empty, it does never makes tiny packages, but it also don't need any thermal sensor so if a micro packet is created, it still just flows through and causes no problems. That is actually um, a pretty good solution. I just prefer to control it via temperature, um, which means right here we are saying as long as my temperature is above 150 degrees, we're going to send it through here. Um, if it is below 150, we're going to send it out, which will not help with those micro packages that is very true but i can be sure that my metal here always has a consistent temperature no matter what close enough i'll see plus two hours from my place <laughs> made a mess oh you suckers really you literally got yourself stuck over here didn't you uh yeah you dupes what are we gonna do about that something like this then, of course, right here, you can't get through either. Oh, you dupes. Uh, you're not dying, though, are you? No, you can't actually breathe in here, barely. Thankfully, uh, making a mess here doesn't matter because it is so cold that it immediately freezes. <laughs> that is certainly helpful in this case. Come on, dupes, get him out of there. Somebody build me a ladder, please. You can just hop onto here, get over, build those two ladders, come along here and build this one. Uh, that is what I would like you to do, preferably. Let's see. Of course, we have to build the wall first. 
Do I get very consistent temperatures because the packets sit in the chiller for a long time? <laughs> Maybe too long. There is such a thing as too long in this particular case. But yeah, I don't know your setup, so it might work just fine. At least the dupes can get back out here now. Our water geyser is good. Couple more tiles right here, and we can start putting in a pump. Is there a different material in range? Probably that would have been something. We could have just built it out of obsidian. But they were getting oxygen, so they were not dying. So I didn't really care too much. Uh, we don't have any, not the core, I want to see germs. Germs are fine. I don't remember who I got it from, I thought it was you, but I guess not. I don't think so. I don't think I have ever used a cycle timer on it, have I? As far as I can remember, I've always used a thermal sensor. So I can keep the temperature exactly where I want it. Because you could set this here higher. Uh, you could set it to 200 degrees, for example. Um, if you wanted to, for whatever reason that may be. Uh, you can also set it lower to 100 degrees if you wanted to. Once again, not sure why you would do that, but you could. <laughs> you can harvest poke shell molds. I see a few there. Um, yes, very true. And I thought about that. I even already picked out a space um, just looking around. Uh, we have a nice space right here. And I think I will make a, uh, a starving poke shell, um, a poke shell farm right here. The last time I built this thing was... A year and a half, two years ago. So I don't know if they made any changes, if it still works or not, but we are about to find out. Uh, Sin with a $2 super chat. Thank you very much, Sin. Oxygen is overrated, hence why it's not included. <laughs> True. We use oxygen anyway. Crap here. Du hast Wasser im Sauerstoff endlos tank temperature. Um, he says, I have water in my infinite storage for oxygen, which is correct. It's, it's currently still empty. Uh, the temperature is not a concern, though, uh, because the temperature over here is at 22 and a half degrees. And once we started using this thing right here, I just built it in case we need it. We may not even. We will see how it goes. Um, it will be at, a, at, at the same temperature. I'm not worried about that temperature at all in any way shape or form okay now we need more ladders so we can get all the way to the bottom uh, all temporary stuff once we dig all the way to down here we are good so not even going to put a full ladder in because screw it uh, we can go to ventilation though we can grab us a gas pump and plop it literally anywhere it doesn't make a difference um it's a little gas pipe gonna come out down and over not to right there though preferably we need to come further through all the way to right there there we go you know what we can do this here just gotta snip it off there and that'll get the job done uh, yes i saw him right here we have the poke shells the molds are just sitting around uh but we have those poke shells right here and um I am planning on farming them because I do believe we have polluted dirt sitting around. Let's see. We have 16 tons. Uh, all I need is two poke shells. One poke shell needs 70 kilograms. Yes, 70 kilograms per cycle. 140 kilograms per cycle. So we should have right at this moment roughly enough polluted dirt for what? 150 cycles? Yeah. Uh, that's a lot of poke shell mold we can get out of those things. And we don't really have any other use for the polluted dirt, so we might as well. And it's also a pretty simple and straightforward build. Um, yeah. Also, that build is in one of my tutorials, in case you're interested. But we are going to build it here very soon anyway. So if you just stick around, you will see life how it is built. <laughs> Alright, let's come up here with a little bit of power. So we can start pumping. We need 16 tons, and what do we get? Another cycle older and out of breath. <laughs> hydrogen tank. Hydrogen tank? Oh, this hydrogen tank right here. 42 degrees. Um, also that here is a problem indeed. You are 100% correct about that. Um, I didn't consider that at the time, because at the time 
I didn't know yet we have a hydrogen vent. We didn't have it uncovered. I figured that all we are getting out of here is this stuff right here. And yeah, now we are adding this 40 degrees Celsius gas to the one that's coming out of here at about roughly 150. So that may become a problem eventually. But if it does, thankfully we have space over here on the left. We can break back in there with a um, liquid vent, no problem. And we can just replace this water down here with wonderful crude oil. All not that big of a deal, thankfully. <laughs> Greetings from Australia. Did I miss anything exciting? Um, no, not really. Uh, we just built a, this time, proper uh, cool steam vent tamer. The cool steam vent is going to come online in 7.4 cycles, and we will see if the system here works. It's a pretty simple design with a couple of window tiles and a mechanized airlock in the middle uh, as a heat exchanger. Nothing fancy really going on here. Uh, by now we can also definitely stop pumping more um, polluted water in there. Our tank is already half full here. We are at yeah 2,060, 70 kilograms. So that's totally fine. Very, very good. By the way, guys, this time I remember this time I remember myself. We have currently 58 viewers, but only 31 likes on the streams. So if you could and uh, go ahead and like the stream, it would help me out greatly at the channel. And of course, it doesn't cost you a dime. Thank you very much. Uh, dupes, are you not feeling the love to actually build anything in here? Or what is all this here about? Come on. Dig this here up. We just want to get down here. Uh, reveal all this liquid chl chlorine right here. Basically, the moment that we are going to unearth it, it should more or less evaporate. And then we're going to use our gas pump here to blow it up out into space because we don't need it. Uh, looks like we got hit by a meteor here. Have a little bit of damage. Thankfully, it doesn't matter because we don't need this thing here anymore, I hope. Um, is it functional? Yes. Is it the best design in here? No. <laughs> but it does work. It will get us to space and it will make us some data banks in a pinch if we have to. But the next stage where I want to get to is, let's take a look here, uh, right here, the small petroleum engine. The small petroleum engine does need data analysis research though. Uh, let's see. Thankfully, our nose cone and our space fair module does not. So I'm just going to tell him to research this here right now. And we will see how much of those 30 we can do. And if we maybe can tickle up a couple more um, uh, data banks. Let's see the destination. What do we have even going on here? Can't really see a lot from the top here until we send the dupe through. But yeah, this here is going to be our second planetoid. Smelina. Um, very appropriate name, most likely. Just judging from all the polluted water here. But right at the moment, I just want to click on it to inspect it. Because if you inspect it, we get another data bank out of it. And currently, we can use every second one. Um, Tav says, take my like. <laughs> Thank you very much. I appreciate that. And I most certainly will. Um, why do we have ice down here? Did I set this here too cold? 15 degrees. It shouldn't be too cold. So why is it? At 15 degrees, it should cool this here down by 14 degrees, which should give us one degree. Why are we at, ne at negative seven? I'm not entirely sure how exactly that happened now. But yeah, I guess we will see. As soon as this one here erupts, it shouldn't be a problem because it will just melt it again. But yeah, again, why did this here not work? What am I missing? We have it hooked, hooked up correctly. Everything's working. Yeah, not entirely sure why it didn't work, but yeah, we will figure it out. No problem. Come on, dupes. Build me my ladder, please, for the love of God. Get down there already. And you here can't stop pumping, at least for now.
<laughs> Brian says, dude, my base is just a cluster fuck of all your designs. <laughs> Good job. Keep going always. <laughs> That's too funny. <laughs> uh, hey. That's a good thing. I love that. I love to hear that. That's awesome. <laughs> All right. I think it's time to look at another blueprint. It was already asked for, so let's make it happen. Let's see what we got. Let's print it. That is the second one. And we have a group think undershirt. It's pretty decent, apparently, because the most popular choice is always the right choice. Yeah, I don't know about that one. Um, you're cooling water in one spot and check temperature in another spot. Yeah, I know that that is not optimal. Um, it's just the way that the system here is built. But still, though, I should have never gotten it that low. That is just a very, very weird. It's... I should have never gotten to negative 8 degrees. I guess I'm going to set it to 20 degrees now, just to be safe. But, yeah. Not entirely sure. It should have not gotten me that far off. I expected some variance, but the variance should have not been this big. But alright, let's get down here. All the way to the Abyssal Light. We're going to dig all of this stuff up from the top to the bottom, as usual, of course. And then, once this liquid chlorine here is actually in a gaseous form... You're going to pump as much of it as possible out of this gas pump right here. Uh, I may need the gas pump lower, we will see. But most of the stuff that's in here, I thought is carbon dioxide. But we have a fair amount of oxygen in here as well, though. We will see where it ends up. If we have to move this here a little bit, it's totally fine. Right over here, we can keep on going with our dig fest. So let's go through here. Just as simple as that. Can we reach all of this here? Yes, we can. No problem at all. Um, oops, should be able to do that, I believe. But if not, a couple of ladders. And the problem is solved. Still waiting for this thing here to activate in 5.9 cycles. Very nice. You can check water with 10C, and then the same time froze water with the 0C temp. That may well be. That may well be. But that the entire circuit is that low shouldn't be possible. Because we have what? We have one, two in front of us. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure how that is possible. Because even if this water back here measures 10 degrees, or let's say 16 degrees, and the water ahead of me is 5 degrees, yes, it would have made it colder, but the water behind it should then still shut it down. Uh, two spots later, and it didn't. Very odd behavior. Now is good. Playing Oni and watching my favorite Oni player. Uh, suffocating. Elfie, what are you doing? Don't commit suicide on me, please. Just dig through here. You are a digger yourself. All you have to do is down. Yeah, you need to stand on it, though. There you go. No, <laughs> not like that. No, we are going to lose Elfie here. Due to her own stupidity, that is a problem. Uh, don't we have oxygen in here? We do have oxygen in here. Can you not just move to this spot and breathe? No, no, we lost a dupe. We lost a dupe. Elfie is gone. No. Why didn't you breathe right here? You were standing literally in the oxygen, but you decided to literally, literally commit suicide. Oh my god, Elfie. That is really unfortunate. That is really, really unfortunate. Yeah. Dupes stupidity. Sometimes you can try your best and it's still not good enough. But... We have plenty of dupes to come along here. So, Elfie, you will get another dupe here shortly. Better him than my dupe, says Croc. <laughs> uh, the buffer tank is sitting in a lot of cold. That probably cooled it all down. 
That could well be. Did we suck up the... Oh, yes, you are right. I didn't even consider that. Severed Ned, you are 100% correct. We sucked up all the heat, or better to say, all the cold from the steam turbine room. <laughs> it wasn't even the Sermi Aqua Tuner. <laughs> we never had a chance. We never had a chance in the first place because the steam turbine is so cold. There is our answer why that happened. But yeah... Poor Elfie. Poor, poor Elfie. Um, where is our decoration furniture? Do we have... What is that thing even called? I can't even remember when I lost a dupe the last time. What is it called? Is it a grave? Is it literally called a grave? Shouldn't it be in furniture? Do we have to first research that? Um, let's see here. Tasteful Memorial, that is what that's called, that's right. Uh, search all buildings. We do have a Tasteful Memorial. And we are going to build it exactly in the spot where Elfie died. Even though it's going to be in a water tank, maybe that's not the smartest idea. <laughs> maybe we're going to put it, I don't know, where are we going to put it? Where do we have a good space for uh, remembering dead dupes? Uh, we don't have one. We may have to build one, maybe. Um, yeah, I really don't know where we're going to put it. Once we need more bedrooms and stuff, we need this space, so I can't put it there. I uh, don't want to mess with this space due to the volcano, so we can't put it there. How about right here? Right here will be Elfie's Memorial. Very, very good. Elfie, you will be remembered, and eventually you will get a new dupe as well. That is a promise right there. Even though you committed suicide and it wasn't really my fault. Let's be real. This for Memorial gives a plus 10 decor. Really? It does. <laughs> See? I didn't even know that. Because I usually don't need him. But I'm also usually not life. And have all the time in the world to do nothing else but to uh, concentrate on the dupes at hand. I could just make this entire area here a graveyard. I hope we don't have another dead dupe, so uh, I hope we stick with this one taste for memorial here. But if we have more, I will keep this space here reserved for a graveyard. Uh, while we are at it, why is there still this big block of copper ore in the middle of the base? That seems a little bit out of place here. Time to collect another blueprint. We just collected one. And we're still here for like three hours plus. So we need to chill down because we have only one left, I believe, unless we have a double again like uh, like last stream, which was highly unexpected on my end. But we will soon collect another one. All right, let's turn up the speed and let's get all this chlorine here out on top of our abyssalite. And then let's see if the stuff here slowly but steadily starts evaporating. It isn't even that cold in here, so one would think it should, but we will see. <laughs> Memorial in the recreation room next to the phone that can always call to him. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Um... <clears throat> Let's see, how much do you have left over here? You know what, let's take a look at the printing pod. What do we have in here? We have a rancher and a supplier and a cooker. We don't need another rancher. We have plenty of ranchers right now, honestly. Um, supplying and cooking. Do we need another cook? We really need neither of those two things right now. The problem is we also don't need dirt. We are 316 tons and we don't need coal. or We are at 100 tons. You don't really need anything of this here. Even though this one here would have even increased, increased husbandry. Uh, we really need a new digger because we just lost a digger. So best case scenario right now would be another digger. But we don't have one. So we will go with coal. Doc says never have too much coal. You're not wrong about that. Um... Yeah, we're going to go with coal. Eventually, we will have to downsize over here anyway, because um, 
for most of the stuff, the food will run out. Um, we will probably go mainly with stone hatches because the stone hatches right here, let's take a look. Um, they can have igneous rock. And uh, once we dig into a minor volcano, one or the other, we will have so much igneous rock that we don't know what to do with it. Um, so that's going to be good. But for right now, that is okay. What are you doing, liquid chlorine? Uh, what is your temperature? Negative 34.6. You're at negative 36.9. Uh, we could theoretically just mop it up, couldn't we? At this point. I thought it would probably flash over immediately, not on the abyssalite, but on the stuff that was above. So yeah. Let's dig this stuff here up. Just so we can grab it. And then let's see here. Um... We have the liquid chlorine right here. And just because we have nowhere else to put it, put it in space. <laughs> Simple as that. Let's put it up here in the top. You can't reach that? Why can you not reach that? I would argue that's a lie. Uh, it's our ladder here that's damaged and thankfully not our piping. But why is this an unre... Okay, that's why. Of course, we have once again a regolith here in the path. So we need to dig this up and all of a sudden it becomes reachable again. Simple as that. Let's grab the second one right here, not the carbon dioxide. We want to have the liquid chlorine. Move that also over. And then last but not least, you have the third bottle right here. And move this as well. And then we need to give all of this here high priority so the dupes will do it. We learned that the hard way. Otherwise, they just outright refuse. Now, how come those regular falls there? Was there a meteor shower? Yeah, there are definitely meteor showers going on up here. Um, I just choose to ignore them right now because we just have this one rocket here that, you know, I never expected to build in the first place. That was mainly for Sin because Sin said he wanted to go to space. So we made his wish come true and sent him to space last time. Uh, but other than that, I've never had any intention to build a carbon dioxide ro a rocket. <laughs> All right, let's get rid of as much chlorine as we can. How much do we have left here? Not a hell of a lot, 33 grams. Yeah, that is negligible. That is absolutely negligible. We are going to turn this pump here on and just pump a little bit of stuff out. But at that point, uh, we are going to go ahead and uh, dig up the rest. There's not a hell of a lot left, thankfully. We're going to dig up this here and we are going to analyze this thing here as fast as we can. Um, the water is coming out very hot, so a dupe will probably not be happy. But yeah, uh, it is what it is. Every once in a while, you have to do the job if you like it or not. So Mason is here. Now at the same time down here on the bottom, we can plop in the pump that we need anyway. Uh, liquid pump, we're going to make it out of gold so it doesn't overheat. And we're just going to put it right down here on the lowest spot. And then with an insulated pipe, we're going to come out. Uh, where are we going to go with that? I don't know yet, but we will figure it out shortly. Still cool you made the rocket, let's be fair. Even if I'm a bit biased because space. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, you did have your own outhouse, so... Nobody can say it wasn't comfortable in the rocket, right? So I look at it. All right, let's go back here. I really want to see this thing here turn on real quick. Come on, how much can there be left? 4.4 cycles. I really need to turn up the speeds if something happens here. But now we can see it. All of the water is just going to drop down here onto the ground. And we're just going to let it accumulate. We are going to try to get as much of the stuff here out of the ground as fast as we can. Because eventually it will get so hot in here. Um... Our dupes will burn at the moment. That's not that big of a deal because still we are very cold in here generally. Uh, so we need to take this opportunity and make the best out of it and get as much stuff uh, stuff out of the ground as we can before a dupe gets hurt, which is also the reason why we have a manual airlock here. Um, I'm just going to close that thing here off eventually and just let the water drain. Very good. Deer guard right here is doing his best to get this thing here analyzed at the same time. I'm going to give it a little bit of a higher priority. 
Let's see that we can grab the stuff here and get it out. The worst case scenario, we can always build an auto sweeper temporarily down here and have the auto sweeper do it for us. Of course, that is always an option as well that we cannot forget about. Very good. Let's get this thing here taken care of so we see what we actually get out of it. <laughs> Captain Cherry built an evacuation of waste in case of oh, okay, I'm gonna die situation. It's efficient. It is efficient. And look at that. We just um, finished our research. We have not a party line phone, but that is not what we actually researched. We researched our new rocket engine. So we actually have now the mission control. No, did we? I thought we did. Am I crazy? No, we did. Didn't we? Yes, we did right here. The mission control station and the small petroleum engine is now ours. So yeah. Uh, should leave the ice there and not sweep it? No, I do want the ice. The ice goes into our main water tank. Every piece of ice that we find goes into those storage bins right here. Uh, because that is going to be nice and cold water that we're just going to plop in here and uh, use to refill this. So yes, I actually do want the ice out of there actually more than anything else. Because the water temperature in here, I don't really care about. It can be 95 degrees. I don't have a problem with that at all. Down here, I keep forgetting about this area here. My goodness. Uh, four high, all the way through. Keep on digging. Ahead of diamond. And let's get all the stuff here out. Until we are all the way down to the ground. We are already starting once again. Our solid crude oil over here is slowly but steadily melting. Negative 38.5. Once again, at negative 37.1, it will liquefy. Um, so we have this little piece here left on the right. And then these pieces down here on the ground. So that's totally fine. Water main tank is looking a little bit low. Yes, and that is the main reason why we are digging into here. Because right at the moment we are feeding our water not just into our loop. And in our loop the only users are really right over here our bristle blossoms. And right over here our toilets. So we are, in all truthfulness, not losing a hell of a lot out of this tank. What is costing us right now are the electrolyzers. Uh, because we are currently feeding the electrolyzers because this steam vent right here currently doesn't have cooling. So yeah. Not everything can have a super tank like the second Let's Play, but <laughs> I'd be paranoid. <coughs> um, I'm not paranoid yet. Uh, because I do have a pass or a solution ready. But yes, we do certainly have to take a look at it and make sure that we don't have bigger problems here along the way. Uh, looks like all the chlorine has been sucked out of here. There's no more reason to have this pump here wasting energy. Uh, therefore, we're going to get rid of it. We don't need it anymore. We don't need no vacuum in here or anything stupid like that. So we're just going to rip it out. It's going to be this simple. Uh, this pipe here, I'm going to leave it in for right now because you never know what you need it for. Should we really get in such a dire need that we need those resources here back, then we will uh, do something about it. But for right now, we're just going to leave it here up until it's in our way or we are going to reuse it. That's how I usually do it with most of the pipes that I don't need anymore. I'm just going to leave them there up until they're in the way or I need them again. Just as simple as that. There we go. Right at the moment, I actually do regret that I didn't make this here a full ladder, because you see the dupes just jumping from rung to rung. Uh, at the time that I built it, I didn't consider that we have to clean all the shit here up, so... Alright, dupes, you get a full ladder. Croc is here, uh, once again, trying here with the water geyser. We are getting there slowly but steadily. Unfortunately, we don't have any air in here, so he has to get out of there and get fresh air. But as soon as this here is done... It's really not that big of a deal anymore. 
And down here we can keep on digging all the way through, all the way to the back. And then we can also dig out this piece right here. I'm going to leave that in actually so we can get to this liquid vent right here. Uh, probably going to relocate that a little bit further to where we need it, which is over here. And that should solve our problems. Same time dupes. How about we going to go into this direction here as well? Just this high. I'm not going to go any higher right now. But all of this here we can dig out as well. Just to lower our oil level a little bit further down. That's the general idea. And while we are at it, can we make more steel? Sure, let's make another 10. That's totally okay. Thankfully we have this iron volcano here that keeps us nice and topped up on iron. Yeah, always a good thing to have handy. And yes, we need to take a look, or better to say, keep on top of our hydrogen temperature in here. We're at 41.9 degrees, it's still not a problem, but it will become a problem eventually. Uh, latest when this hydrogen vent here goes back online, it will most definitely become a problem. So yeah, we need to stay on top of that. 2.4 cycles on the steam vent. And now we have it. And it is still online for another 15 cycles. And it puts out an average output of 2,363 grams. The average output is uh, the time uh, when it erupts, but also the dormancy time. So if you have no other water source, the entire life cycle of it, it will always put out a constant 2,363.4 grams per second. If you use exactly that, um, the level in your tank should always stay somewhat the same. That is very good because our electrolyzer right here is using 1,000 grams. It's kind of hard to see. Let's see here. Um, can we stop it when it actually shows that? Not really. Um, you just have to believe me. Electrolyzer, 1,000 grams per second. So alone, this one water geyser right here can keep two of those electrolyzers here running indefinitely. And then we still have 300 grams left over. So that's definitely a good thing. Dupes are still trying to get all of this stuff out of here. Come on, dupes. Get her done. I know you can, and I know you want to. Also, while you're at it, grab that data bank, please. Thank you. Definitely it will come in handy later. Temperature-wise, yeah, it's still extremely cold in here. Crazy. But yeah. Cool steam vent, 1.9 cycles. I think that is more than enough time for me to take a, a quick bathroom break. I'm just going to let the game run at three times speed right here, looking at this area. We are not really digging anything up. Um, just a straight line here and a straight line there. No dupes can get stuck while I'm gone. I hope at least. You can never be 100% sure, I guess. But it should be somewhat okay. So I'll be right back, guys. Just hold on for a second.
and I'm back. All right, 1.2 cycles left. Oh, very good. Getting there. Just want to see if we can uh, melt this ice here again. We will need to introduce a bunch of heat into this thing here, which we will do very quickly, though. It's Antonio, or Antio, actually. Antio XHD, to be very precise. Hello to you as well. <laughs> Doing the it's a break dance, but not break dancing. <laughs> No oh, sin. You're crazy, my man. And I love it. Not gonna lie. Alright. Come on here. Come on, line. Let's increase the speed one more time. In the meantime, let's dig up this row here. We should be able to reach most of it, but not necessarily all of it. Need a couple more ladders coming over. And this here we can also dig up while we are at it, so we can touch more of the solid crude oil right here. Definitely also going to come in handy. And then once again, while we're at it, I'm just going to relocate this pipe right here to right there. The liquid vent goes right there and the liquid vent here will be deconstructed. Just once again, using this here as a heat exchanger because down here the crude oil is nice and warm, quote unquote, at negative uh, 17 degrees. I'm just going to pump it over here to help this solid crude oil here to liquefy a little bit faster. All right, cool steam vent. Do your duty already. It is time. <sighs> there we have it. 60 seconds left to go. And let's turn down the speed. And uh, there we have it. Uh, let's see, the temperature is increasing in our window tiles drastically. A watch steam rent never erupts. <laughs> oh, this time it will. This time it will for sure. Water is coming out at a comparatively high rate. 4.16 or yeah, 4.164 kilograms. Per second at 110 degrees Celsius. Pretty straightforward. Uh, we're just heating up those window tiles right here. Right here we have the thermal sensor. And the thermal sensor is currently set to below 95. Uh, so as soon as, or as long better to say, as we are below 95 degrees, the door stays open. No heat transfer is happening. And as soon as we are above 95 degrees, we are closing the store here. And we are dumping the heat that is in here over to this window tile right here, which is cooled down, of course, by our thermo aqua tuner. So that is the general idea of how this entire system here works. It's pretty simple and straightforward as usual. Are you going to cross the teleporter today? Yes, we are crossing the teleporter. That is actually next on my list. I just wanted to get this thing here running. Um, actually, not next on my list. Next on my list is to hook this thing here up completely. Currently, our pipe goes to nowhere. As soon as we have that, we are going to go through the teleporter and see what the heck is going on on the other side. Definitely going to happen. I just want to make sure that this here is working correctly and no adjustments are needed. Um, it's always good, even though you're pretty confident that your build is going to work. And nobody's perfect. Everybody makes mistakes. So it's always good to watch it when it turns on and make sure that everything's working as it should. Kind of like this here. That is exactly how that should work. Door closes just very briefly, especially on three times speed. Um, just closes very briefly to let the heat from the right go over to the left. So we can cool this here down. And we can see it in the F4 overlay. Uh, currently, at least, we are immediately um, getting water instead of steam. Not even showing up really here on the screen at all. That's how fast it is. Can we melt this here, though? Let's see. Once we reach another 95 degrees. Yeah, okay. The moment <laughs> we are closing this door, this thing here just drops by two or three degrees. So, yeah, it should be totally fine. Totally fine, indeed. Very good. But, yes. Let's finish this thing here up as well. Just as discussed. 
Um, with the pipe, where are we gonna go and what the hell is going on here? We don't need this pipe here anymore. We're gonna get rid of it. Uh, we need to come all the way down here, though. That we can't change. We need to come all the way to here. All the way to there. And then we're gonna hook up this pipe. So we're actually not gonna deconstruct this one right here. This one here will be deconstructed. We're gonna come down here. We're gonna come into this uh, cool steam edge right here. And then, um, how are we going to do this? It's a lot of water that we're going to get. Probably going to build a quick infinite storage somewhere right down here on the bottom. It will need a little bit more space because it's going to be very hot. So I do want to keep it contained a little bit, even though it doesn't really matter on this planetoid. But, you know, just for completeness sake, um, we are going to build it out of airflow tiles, probably. <clears throat> Hence, that is um, the easiest way to do it. Uh, let's see here. We need to build something like um, this here. That should do. There we go. That should be all that we need. Um, are we going to be happy, though? No, we're not. I can't do it this way. I could build it with oil, I guess, the other way around. Because we need more than one input, we need preferably two or three. Let me think about this. What is the best way to do this? We could just build something like this here. That would give us three inputs right there. And then come across the top, something like this here. <coughs> That would be enough space. Yeah, we could build it just like this here, but then we don't have a space for our pump. We do need really a too high airflow tile here. So let's build the other airflow tiles a little bit higher. Something like this here. That will give us enough space for a pump on the top for the water. I'm going to put some crude oil over it right down here on the bottom. Yeah, I think that's probably the easiest way to do this. Excited to see what kind of space rock the teleporter will lead to, too. So am I. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing what the hell is uh, going on on the other side here. Um, but yeah, first things first. Like I said, I do not want to worry about the main base in any way, shape or form. So we're going to build this thing here real quick. Should be pretty straightforward as usual. You guys know it. Um, could center it a little bit more, though. How about that? Let's do it differently. One here. Doesn't really work that way, does it? Let's build it right here. There we go. That's more like it. Hook it up here. Hook it up there. Yeah, there. That's what it should look like. That's the best way. Obviously, we need to leave um, tile open so we can come in here. But yeah, that'll do it. In plumbing, a liquid vent here, here, and there. Uh, liquid insulated pipe coming out, out, and out. We're just going to come in three times through the bottom. And we're going to store all of our hot water in this little thing right there. Come on, guys. Dig out this here so you can't get out. Are you choking right now? Let's see. Priority 9. Are you kidding me? Oops. What are you doing? You just need to dig out these tiles right here. That is just copper ore. And then build these two. Ay, 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 ay. Let's make the rest here a level 5 priority. And send you down there. And let's send you down there. So you hopefully dig these here up first, and you don't die a horrible death again. Oh, you dupes. Oh, Sin, don't die. What are you doing? I need you to go up here instantly. And the same with you, Ojin. Get up there instantly. Sin is not going to make it. 
No, Sin made it, just apparently. Oh my god, you dupes, I'm telling you. If you don't watch out for every tiny little thing, these things are just dying away like flies from the dumbest shit. It's crazy. But we got Sin safe, so that's a win. Sin, you barely made it. That was almost your last space, space mission. You are our main pilot, so we still need you for sure. <laughs> At least now you shouldn't be able to get stuck anymore anywhere. Almost impossible at this point. That's why you use atmosphere liberally. <laughs> yeah, I guess that would be an option. I usually try to avoid them if I don't need them. For something simple like this here, they should really not be needed. Like, this is an area where the dupes barely ever come to unless I build something real quick. And this is really a tiny little build right here. Also, by the way, we don't need this uh, tile here yet. We need to put in a little bit of oil into those three areas right here. So... It is actually a little bit too quick to build here and there. Who is now suffocating? How? Jim, get out of here. Today on Beer Tier, can the dupe survive CO2? No. <laughs> no, they cannot. All right. We will need in plumbing bottle emptier here, bottle emptier there, bottle emptier there. I'm gonna do that really simple and quick. Have the dupes clean up while we are at it. All of the stuff here. Get it out of here. All of it left, right, all around. And then we will need in plumbing. Should we put two liquid pumps in here? I mean, we do have the space. We might as well, I suppose. Um, not really stopping us anything from doing so. Better too many than not enough, I guess. Uh, you can move... Uh, Empty bottles now, but I still prefer the emptier. So do I. It's just what I'm used to, quite honestly. You know, if you do something a million times, it's kind of hard to get used to something new. <laughs> but as long as it still works, there's nothing wrong with it. <clears throat> oh, I'm almost choking to death over here on my Red Bull. <laughs> I guess for drinking Red Bull, I probably deserve it. All right. Dupes, clean her up. Um, we need a little bit of power. That's for sure. Let's see. Let's get up here and over. To be clear, that's a joke. Uh, didn't even see what you said. I might have missed it. Finally setting up the power on coal on the swampy moonlit cluster. Took 21 damn cycles. The space out game mode is completely different from the classic. <laughs> I think it's, uh, honestly not that different. Um, <clears throat> Am Jimenez says, uh, been a minute since I played Oni. Do you still have the mini asteroid map after the update? Yeah, yeah, there are still mini asteroids, uh, smaller maps. I'm not a big fan of them, but yes, they're still there. Oh, the one about CO2 is joke. <laughs> Can we survive CO2? Yeah. Uh, come on. Build it, guys. Brandon's on the job, thankfully. Did we get our test for memorial build? Yes. Rip. Rip Elfie Wolf. Right here, unfortunately. Let's take a look here. Do we have a better dupe this time? We have a construction dupe. Who has decreased construction? Because that makes perfect sense. Uh, supplying and digging. Would increase machinery and decrease creativity. Who is a bench eater? We could get us a coin. Yeah. But you're going to get us a coin. Elfie. You're going to be back in the game. For sure. Um, that's the nice things about dupes. They are, per definition, duplicates, which means 
nobody can ever die for real. So, LV, welcome back to the game once again. <laughs> uh, let's see here, Elfie. You are going to be once again a digger. Elfie Wolf Jr., I like that. I do like that. Let's do that. Let's see. Where do we have Elfie? Yeah, Elfie Wolf Jr. That's right. Hope you don't die again, because I'm not sure what we're going to name you then. <laughs> that is a great idea, Doc. I like that. Can we please, for the love of God, build those bottle emptiers? Why are we not uh, cleaning up coal? Is our coal storage full? Uh, what are you set to? Are you still set to liquefiables? Why would that be a thing? Obviously. You're a coal. Be coal. Elfie Wolf Double Junior. How do you put the picture on the test for Memorial? I don't. It does it automatically. Um, whoever is buried here, I'm pretty sure is going to get the picture of whoever died. Or is it even random? Who knows? Elfie Wolf the Third. <laughs> okay. Maybe I'm wrong. We are not uh, going to uh, run out of names for dead dupes anytime soon, so that's a good thing. Elfie Junior Junior or Elfie Junior to the power of two. <laughs> ah, that is good. All right, a little bit of automation can be put in here as well. They're not building it because they can't reach it. I'm an idiot. Of course. How are they going to do that if they can't get up here? <laughs> that would explain a lot. Um, but other than that, I was saying automation. We are just going to put us an automation wire right here and an automation wire right there. Um, we're going to do it very simple with signal switches so we can manually turn them on and off. We don't care about pressure or anything like that. It's an infinite storage. We should have plenty of pressure to go around. So, yeah, there's that. Um, we do have this here ready to go, though, except for those... Five pieces of pipe here for who knows what reason. Uh, plenty of water in here right now, so we should be able to, at least for right now, come with in uh, plumbing with a liquid bridge across here, then hook it up to right there, and then snip this side here off. So that's what we're going to do for right now. Uh, so at least we're going to stop wasting the water in our main tank as much as possible for as long as possible. Uh, that's going to be good. And F2, we do have power. Um, probably this power wire here is underused anyway. No, not even. 1920. What about this one here? 1680. <clears throat> it was 240. Uh, we can use this one here for sure. So, um, especially since both of those pumps will barely ever, if ever, run at the same time. So we're going to come across here. Going to come across here. And we're just going to feed it into there. Simple as that. No problem at all. Pick this up. And you're good. Uh, the memorials have the image of the dupes buried there from the last update. Okay. All right. If that is the case, that's, uh, that's good. I like that. Makes it very simple. <clears throat> One more bottle empty here, please, and we can close it up. I don't think we need anything else in here in any way, shape, or form. We have our three liquid vents for our three inputs, so plenty of sources available to get stuff in here. Build those two airflow tiles right here, and once those are built, we are going to encase it in insulated tiles, of course. Um, otherwise, all the heat will just leak out again, even though it doesn't matter, but that's fine. Yoskarat is here. I came a little late. That is okay. No problem at all. Uh, the best part is only about to come. As soon as this here is working, this infinite storage, we are going to send somebody through this teleporter right here, and we will find out what's on the other side. Uh, so far, we have really only built this uh, cool steam vent timer right here. Uh, the entire build is sitting right in front of us. Uh, the water here is still not water. But it's still working fine. We still have a vacuum. We're not overpressured or anything. So it's working just fine right now. Very good. Now, this here is all done. 
we can set it to crude oil number nine enable auto bottle copy the settings to all three and let's go uh, the potential load here is now 2160 watts the truth is though again it doesn't really matter or anything um, because all this stuff here is never going to be running at the same time that is just as simple as that like you can see the current load right now is 1200 watts these two right here will have to be running all of those three pumps both of those this pump and both of those at the same time until we have a problem i don't foresee that happening anytime soon in f6 though we will need a little bit of piping that is going to be somewhat important so in plumbing we are going to come out of here too high as a matter of fact need to do that down here on the bottom uh, right away as well because we are going to have insulated tiles here so we need to do something about that i'm going to put in a few ladders right here so the dupes can walk along but other than that we are good 58 viewers but only 44 likes you're not wrong you are not wrong maybe we can push that number a little bit guys i would highly appreciate it if you haven't liked the stream yet press that like button it doesn't cost anything and it helps me out greatly uh, the youtube algorithm of course appreciates that highly let's take a look here we have 200 kilograms of oil down here i'm gonna give each one more bottle uh, the overpressure temperature of a liquid vent is a thousand kilograms so it's always good to have a little bit too much than not enough in this case right here that's kind of suboptimal i couldn't agree more gunner i couldn't agree more that is most definitely suboptimal <laughs> Now we have here 400, here 400, and here 400. I'm going to give it one more. Uh, I always like it to be above 50% of its overpressure. So our uh, oil here cannot be accidentally deleted. Uh, can certainly happen if your amount of a fluid is too low, which now it shouldn't be anymore. Here we have only 440, but it should still be okay. We're on the left and on the right. We have 1,000. So let's deconstruct this stuff here, get rid of it. And then at the same time, we can close this up. We are all slaves to the algorithm overlords. Yes, that's very true. That's very true. Algorithms control basically every aspect of our lives. But that is just how it goes. It's not like we can do a hell of a lot about it. Can we grab this here before we construct this airflow tile? Uh, I'm not entirely sure. Yes, we can if Cassiopeia stops. Let's see. Who is now building? Jim Nanny. Get down here. Let's just stop him from building this thing here. Oh, Chipster built it. <laughs> of course he did. Oh, we're just going through the wall now. That's totally fine. Kribak is like, I don't give a shit about this airflow tile. Let's just grab whatever's sitting here. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Works in our favor, though. Um, I'm going to get rid of this stuff here, though. Does it matter? What is it? Phosphorite, 240 kilograms. Yeah, you're going to grab it real quick. Screw it. It's only going to be a second. But then we can take a look here at all of our piping uh, to bring this where it's supposed to go. That's the last thing that we need. And then we are officially done. Um, at least for now. Uh, where are we going to go here? What's the easiest, best, simplest way? As a matter of fact, we already have this pipe here. We could just reuse this pipe here and come along here somewhere. Let's see. Where do we come over here in the best possible way? No, this pipe here is not optimal. We need to go lower than that. Probably through here, up and over. Yeah, that's the way to do it. So, it actually turns out we need to build this entire thing here. But that's okay. Oops, have nothing else to do as soon as this build over there is completed. Therefore, it shouldn't take very long. Where are you going? Come here. There you go. And then all the way through. And you can come down and in that is the path we're going to take here just as simple as that uh bridges this way this way uh where else do we need a bridge anywhere else no not this way around 
We're here, we're good, there we're good. And the rest is straightforward. Good. Especially living that streamer life, talking about the algorithm. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. You're done with that face? You're not streaming anymore, Sin? I'm enjoying it. I mean, like I always say, it's not like I'm doing it for the money or anything. Not like anybody could live over this in any way, shape, or form. But it's just fun hanging out with you guys. It's actually a lot more fun than playing Oxygen Not Included by myself. Not even going to lie about it. <laughs> like, playing it by myself, of course, is also um, not, not fun. But it's more fun um, and you can talk to somebody at the same time. And let's put this pipe down here. And then let's go with this pipe right here. We're just going to snip this here off for right now. Uh, we're going to go with the second pipe through here. As a matter of fact, we're going to build this pipe one lower. We're going to plop this one in and snip this one off. And then we have three water sources right here. We have our water geyser. Our first cool steam vent and our second cool steam vent, all of them feeding this infinite storage right here. Very, very good. And then eventually we're just going to use one of those liquid pumps to get this stuff back out and then into our spawn right here. Very nice. David Blackwell says, Notion build confuses me. Which build confuses you? Um, just let me know. And I'm happy to show, explain whatever there is to show or explain. Uh, no problem at all. That goes for everybody here in the stream. If anybody has a question about any of the builds or whatever else this might be. Uh, I'm more than happy to answer if I have an answer. <laughs> no guarantees. I mean, you are done with a face, not done overall. I'm still streaming over the blue side. Also getting ready to start up here a little, maybe. Hell yeah. Come on, join the red side. <laughs> Need more streamers on YouTube. So YouTube might, uh, maybe finally realizes the value of streaming and actually improves their damn website. Maybe their app too while they're at it. But yeah, these dudes here will now need to build a lot of pipes. That is uh, definitely going to take a hot minute. But other than that, we are ready to go. Everything is good to go. The infinite storage with water on top of oil. Okay, we can go over that real quick. Um, we are using airflow tiles, of course, because airflow tiles cannot break uh, due to pressure. Uh, then we have a liquid vent here. The liquid vent itself has oil over it. When we take a look at the liquid vent, it overpressures at 1000 kg. So as long as we have a heavier liquid than the liquid that we are putting in here, which is going to be water, that is higher. Um, the density has to be higher than the liquid that we put in, um, of less than 1000 kg over the liquid vent. The water is going to come through the pipe. It's going to try to come out of here, but it can't because the crude oil is already blocking this exit, right? So the next point is going to go is up here. And at this point right here, it does not calculate the overpressure anymore. Uh, so this is effectively an infinite storage. It's, it's going to pump as much water in here as we give it up to infinity. Didn't they nerf airflow tiles in the somewhat recent update? I thought they could break now. Really? Can they? I haven't seen that. But I could also be wrong because I've missed a few updates. I don't think that they can break because there is still um, um, carbon dioxide. In this case here, there's still a gas inside of it. And the gas can't break, right? So I don't know how they would exactly patch that. No airflow tiles are still unbreakable? Oh, thank God. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure how they would patch that. And I also don't know why they would patch it. I think I've said it before. People ask me if I think that um, A, infinite storages are cheating. No, I don't think so. And uh, B, uh, what I do if they ever patch it out. Um, nothing, because I don't think they ever will. I mean, if you are a Cly, right? If you are the developer of this game, 
why would you patch this out? First of all, it's a single player game, so you can do what you want in the first place anyway. And second of all, the publicity they get from those kind of bugs and the videos on YouTube from including myself and other people about those uh, fancy bugs and stuff like that is invaluable. Uh, that's why that's one of the reasons why oxygen not included is as big as it is right so they would shoot themselves in the foot if they were to ever remove stuff like uh, infinite storages so they're not gonna do it it's that simple since as we are about to find out i suppose we sure are <laughs> we definitely are about to find out Maybe we should turn up the speed. Why am I just running it at one time? Yes, we're never going to get done here. Come on. I really want to go through this teleporter here. All we need is a few pipes, a, a few uh, insulated tiles, and we are done here. Let's see how well this here is working. Does it work as well as I hope it does? I would say yes. I think this here is working exactly as I expected. Obviously, now the water is just sitting here. It does send a green signal, but our pump goes nowhere because nobody has built our um, insulated uh, pipes yet. So we need to rectify that. And then we will head through the teleporter. If they introduce decent storage, they might try to stop infinite storage, but I don't see the incentive. I mean, I have to say I tried and I failed. I mean, you remember last time around we built those two here. I saw 2000 kilograms is quite a lot of wood. Um, we broke those 2000 kilograms in absolutely no time with one single hydrogen vent right here. Um, clearly, could I build more of those? Of course, I build, could build more of those. But I could just have this here and have the same exact effect. So why wouldn't I, right? That's how I look at it. A thousand kilograms is definitely better than 300, uh, but still not what I would like to have. What are the dupes doing? All right. Once again, those that is already on number nine. Uh, why are you not building it? What are you doing in the meantime? I'm really questioning that right now. There shouldn't be a hell of a lot of work for anything, really. Why are there so many dupes with uh, Atma suits on? Like, what are you doing down here? You're picking up Igneous Rock and doing what with it? Is all my igneous rock down here on the, on the ground? You literally have to go down here to grab it first. Is that the problem? Like, where are you going with your igneous rock right now? Are you going to the bathroom? You probably dropped it somewhere. Oh my god. It's trying to exploit the game part of it, isn't it? Or we should call it creative use of game mechanics. That is exactly it. That is exactly it. I mean, it's a game mechanic. It's in the game on purpose. The game is by now how old? When did Oxygen Not Included uh, come out? 2017, 18, somewhere there. It's not a new game. If the developer really had an intent on fixing it, they would have done it a long, long time ago. And they haven't. Most likely for the reason that I just mentioned. It would be bad for their own business. So why would you? Need airflow tiles near the atmosphere so they don't go all the way to the bottom? That's actually a great idea. I could just build uh, airflow tiles across here. So when they drop it, well, not here. Right here I can uh, get rid of this heavy wet wire temporarily. And then... Uh, Put a plate here. But that will most definitely stop that. You are right. That will uh, definitely save us a, a lot of trouble. Very good call. Doc, extremely helpful as usual. And I truly appreciate it. Of course, Kravak somehow made it through without a suit. We could have seen that coming. Uh, did anybody make it up here with a suit? Of course. 
Come here. Get down here and deliver your soup where it belongs. Anybody else make it through there in that short amount of time? There, get rid of your suits. A bunch of dupes made it down there. Where are you going? And what do you have there? What in the hell am I looking at here? Oh, you have a worn atma suit. Okay, that shall be allowed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, now we're looking better. That's better. Every time you make a tiny little change, you build this one tile right here, and the dupes are immediately filing through here like there's no tomorrow. That is, of course, the priority. There we have another dupe. Ojin is running around in the base with an atma suit on. Stop that. Go down here and take it off. Fixing uh, infinite storage is probably a software engineering nightmare as well. Oh, definitely it is. Again, it would basically break the entire game engine as it is right now. <laughs> like you would have to rewrite it from scratch, more or less. Because it's just inherent mechanics that are built into the game. If you fix the infinite storage, you will break basically everything else. Is it doable? Of course it would be doable. But is it worth it? That's the question. And again, it's a single player game. It's not like you're harming anyone else by doing so. Like there is nothing stopping you from building it. And there's also nothing stopping you from not using it. You know the difference between dupes and IRL workers? Dupes are put first on the priority between security and productivity. <laughs> yes, that's right. <laughs> uh, that is very true. Sad, but true. Very, very good. Slowly but steadily, if we can get this pipe here done, please get my pipe done. So we can start filling this infinite storage here and actually make sure that it works. Should really not be that big a deal, you would think, but apparently it is. Um, is there really that much igneous rock down here? I don't even see any. Or is it all the way on the bottom now? What do you have there? Iris, what are you carrying? Igneous rock, 1.6 tons, sure enough. So most of our igneous rock needs to be down there now. Let's see. How much do we have out of stuff? Um, 156 tons available. And most of it down here on the ground or what? Like, the nice thing is, once we go through the teleporter, we are basically going to leave this base here exactly as it is. Which means, we are just going to press K. And we are basically doing this here. So while we're gone, uh, while they have nothing else to do, they might as well go ahead and pick up everything everywhere. So next time we are back and we are building the next project over here, we should be golden. But speaking of it, we still have not found those other um, vents or geysers. We still have three unknown ones. Where are you hiding? I'm really, really curious about that. How about we dig just above this abyssalite right here and dig a straight tunnel over here and see what we can find. Something simple like this here. Um, over here to the left. We're going to get over here relatively soon. Uh, once this last solid crude oil here is molten, we're going to go down here and then eventually left uh, over to the left. So there is still a bunch of unknown area. Can we get through here? Let's see. Yeah, we can literally do something like this here. Get a dupe all the way over here to see what we can find in this area. Just so we can slowly but steadily uncover the map and see what else we have here. 156 ton is, isn't all that much. You are 100% correct, but I'm not worried about it because we have so many volcanoes. Oh, what did I do now? Oh, I released the water. Of course. Um... It is going to drop into our yeah water storage right here. That is a slight problem, but not a very big one. That's okay. And top of here, we can mop, so we should mop. Let's mop. Somebody, please start mopping. There we go. Cassiopeia is here. Saving the day as usual. 
As long as it's just salt water, it's not a big deal. Just mop up as much as you can. And that usually gets the job done anyway. Now we have a poke shell right here. Might as well kill this thing real quick. We have plenty more running around, so I'm not worried about it. Later on, at some point, we will build us a wrench for them, but it's okay. Uh, it's not just salt water. The temps are so low now. It's salt water and brine. Yeah, you're right. It's both of them. Still not a big deal. They're just sitting over here in the corner. Let me take a look here. Nothing's going to happen to that anytime soon. The only thing they're actually doing, maybe they're even helping us because they're occupying two tiles, so they're keeping our water level a little bit higher. <laughs> I guess you got to see positive, right? <laughs> Stick up this tile to get rid of this little bit here as well. It's 1,200 kilograms. Let's drop it all down there. Everything here is freezing. Of course, it's freezing cold down here. But all of that is totally fine. Mop up what you can. And then just let it sit there for all I care. Works out in our favor. Now we have a little bit more ice. And the ice can go back into our storage bins in our um, water reservoir. But still though, where is my water at? Here, there are literally two pieces missing. Okay, and a little bit more down the line. And we need to slowly but steadily get it out of there. We are almost at our 750 kilograms. We will be there very shortly, actually. It doesn't look like our Therma Aqua Tuna has done a hell of a lot yet. Yeah, the water temperature is still uh, below 15 degrees. Or 20. I was planning to build it around here, and I still am. I would just really like them to do those pipes here first. We don't have to have it right away, like in this very instant. Not a big deal. We can just literally draw it around here and it will be done. Four dupes are in combat, really. How many dupes does it take to kill a single poke shell, guys? Good grief. Uh, we should be getting the first water here soon. Just so we can see if everything works the way it should. And there is the first water coming in. Let's take a look at this here. Crude oil and the water is right above it. And right here, crude oil and the water is right above it. Very, very nice. Um, don't see a reason why that wouldn't work. Right here, we have the insulated pipe. Um, we're going to use this pipe right here and we're just going to bring it up to right there so we have it available whenever we need it. We're just going to hook it up um, right when this here is done. This one here going to go off. This one here going to go on in this particular order. And then in base insulated tiles um, with a seven priority for now. Build me first my pipes and then we go from there all the way around. Just as simple as that. Theoretically, there should never ever be a reason to enter this here again. So I'm not worried about it at all. Right here we say, oh, below 1000. That's right, I turned this here effectively off. Let's turn it back on. We actually get the stuff here out of here. Um, we also not going to set this here to 1000, but to like 500 or something. There we go. Now, if you would also start getting the water from the other side, that would be nice. Those last few pieces here. We really need to have those built, guys. Uh, there's no space for dupes to walk under the bottom to uh, to build those insulated tiles. Oh yeah, you're right. You are correct, sir. I'm going to dig all this stuff here up. I'm going to deconstruct those ladders. And put the ladders back in. Like here, 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 and here. That should fix that.
And we can already see this really nice animation right here of how the water combines here up top. It always looks really, looks really nice to put uh, liquids inside of um, airflow tiles. Always a big fan of how that looks personally. I think they did a really good job in visualizing that. But yeah, looking very, very good. Up here on the top, maybe for this liquid pump, maybe we should have some kind of sensor on it, though. Uh, so it just doesn't pump every single drop all the time. Let's just put it over here somewhere. Um, then a wire over. Just so we can control the flow a little bit and save a little bit of power in the process as well. Never hurts, even though power is certainly not a concern that we have right this moment. And more pipes are being built. Soon, we're going to get that excess water out of there. Because if we get a little bit more water, it will actually overpressure our cool steam vent and it will stop. I uh, would like to avoid that. Very good. Just in time before that happens. We are getting the water pumped out. And uh, let's follow this pipe along here. Yep, the pipe is correct. All the way over here. Very good. Now we just need the insulated tiles. And we are golden. That is exactly what that should look like. Of course, the piping on the right side was a little bit long. But other than that, we didn't have a choice. We needed it this way. I could have built the storage a little bit more central, but then we would have needed more pipes on the left side, which makes it even worse. Therefore, this is the best possible location for it. Few more tiles, guys. Come on. Seven more tiles plus one on the top. Um, while we are at it, I just happened to see there's a bunch of ice right here. You know what? Let's dig over here real quick as well. Just so we can get it in here and refill this here. And now that we are basically taking almost nothing out of it. Again, the amount is really not that much that we are losing at this point. Um, might as well add a little bit of ice to it. Just so we can refill the tank a little bit. Trying, as usual, to keep it as simple as possible. And the next thing that we have to think about is, which dupe are we going to send over to our new planetoid? Um, let's see. Somebody preferably who can dig. That would be a good start. And somebody preferably who has a comparatively low morale need. We will get a second dupe that we can thaw up when we are over there. Um, I have no idea what this dupe is going to be, obviously. So, um, obviously, we could just give those three skill points. I believe it's three that we get into uh, digging. But if it's not a digger, it will kill its morale. And the first few cycles over there are always crucial, just like you start a new game. Um, because we need to make sure that we are, well, surviving over there and hopefully not lose another dupe. Uh, that would be bad. So let's see what we have here. Uh, proof construction and tidying only needs six morale. Uh, that would be good to have. 11 morale, 11 morale. Trying to keep that as low as we can. We have Brandon right here. Who also only needs six morale. And he's almost all the way to mechatronics engineering, but cannot dig. But that would be okay, though. Already having a mechatronics engineer over there would most definitely be helpful. Um, usually the deep frozen has some trait like farther uh, to reward you for thawing them. Yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> usually they have like mouth breeder or something stupid like that. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I think Brandon here. 
is going to be a pretty decent candidate for going over there. Um, how many more engineers do we have over here? Let's see. Um, we have one engineer, Jim Nanny, is here. Um, all the way through. I know we have Sin somewhere. Sin is our other mechatronics engineer. Do we have another one, though? I think we only had three. I was thinking it would be a good idea to send one of them over there. Yeah, our choice is going to be Brandon. I think that is a pretty good dupe to send over there, especially depending on what we find over there. Uh, also adept in farming. Yeah, definitely a good choice. Whatever we need, Brandon should be able to provide. So that will work in our favor. Very, very good. Yep. And right here, now we can also see exactly how this infinite storage works. The crude oil stays on the bottom. The water gets pumped in there and goes to the top uh, without any problems. Um, right at the moment, we have no more water in here, though. Of course, because this thing here stopped. Uh, don't want to do that, though. Uh, hydro sensor, we are saying turn green if above 500 kilograms, not below. Definitely don't want that. That is a problem. Now let's get this here back up and running, please. Thank you very much. Which in turn will also help this steam here and gets everything back up and running. Wait till you get a new dupe and send them sacrificial lamb. <laughs> it would be good to have a dupe with some kind. All right, let's see if uh, this here will fix it any second now, hopefully. That should do it. If it was lagging for you, then you will have to uh, reset your stream right around now when you hear this. Um, just a refresh if you're on a computer with F5 or reload the page. And that should fix your problems immediately. I can instantly see it on my OBS. It was once again my internet provider. And it was not YouTube. Um, blame where blame is due. But this time it was most definitely not YouTube. Again, thankfully I'm blessed with two internet connections. So from now on we know. And we are good. Try to turn off YouTube and reload the stream. All I'm getting is the title card now. Let's try it again, Sin. It should be better now. Uh, I have a zero dropped frames right now. Uh, therefore, it should be good. Let's make sure everybody's back on board. Because we are done here. There's nothing left to do at this point. Uh, well, there's one thing left to do, I suppose. Which is this here. And this here. Uh, so we make sure that we are now getting the water out of our infinite storage. Yes, it will cost us a little bit more energy. But at the same time, it's also going to be much, much more stable because we are combining three water sources into one. Uh, therefore, we should never have a problem anymore with running out of water. Alex, Alex Casper, hello. How are you doing today? Thank you for joining in. Um, hope you're having a great day or evening, wherever you are happening to be located. Let's see that we get rid of this pipe here. There we go. All empty. Can't be destroyed. And gone for good. Yeah, and we are still getting more water in than we are using. That is, of course, expected behavior. So we are golden. Up here the water is still at 15 degrees. Our thermal aquatune has still had basically no work to do. We are still at 16.5, 16.9 degrees. So it will take a few more eruption cycles from this cool steam vent right here before we actually heating this here up. And our thermal aquatune actually gets a hell of a lot of work to do to turn on our steam turbine. So that should be perfect as far as I can tell. 
So I think it is time to go ahead. How are we looking at F1, by the way? Um, a little bunch of carbon dioxide here, but other than that, we're looking golden. Uh, why are you not pumping? Because we are below 800 grams down there on the bottom, but it's not like your pipe is blocked or anything, right? Nope, pipe is good. All right, then. No complaints. Our base here is okay. Uh, time to send Brandon over to our other planetoid. Did you set the sensor correct on the right went? The pump wasn't pumping. On the right went. Um, not entirely sure what you were referring to. Which pump are we talking about, Doc? Um, this liquid pump here? Far right. You mean this one? Uh, with the turbine? Uh, this one here is set to send a green signal of above 750 kilograms. That's maybe a little bit overkill. Set it to 500. It is set up correctly. Um, just want to have water here in my second tile to provide more thermal mass. But yeah, it is actually set up correctly. But I appreciate the concern. <laughs> yes, everything's good here. We're good to go. The dupes should make it through here alive. Yeah. Wasn't sure how much water you want. It makes sense. Yep. Let's see. Um, over here. Let's give some clean commands so we can get rid of most of this stuff right here. In the meantime, while we are not really paying attention to this area here, everything can go. If you can reach it, grab it while you're at it. Literally all of it. There we go. All of this stuff you can all go down here on the bottom. Where else do we have stuff laying around? Right here. We don't have any storage for our salt water, but that's totally fine. Down here on the bottom, we're going to grab all this. We're going to grab all that. Yeah, that should be okay. And we will have a lot more resources when we come back to this planet to it the next time around. That's definitely going to be good. Where do we have more stuff laying around? That should be most of it, I would assume. Uh, this here we can't really reach until we build a ladder right here, so let's plop one in. And up here we have a little bit more. And look at this here, we have found something. By the way, let's take a quick peek, what do we have? It is actually aluminum volcano. <laughs> ah, that's good. Cool. We do have an aluminum volcano here. That's very good, actually. Uh, that's going to be very, very helpful. I'm just going to dig to it to see if it is going to be active or not, or what exactly we're dealing with here. Just as simple as that. Going to come all the way up. And, uh, yeah, just dig into here. But that's not a priority right now. But aluminum is probably my favorite volcano to have, because aluminum always comes in handy, uh, probably followed closely by iron. So we have actually the two best ones that you can have, in my opinion, even though gold doesn't hurt either. But you can get by without gold as long as you have plenty of iron and aluminum. So very good. Oops, are a resource. Yes, they definitely are. <laughs> And they immediately start walking around, picking everything up and putting it into our infinite solid storage right here. Very, very nice. Exactly what they should be. But now it is finally time. Brandon, let's head over there and let's see what the hell is going on. By the way, deconstruct this, inspect this thing right here and inspect this thing right here. And one second, Brandon, before you go, where are our teleporters? Um, here we have the teleporter output. Have we found the input yet? Yes, it's over here. So we definitely need to get to this thing here because obviously we need to supply a lot of stuff from this side here over to our new planetoid. Uh, it's kind of important. So let's dig through here with a ladder. And let's make this here a high priority, please. Uh, because we definitely want to use this thing here rather earlier than later. All right. Great Volcano is not enough heat still. You're not wrong. <laughs> it is slowly but steadily getting better. We have some 
some green and red areas uh moved all out uh, all over the map but yes we are still pretty blue around here that's for sure sin is not a resource he's a liability <laughs> <laughs> yes you're not wrong you're definitely not wrong here goes brandon brandon show us what you have going on on what is it called smellina that's right and there he goes and not entirely sure where the hell be zoomed in when he comes out of here but cool i guess brandon is here what do we have polluted water everywhere cool surprise surprise Kinda saw that coming. You missed two build orders, putting your entire high priority dig behind two priority five digs. Um, you missed two build orders. What am I missing? Uh, let's see. Right here, you mean? Oh yeah, you are correct. You are 100% correct. I'm telling you, the, the attention to detail from you guys in this stream is absolutely insane. <laughs> I would have probably come back here in about 10 cycles and would have been wondering why nothing happened and would be mad about it. <laughs> the poo base. Yes, that's right. Wait, what are your worlds? Cold DL and Smelina. Suddenly, that world looks a lot like my rocket after a few days in space. <laughs> it's easy to, put, uh, to spot stuff like that when you aren't playing. That may be. That may be. Still, I am impressed, though. Let's inspect this thing here. And then defrost our friend right away. And let's take a look what we have here. We have a May. May is sawed. Um... So yeah, May is not going to stay May for a long time though, but we do want to know what's going on with May. May has ancient knowledge, of course, allergies, is uncultured, is a is biohazardous, uh, is a vomiter, and super productive. That is actually not too shabby. That could have been a lot worse, actually. Uh, personal interests, cooking and researching... Well, that could have been better, I suppose. But researching never hurts, so... <laughs> I'm watching on a phone screen in between working. My eye for detail will not be helpful. That's okay. That's okay. But yes, um, vomiter. Hopefully we don't let it come to that point. Um, that would be good. But other than that, I mean, we have researching, so I'm not going to complain about it. Cooking, meh. But overall, I, I had worse dupes over here. Let me put it this way. Let's go into skills. Let's find May down here. Three skill points are available. We're going to go straight down, advanced researching, um, and probably field research as well. Biohazardous could be slightly problematic here. Generally pretty decent. Would be better if she had interest uh, relevant to the task. Yeah, of course it would be better, but and biohazardous is potentially going to be a little bit of a problem, but in general... Um, we do have a lot of polluted water, but none of those have germs in it, so it's not that big a deal. And floral scent, um, we just need to see what we actually find over here. But before we do anything, uh, those two dupes right here need to get themselves a bathroom. That is highly important, and preferably a bed. Uh, this crowd tank here, we cannot demolish that, of course, because we don't have a dupe for it. Surprise, surprise, we could have seen it coming. Um... Let's dig us over into this general direction right here first. Let's just grab us some stuff here like the cobalt ore and whatnot. Uh, right here, what do we have? We have mud. I need something slightly more substantial. Is that a volcano in the upper right? Yes, that is actually a full-blown, not even a minor, but that is a full-blown volcano right here. So that's a good thing. In the ration box, we have 15.7 kilograms of nutrient bars. And of course, you dug up the wrong side first. Oh, May. Uh, I didn't pay attention. That's okay, though. Nothing we couldn't mop in a heartbeat. Is this a warm biome? Yes, this is a warm biome. Almost hot, even. Aim it now! <laughs> yeah, Brandon got this. Brandon absolutely demands on the job. <laughs> oh, no. We will need some ladders here to get ahead. 
Yeah, I know. May already has to go to the bathroom. We may not be able to wait. Uh, we may have to go um, into plumbing and we may have to build us an outhouse right away. Right here with a number nine priority, if we like it or not, even if it's just going to be sitting there temporarily. Um, we don't want her to pee here, preferably. So, May, please don't. Where are you even going? Like, what the hell was that move? Oh, you're trying to sleep. Of course you are. But you're sleeping in the door. Um, can I wake you up, please, for this task? Uh, does that not work? That should work, once they're awake. You have dirt to fill it? Yes, I should have dirt to fill it. Do I not? Shouldn't you ignore that when this here is on yellow alert? No, you just don't care and go back to sleep. Cool. Ah, you dupes. Come on, get it built, get it built. I will change the schedules. Uh, this one here, again, number nine priority. You don't care what else you do. Grab this stuff and bring it in there. Nothing else matters. There we have it. Dirt is in there. Brandon can use it. And we didn't have an accident yet, or we would have germs all over the place. Very good. It's not optimal, of course, not what I wanted, but sometimes you have to make do with what you have. Our dupe here is full with food poisoning germs because we don't have a wash basin. Uh, we also don't have any water for the wash basin, so that's another problem. But other than that, we are looking okay. Could be worse. Right here, we're going to come up with a ladder. This here is the uh, uh, supply teleporter output. We want to get to that as quickly as we can. So we can get support from our other planet to it. That is highly important. That needs to happen ASAP. So we will. Oh, more volcanoes. Yes, there's another one. Another full-blown volcano. And there's another one. <laughs> what, what is this planet to it? There are only volcanoes. Do we have any other geyser in any way, shape, or form? Yes, we have a cool steam vent right here. Uh, but that's about it. So we have three volcanoes and one cool steam vent. Amazing. <laughs> uh, gotta love it. Just gotta love it. Uh, down here on the bottom. I am going to dig four high straight through here. And make this here my polluted water basin for right now. Yeah, these tubes here are not going to have a lot of fun. At least not for a while. And no sand. Yes, I also don't see any sand. Actually, there's a little bit over here. Thankfully, we have plenty of sand over on the other planetoid. Uh, so we can just send that stuff over here. That's not that big a deal. Can check from space. I always keep forgetting that. You're correct. Uh, cool slush geyser. Natural gas geyser. Minor volcano. We haven't even found a minor volcano yet. There's another one somewhere. <laughs> we only have found normal volcanoes. Oh, God. A cool steam vent, another water geyser. That's going to come in handy, both of them. Um, chlorine gas vent, uh, worthless. But we have gold and aluminum. So no, we, now we have all three of them. We have iron, we have aluminum, and we have gold. As a matter of fact, we have now two aluminum volcanoes that we can work with. Very, very good. Um, right here, let's see, insulated tiles. Let's put a couple of them right there. Very nice. Need a ladder. Um, yes, I need a ladder to get down here. Uh, you're absolutely correct. Actually, don't build this tile. Build downwards. Uh, just for right now. This ladder here is also more or less going to be temporary. We're going to put that somewhere else later. But for right now, it's all about speed mainly. We are out of tiles. We are out of material for tiles. God. Come on, dupes. You can do it. We will also have to uh, send some food through here. That definitely has to happen. We will need beds. Um, let's go to the schedule real quick. And let's get us a new schedule. And we are just going to make it a default schedule. Something that looks kind of like this. Um, downtime. Let's go away with this 
best time right here, making another downtime, which will increase our morale. We could um, probably, I think if you increase it by one more, it will actually be plus three. Uh, so the dupes will definitely like that. And both the dupes that are on Smelina are going to get that because currently we are a little bit limited of how we can provide them with any kind of um, morale boost. So we will have to do something like this, at least temporarily. Plugs like eating my metal. You son of a... <laughs> yeah, that's okay. There's just a little bit of cobalt ore. Don't really care too much about that right now. I need a bathroom. A proper, at least somewhat proper bathroom. That would be good. Um, outhouse. We're going to build one um, right here. Another one right there. In medicine, we are going to build us two wash basins. I don't know yet where I'm going to get the water from, but yeah. Build a phone, use it to make a great hall. Yeah, that's a good idea. We could do that. Um, Let's see. A nomadic door that we're going to plop right there. And then in tiles right here, we need to close it off. And right there, we need to close it off. That's actually not even that high. Only like this here should get the job done to make a room out of it. To provide us another morale boost. Oh, I see the colony gets a proper bathroom. I'm gonna go sulk on my captain's chair. <laughs> oh, God. That is just too funny. Body line phones gives good morale in rec room. Free hydrogen. Free hydrogen? Uh, there is some hydrogen here, I guess, but that's the only thing that we have. Uh, it's not a lot. Yeah. We will have to send some building materials through here. All we have here is sedimentary rock that I can see. A little bit of sandstone, but really not a hell of a lot. Uh, sulfur. Nothing too useful. Down here, we have a cool steam vent. We can't just block this off here with a wall and then grab water out of here or our wash basins. That'll work. <coughs> Oh, I think Valentino was referring to the hungry plug slugs. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> we are going to murder this thing here in a second, though. There we go. Let's set this here up. Uh, yes, there is an ice biome with a wheeze word in it. Uh, things starting to look up. Two tables and a teleporter room gets the mess hall bonus. Really? What is the recreational building in here? Oh, well, I'm going to try it. Definitely not going to hurt anything. Uh, let's put two of them down. I will also have to mop up this stuff right here. Um, and then we will need to build us a tiny little bit of a bedroom here for the dupes. Let's build this too. Let's take a look here. It does give the mess hall. Oh, but because it's a mess hall, of course. It's not a great haul. That makes sense. That makes actually perfect sense. We are going to plop down in plumbing a bottle empty here. Plop that right here so we can get rid of these bottles right here. We don't want to have those all over our living quarters. But slowly but steadily, it almost looks like something. And that makes at least somewhat sense again. Add a phone and a decor item, and then it might be a great haul. Uh, I don't think we can. Um, what could we do decor-wise, because we don't have the skill for it? Does it already count to just build like a frame or a statue, even though nobody has worked on it? I think it does. <coughs> All right. Let's mop this here up as well to get rid of the... Uh, Soaking feet debuff. And then right here, yes, only polluted water. The dupes are eating. 
Assault need to be 20 decor item. That's what I thought, but I don't think we have anything. Flower pot with a seed. That would also work if we have something light here. Yeah, the dudes are just sleeping on the floor right now. Where are we going to build a bathroom? Uh, not a bathroom, I mean. Of course, not a bathroom. But a um, some kind of living quarter. A bedroom. Probably right here for high two pneumatic doors. And done deal. Uh, get rid of this stuff right here. Right here, we're going to build up our ladder and we're going to come through there. If the game allows me to do it while saving, there we go. <laughs> we know memorials add decor now. I mean, if things go bad, I suppose that's an option. <laughs> Fortunately, only plus 10 though, right? <laughs> Those flowers in the biome at the moment will work. Uh, what flowers do we have around here? I haven't even paid attention. We have a swamp chard hard. Yeah, that's not it. Um, mellow mallow. That could work. Yeah, that looks like it could work. We could just use this thing right here and plant it. That's probably a good call. Let's try that out. Um, that's in furniture, of course. And we need a hanging pot. And we're just going to hang it from here for all I care. That's totally fine. And then we could build a party line phone. Does it have to actually work uh, to count? What is the requirement here? Let's take a look. Not here, but in the room overlay. For a great hall, we need just a recreational building. So it shouldn't have to work. We can just plop it right there and it should work. And yeah, we can still not demolish that, of course. I keep trying to demolish it because it's in my way. Let's see what we have here. We have a mellow seed. Um, but yeah, it, it should be totally fine. 10 to 30 degrees, 150 grams minimum air pressure. Oxygen, polluted oxygen, carbon dioxide. Uh, you're in. Let's go. And then up here, we're just going to build us cots. One, two, three, four. Yes, directly four. Screw it. Doesn't matter. Eventually, we will have more dupes over here. Um, better too many than not enough. And that should get the job done. At least for right now. Right here. Let's mop this up. And that is already a somewhat decent start. Could have gone a hell of a lot worse, I would say. So I'm not too unhappy about it. Let's get down here. Let's get us the swamp hard. Here, everything that's edible goes into here with a number nine priority. We don't want to have it just laying around anywhere. Don't get stuck in there. What are you doing? And now let's take a look here in the room overlay. It is a great hall. Yes, right here. The mellow mellow has worked as well as our party line phone. We just don't have any power yet, of course. So we need to do something about that. But that is not in the priority list on the very top so far. Right here, it's already a barracks. That's very nice. Uh, for luxury barracks, we will need comfy beds, but we don't have any, so it will stay a barracks for now. No problem whatsoever. And now we just need to get through this stuff right here to get rid of this polluted water. I'm probably just going to... Yeah, maybe this right here would be a nice basin to keep that stuff. Um, temperatures are pretty decent right here. You're just going to leave uh, one layer of abyssalite, dig the rest out and make it our natural polluted water basin. That should be fine. Maybe the slug could charge the phone. We only have one of them. I mean, we could get more of them out of there, I guess, but... How much should I give again? 400 watts? I could try to keep this thing here in a certain area. Yeah, we could try something like that, maybe. Alright, 
So far, so good. They have no beds, they have bathrooms, there is no more liquids on the floors, so the only time they will get the sopping wet debuff, or better to say the wet feet debuff, is when they come down here. Very, very good. Vacation world, it's not freezing cold, it's comfy, it just smells like ass. <laughs> uh, yes, exactly. Toilet problem on the home planet. Toilet problem on the home planet? We have water going through. What happened? What did I miss? I didn't see an error pop up anywhere. <coughs> it alerted, did it? I missed that completely. I was not entirely sure how there could theoretically be even a problem. By now we have four and a half tons in here. I see that. That's good. But other than that, I mean, there, there, sh there, there shouldn't be a problem. Our water here is still circulating just fine. We have more ice that is slowly but steadily thawing. The loop is okay. Someone was probably too far from the restroom. That was probably it. Yeah, I didn't even notice it in any way, shape, or form. But looks like the dupes are cleaning up pretty nicely. Most of this stuff is gone now. Up here on the top, at least. Uh, down here on the bottom, they will have more to do, but... Yeah, at the moment, I don't see a problem. Oh, my apologies. Uh, cannot contain myself today. Um, we can... While we are here, really quickly start digging down a little bit further to get to this solid crude oil right here. Uh, we can probably also get rid of this heat exchanger here slowly but steadily as well. Um, no more use for it anymore. But yeah, I think our home planet is doing alright. Back to Smelina. Oh yeah, before we do that, do we have access now to this um, teleporter? Yes, we do. Teleporter is good. Just need a little bit of power to the conveyor loader, or better to say the conveyor loader should be somewhere more accessible. Um, and then from here, we are just going to build a conveyor rail over there. Out of literally anything, whatever the hell you want. Couldn't care less. And we're just going to tell them manually what to put in there when we need it. Uh, there's nothing that we need to constantly exchange right at this moment. So we are just going to come in from the other side and call it a day. Mainly because we have a power hookup right here. And it's somewhat easily reachable. As a matter of fact, actually, it's still not optimal. Because they still have to put on an atmo suit and everything. Um, we could plop it a little bit further up here. That's probably even better. Easier to access for the dupes. Uh, I'm just going to plop it right here. No, that's a bad spot. <laughs> can't do that. Because I can't come out with my conveyor rail. Um, shipping, conveyor rail, gonna come down here, gonna come through here, and we're just gonna go all the way down and connect it up to there. That should get the job done. With a conveyor bridge crossing over the other conveyor bridge. And then power from literally anywhere. That'll do it. Very good. Someone, uh, someone was just bladderful and was running to the bathroom. I get that in my game from time to time. Yeah, that happens. If they have bladderful down here, it will give an alert. But they still have more than enough time to actually make it all the way up here. And I'm going to give one more build command while we are here. We have plenty of plastic to go around. How about we make this ladder here all the way throughout the plastic? This is our main route through the base. Uh, so the dupes should be able to use this one ladder here a little bit faster. Thankfully, we have plenty of plastic, and if we need more, we just have to turn this here back on, and we are golden. Very good. That should increase the efficiency also to get all of this stuff here out. Um, quite drastically, actually. <clears throat> when, you want, when you want to pee and make a big deal out of it, I suppose. <laughs> yes, exactly. Okay, over here. We have bedrooms, we have bathrooms, we already have a great hall. Which is a very smart idea to put that in here. That is actually very, very nice. Now we just need to work on this uh, polluted water base. And we have a tiny little bit of water up here. Uh, but I would really like to combine all of this polluted water into one spot here. So it's out of the way and we don't have to worry about it anymore. So that's the next plan here. 
Uh, we can come in here to fold, and that's probably what we're gonna do. We're just gonna dig all the way down to like right there with the ladder. All of this stuff here will have to be dug out eventually. We're gonna start from the top though, not from the bottom. So, yeah, let's come through here, open this up, and let's get down there. Is that the classic planetoid or a spaced out version? The game is in the spaced out version, but it is a classic planetoid size. At least this one here is. So that's classic size. And here we are on the second planetoid, which is, of course, a hell of a lot smaller than the first one. But yes, this is the spaced out DLC with the radiation and all the other good stuff. Oh yeah, this one here needs to go. I will get churns anyway because we don't have any water for the wash basin, so unfortunately there is not a hell of a lot that I can do about it. Um, without water, we are pretty much screwed here. Um, we really need to get over here and into this water, but for that I first want to get rid of the polluted water. <laughs> yeah, my options are slightly limited as of this moment. But yeah, we will get there very soon. Pitcher pumps can filter water. Yeah, we can do that. I just... How do I get in there? I guess we could try that by putting the pitcher pump maybe right here. How much do we have here? Actually, that's plenty. We could dig through here and get there this way. We could try that. Let's give it a shot. Four kilograms. <laughs> no, right here we have a little bit more. 800 kilograms would be good. Right here is where I actually want to dump my polluted water and not over here. So we're going to get rid of this thing right here. Don't need it anymore before the dupes do something stupid. My beer started to do the same seed. I'm not sure what the teleporter planet brings additionally, as we already have plenty of oil on the first planet. Is there more oil on this thing? Um, it does bring at the bare minimum a um, um, a gold volcano. Uh, so when we look at the star map right here, we can see we do have a aluminum volcano and a gold volcano. So if it does nothing else, absolutely nothing else, then at the bare minimum we can get gold and aluminum, which is always a good thing. <clears throat> There's no question about it. I need to get me a drink real quick, guys. Give me one second. It's just right behind me. Alright. That should make it better. After four hours of streaming, I can barely talk anymore. Volcano provides long-term hatch child too. It does, but I would also argue that we have plenty of those over here as well. They're just minor. We have one right here, and we have another one right... Where is it hiding? Right there. Hidden here is another one, another minor volcano. So, yeah. We do have three volcanoes here, though. I don't know what I'm going to do with these two, though. Holy crap, they're literally right beside each other. Like, what the hell is this spawn? <laughs> But yeah, I definitely see benefits from this planetoid. It's not like it's it's gonna do us no good at all. Um, the gold and the aluminum are definitely gonna come in handy once we find them. I think there are volcanoes as well as gold and aluminum volcanoes on the starting asteroid. On the starting asteroid, we don't have gold and aluminum. Well, we don't know yet, actually. Um, according to this, uh, we have s still three more geysers that are unknown. But we have an aluminum volcano, and we do have an iron volcano. We don't have gold. Um, unless it's still somewhere hidden and we haven't found it yet again. Not entirely sure. Uh, we need to dig through here. Let's see, what else do we need to dig up? All of this stuff right here. The bog bucket's gotta go. This thing's gotta go. Yeah, all of this stuff here. We're gonna dig all of this up, and we are going to transfer as much uh, polluted water as possible over here to the left. That is the plan for right now. 
On the topic of water, what about chipping over some sand and sieving it? I was just thinking about that until the idea with the pitch pump came up. Um, so now that we do have this pitch pump right here, at least for this very second, we do not necessarily need it. Um, we just need to be able to build it. So, dupes, come on, get it done. Do have another ladder right here. <clears throat> but yes, I definitely thought of that. Uh, hey, hey, why? I'm assuming that's how you pronounce it. Um, always an option. We need to activate this thing here, by the way. The same on the other side. Probably a good idea to do that right away. Just so later on we uh, are not in a pinch to get this done when we need something like right away. Come on, put this pitcher pump in here. Oh, we germ wise. Could still be worse right now. Could still be worse. Let's put these here to number nine priority so we get the water right away. We picked up 200 kilograms. And May is bringing it over. And at least the first one is now functional. Very, very good. And the second one too. And another thing completed on our list. Yes, let's get rid of all this polluted water here. Don't want to see this stuff anymore. And yeah, this is a rather bleak planetoid. Like the second ones usually are. There's usually not too much going on that is actually important, that's for sure. But yeah, there's some more diamond that will come in handy. Uh, there's no question about it. Still, don't see any more vents or geysers other than this cool steam vent. So where the hell are they hidden? There's one up here. Oh, what have we got hidden behind door number one? <laughs> A minor volcano. Oh my god. That is not what I need right now, okay? <laughs> uh, volcanoes for days. Insanity. Absolute insanity. All right, we can start mopping over here to get rid of most of this polluted water. We need to dig one out here. We don't have the skill for that. We can give somebody the, still, uh, uh, the skills that it's okay. Oh yeah, there is sleet with David. You are correct. Um, yeah. Definitely going to come in handy. Definitely going to come in handy. Uh, these words, same thing. I haven't seen one on the home planetoid yet. Definitely good to have. Pepe says, glad to actually catch you live for a change. Been slow going catching up on the vault, but happy to see you back in oxygen, not included scene. Well, I appreciate it and I'm glad you made it live as well. Um, you know, I'm just trying to do what makes the most sense for me right now. And that is streaming and hanging out with you guys live instead of, um, Spending an insane amount of time on editing. <laughs> ah, plugs, lug, plugs, lugs. Just running around here. We need to dig up a little bit more here. Oops, get down here. Something like this here so you can go there from each side. <clears throat> the abyssalite the break. Um, you mean right here? Yeah, we are not going to plant it there anyway. I'm not too worried about that. We are going to find us a better spot, most likely not even on this planetoid. We are probably just going to ship it over to the other one because that makes the most sense. Colony lacks field research skill. We need a field researcher to do that. I forgot about that. Thankfully, we have May here. And May is now a field researcher. Hooray, isn't that nice? There you go. Have a hat for it. And go on with your duty. <clears throat> um, 
Also, if you set up some batteries and I wrangled some while plugs lux for free power, I think the colony could benefit from a whole lot of deodorizers. Yes, it could benefit from that. We have not a piece of scalding. Wait, what? What are you even doing in here? Oh yeah, you're picking up the last few pieces of coal that are still laying there. <laughs> oh, those pieces over here. Yeah, that's fine. <clears throat> Did you build a mini pod? No, I forgot about that too. I'm still appreciating your gift sub, Cinnamon Night Entertainment. Thank you again. Yes, thank you, Cinnamon. Once again, it was really nice of you. Dear Guard is here. Hey, y'all. Hey, uh, 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 hey, uh, yourself. <laughs> Hope you're doing all right today. And no, Bruce, I still have to do that. You are 100% correct. Let's see your base. Where's the mini pod? Right here. Where are you even going to put it now? I don't even have any space. Usually I just put it right here. Um, can't just put it right here for now. It doesn't make a difference. Richard Jackson is here. Greetings and salutations. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, come on, dupes. Oh, you're not going further because you cannot dig through abyssalite, of course. Uh, yeah, kind of forgot about that. We don't have a heavy-duty digger yet. That's okay. Now we can dig up here. Now once you have this ladder, you can go up here. You can go all the way through and we can dig up more. Uh, all this stuff here can now go as well. Just trying to consolidate that water as far over here as possible. Which will probably be right in this area where we are right now. So that's perfect. Uh, pretty good, not a great day to open the windows, but the temps are good. 25 to 35 miles per hour, winds with gusts to 50 to 55. A lot of dirt, dust in the air. Oh, that sucks. But the good thing is, windows do close. So that is definitely helpful. Come on, dupes, can you please get this here done so we can put a little bit of power in here. I also want to dig out this here. We need to get this here down to the ground as well. Um, preferably even I would like to go over here and get rid of this here as well. Once we are rid of all this polluted water here and it's out of our way, we have a lot more opportunities to uh, um, build around however we please without standing in water every five seconds. We had the first summer day here in Switzerland, 25 degrees Celsius. Don't ask what it is in Fahrenheit. I'm pretty sure I read in a German newspaper that they had some place where it has 30 degrees today. Like in freaking April, like what the hell is going on? <laughs> that is extremely high of a temperature for this time of year. That is for sure. Okay, how are we going to do this here in the best possible way? Probably going to use this area right here to empty this year out and then close this year off with a tile temporarily and have all this water flow diagonally over and then down <laughs> yeah i think that's the best course of action for right this second it will kill our water but our water will accumulate somewhere else and we just have to go from there uh, let's see a mesh tile put it under our bottle empty there we go Deconstruct this here now. And the water is going to come down. Of course, a little bit is going to spill, as always, but that's not the end of the world. Can't just pick it back up. Shouldn't take too long. Come up here with this. Our pitcher pump has to be relocated. That's also totally fine. And dig through here as well. Yep, I'll take that. Last year we had a couple of feet of snow at this time. Yeah. <laughs> That sounds about right. That's roughly what happens at this time of year. <laughs> All right, let's bring this over here. Just a little bit more water management and we can go ahead and help our dupes with something more important and that would be power production. We do want to have a little bit of power over here for sure though. Could replace the left tile under the teleporter with a mesh tile to avoid future mob-ups when remaining water comes. That is a good idea. We could get rid of this one. 
and just put a mesh tile in its place right here. Something like this. Oh, not like there. Come on now. There we have it. And now all we have to do is basically just dig more or less three tiles high here all the way over. And most of the water will drain. Then we have to go up a little bit and we should be through with this chapter. There we go. Not a mesh tile is coming. Just got to get up there. Um, have we dug up this thing yet? It's overpressured, so that's perfectly fine. It is not dormant. We just need to uh, take a look every once in a while to see if it's dormant, because the moment it's dormant, we're going to tame this thing real quick. Uh, it's going to be pretty simple and straightforward. We're going to do the exact same build as this one right here. Very easy. Over here, we can now dig deeper. Uh, two high all the way through. Three high all the way through. And four high all the way through. Something just like that until we reach the solid crude oil. Very nice. Back to Smelina. Are we digging yet? Nope, of course not. We are sleeping. How else would it be? There we go. More water is coming, more polluted water is coming. Get it all down there. We don't want to have it up here. This here is going to be a nice area once we are free of polluted water to put some infrastructure in. Yeah, 25 degrees is roughly the temperature that I wouldn't be unhappy if it had that temperature and only that temperature all year long. <laughs> like, I personally wouldn't need anything else. Uh, wouldn't complain a single day of my life if I would never feel another temperature again other than 25. <laughs> Didn't expect a mix of fluid types to make a mess anyway. Yeah, it did make a little bit of a mess here. We also gonna set this here to water, I suppose. Actually, we can just mop it up. Um, they will take the water away and put it in here right away once they need it, so that will work. But we have now the water kind of accumulated over here on the right, which will come in handy uh, when we replace our pitcher pump. That is actually a very good thing. We just have a marginal amount up here on the top. But most of it has accumulated in on the right side. Few more tiles and we can start mopping the remainder up. Uh, still 0% stress. Our dupes don't care a bit about the fart aroma sin. <laughs> Apparently they're totally fine here. All of this here, we have a little bit more, a little bit higher up. So we need to come over here with our ladder and dig this here up. And as a matter of fact, we can then dig all the way through and get the last little bit out as well there is nothing else above us at least until we get almost to space and at that point uh, we don't care anymore about it no problem the thing is that you can run these mix of fluid through water sieves and desalinate they don't mind and let the water just through yep that's very true a water sieve doesn't care about water it just doesn't do anything that just flows through without being touched definitely a good mechanic in the game Glad they thought of that when they programmed it. Might be a slime lung. Yeah, there is a little bit of slime lung up here. Eh, that's funny. Yeah, slime lung, thankfully, is no problem at all. Because just like everything else, radiation will take care of it. Will absolutely take care of it in no time. I also have a build for that ready.
All right, let's get the rest. They don't mind, but it costs power and can result in undersized packets, which can further increase power waste. Yeah, but in a case like this here, like if you really wanted to filter all this water right here, it would be very easy um, to just run this through here without trying to filter it out. So that's probably a good course of action in the first place. Now we can plop our pitcher pump back here into this corner again. So we have it available when we need it. A few more tiles, another 1800 kilograms of polluted water, and we are good to go. There was a time long ago that the siege would break if brine or salt water entered it. Oh, the sieve, you mean? I don't think I've ever tried that. But I've put salt water or brine into a sieve on accident. Not that I can't remember, at least. But yeah, I mean, it is the wrong element, so it would probably break. Radiation fixes everything. I suddenly feel like I've been back into the time of the 50s. <laughs> We paint our walls around here with that stuff. It's totally fine and it glows in the dark. It's perfect. <laughs> All right. The last little bit is out. Here we have another 34 grams here. We can start mopping once it's mopped up and put into its appropriate place, which is this bottle empty right here. We are golden. There we have another little bit. That's it. Very good. Now they don't mind as far as I know, really? They don't care about uh, Reiner salt water anymore? See, I had no idea. It's not something I've ever tried to do, I guess. If it's not polluted water, it passes through. What if you try it with oil? What if you put oil in there? Will it also just pass through, or is it unhappy about that? I guess that would be something to try. <laughs> Radiation fixes everything. Me, Brazilian, remembering the cesium-137 on Goiana. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that is a problem, or at least it used to be. So only non-water liquids break it. Okay, I can see how that makes somewhat sense. Uh, how much food do we have left over here? 34,000 calories. You guys are fine. You guys are totally fine on that front. That's actually pretty decent. We're mopping up the rest. Gonna get rid of it. Put it all into a central location. And then happily move along like nothing has ever happened. I always like to combine all the stuff and get it out of my way first before I build anything fancy here. Because later on it will just be a bigger issue. Um, let's say you want to build, I don't know, whatever you want to build here, a spawn, let's say. And then all of a sudden you have freaking polluted water up here. It's just a problem. Right now when there's nothing in the way, it can just freely flow around in the entire base and nobody cares and we can clean up the leftovers later. Very, very good. Keep on mopping. And then right here, the priority is relatively low. We're going to leave it on a 5 every time when there is a tiny second of downtime that I can't just grab another one of those bottles and bring it over here. That's totally fine without an issue. Up here on the top, everything's mopped up. Everything's good. Nothing left. Very, very nice. Now we just got to fix the rest over here. All across the board. Then once they get rid of this here, the same over here on the left. Radiation, the universe's ultimate anti-biological scrub brush. Yes, exactly. 
Oh, no. It is very true, though. What skill improves mopping? I don't think there's a skill that, that actually improves mopping. I'm pretty sure that um, improved strength has a mop on it, but uh, strength only helps them to uh, carry more. I don't think it helps with actually mopping faster, does it? I don't think so. Um, we could give... Um, let's see here. Morel needs 6 and we have 16. Morel need 4 and we have 13. We are going to give May right here. As soon as she has another skill available, super duper hard digging so we can get rid of the Abyssalite when we want to. I'm not going to give it to Brandon right now. We can wait a tiny little bit longer and give it to May and we will be just fine. Let's mop up this water right here. And that should be the end of it, I believe. Find a little bit more down here. That's all. That's it. We're good. We're golden. All right. Back to Cold Deal. Which is by itself a stupid name. I was not going to lie about that. We're going to dig deeper down here on the bottom. A total of a four. Which will then introduce our oil to the solid crude oil. Uh, didn't dig any on accident any frozen material up here. Nope. All of that is not oil. So that's very good. The moment we have it, we should be good. Um, might have to take this pipe here and make it a little bit longer and put it like somewhere like right here, maybe. Somewhere smack dab in the middle should do the job. Of course, they can't reach any of this stuff. Oh, surprise, surprise. Who could have seen it coming? Um, we're just going to build a ladder right here. Again, this pipe here is just going to be temporary. Right at the moment, we're just waste, uh, wasting um, energy with our liquid pump here. But it doesn't matter too much. That's the nice thing about it. Iron to steel. Let's make us a little bit more. Let's make us another 20. Uh, so we can get a little bit more heat introduced into the crude oil in the first place. And of course, this liquid vent here has to go. See you later and goodbye. Uh, one more piece of ladder right here so they can come along here however they want. Very nice. But that's not why I came here. I came over here for this conveyor loader. Because we are going to bring some sand over there. We have to start a little bit of filtration. So we're going to say sand, allow manual use. And uh, number six priority is totally fine. Let's take a look how much sand we have over here. It should be plenty if I'm not mistaken. Um, 95 tons. Uh, didn't it used to be more? We are not really using sand for anything, are we? Our water sieves are turned off because this pump here is turned off. We only have one deodorizer right here. Do we have any more deodorizers anywhere? I don't think so. I don't think there's a hell of a lot going on. Uh, so I'm not entirely sure what happened with our sand. You did make a lot of glass, did I? How much glass did I make? Oh, 1260 kilograms. And each of them is 100 kilograms. But even then... Yeah, that may add up. Yep, that is probably it. But now we have 1260 kilograms, so that is a very good amount for right now. Um, we can slowly and steadily go into solar panels on and all sorts of stuff. And especially, once we get rid of this rocket right here and replace it with a petroleum rocket, um, that's definitely going to be good. All right. We should be getting sand out of here very, very soon. Yeah, that probably isn't it. I think that's it. I thought we had just above 100 tons. Just don't give it all to the other planet. Yeah, that is always a problem to take a look here and make sure we have the right amount. I have a question, maybe someone knows. I've got a vowel from Pod. I just threw it into metal chamber. Is it worse to tame it or just let it be? I never dealt with them. They eat an insane amount of regolith. Let's take a look here. Uh, shove volts. They need 4.8 tons of regolith per cycle. 
and you get back 2.4 tons of regolith. <laughs> Same with dirt or even worse, iron ore. Um, I don't know. Is um, star farming them still a thing or did that get fixed as well? Um, there used to be a very good method to star farm them uh, because they do give a lot of meat when they die. But they have a lifespan of 100 cycles, so um, it takes a little while to be up and running. Uh, but if, to feed them, you need a lot of regolith. But yeah, if you can still star farm them, then I can highly recommend that because once you build it, it's basically completely hands off. Um, and you just wait and wait and wait, and eventually you will be surprised that, hey, look at this, I got a bunch of food. So, yeah. Um, you can no longer starvation range tame volts perpetually because the other morph will end the line. Really? That's sad. But you can start from wild bells forever. No, so you can do wild ones because they, they used to be uh, the one. I think I, I built one in. can't remember. I think it was an LP one. Um, I uh, starve ranched. Um, tame ones. And at that point, at least, it still worked like a charm. But uh, yeah, if that is not a thing anymore, it's kind of sad. One per stable, feed once every nine cycles. Yeah, I haven't looked into um, um, bowls lately. Takes a long, long time to run out of bowls because the base odds of variant are the usual 2%, I think. Oh, you don't know me. <laughs> I'm gonna put one in those suckers and I immediately have the, uh, uh, the wrong morph, I guarantee you that. <laughs> Yeah, didn't see you ranch a ton in Let's Play 2 and I never got around to watching one. Yeah, I usually don't ranch too much. Because for most stuff it's not really necessary. Like you can't ranch really anything. Plugs, lugs, those uh, sweetles right here. Uh, sweetles right here give you, what is it called? Um, Sucrose. But most of the stuff that you get out of here is not really worth it that much. You know, it's just... The time invested to what do I get out of it value is just not there. And of course, I could slap it into a video just for content's sake, but if I don't enjoy doing myself, it's just not the same. Oh, we got sand now. Look at this. We already are at a six, uh, six tons. I mean, at five tons. Very, very nice. I'm going to probably accumulate 10 tons over here. Maybe 15 just so we have it sitting around because we will need a lot of that stuff. And we will need a lot of that stuff for sure. But yeah. Um, when we go back to Cold Deal real quick, um, as I mentioned earlier at some point, we have poke shells right here. And we have more poke shells up here on the left as well. Eventually I do want to ranch those things um, because we have the polluted dirt to do so. So we might as well. And then when we take a look into our... Where did I put that thing? Rock Rusher right here. Um, we can get more lime out of this thing. So that is really nice. Um, eventually that is going to happen as well. And when we do that, we will get back a ton of sand because uh, that's of course their area in both occasions. So yeah, I'm not too worried about sending 10 or 15 tons over here. And who is trapped? May is trapped. Of course you are. Why wouldn't you be? Get down here. And Vitamin said it. Oh, and, and Keonis, everybody says it. <laughs> May, doob stuck. Alert, alert. She won't die so much poo air. Yes, that is very correct. It will take a while for her to die. She may pee all over the place, but that's about it. I'm going to take a bath because I'm disgusting. <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, I ranch hatches for coal and eggshells. I used to rush to smooth hatches, but I don't do that much anymore. I still do, usually, because I do like my smooth hatches. <laughs> hatches, pips and dracos are usually all I ever really bother ranching. That's usually what I do, unfortunately. We still haven't found a draco. Maybe we're lucky and we find one over here, but I'm pretty sure there's no biome for them. So we're probably going to be SOL on that one as well. Oh uh, yeah, there's that. This thing is also not activated. Um, I would really love to have Dracos. God, that would be a savior right now. But unfortunately, we do not. Uh, they're totally worth the effort, but beyond that, not so much. I am, again, 100% with you, Peppy. It's 100%. Those are the ones that make the most sense. They give the most value. And everything else is just there to, well, exist, I guess. Not really worth the time or the effort. There we go. Let's take a look here at the blueprints. And we get briar seeds. I was hoping secretly for a Draco, but of course. That wish will stay unfulfilled. We're going to get the seeds. I don't need another dupe right now. Uh, it's just going to screw it. Two dupes are more than enough to keep a life over here right now. Things will take a little bit longer, but it's totally fine. And in an absolute worst case scenario, we can send another one through the teleporter right here. Uh, so the question of water synths and desalinators just tested it on the on the debug map. Oh, nice! They don't get damaged, and the wrong water will just pass through them. That's very nice to know. I appreciate you trying it out. Uh, Dracos are what I have had my base live on for a very long time. Yeah, they are really nice. I mean, if you have uh, seen LP two, um, I really love that Draco farm with the two sides. Um, where you can have normal Dracos and the glossy Dracos at the same time in a somewhat small space. That's my my go-to, is my favorite. I love that thing. So if we ever come across a Draco here, you will definitely see this build. <laughs> There's no question about it. It is bound to happen one way or another. Let's build those two more ladders. Eventually I want to get rid of those ladders right here, so we need to make sure that we can actually reach all this stuff here. Uh, why can you not reach this here? You should be able to get over here. Not a piece of ladder right there, not a piece of ladder right here, and another one right there. But you have huge amounts of oil, so petroleum plastic it is. Yes. How much do we actually have left of it? On cold deal over here, plastic 16.8 tons. And we can see it. This ladder here is already 100% plastic. Thanks. Almost, at least, 100% plastic. And I'm probably going to go ahead, just for efficiency's sake, and make this one over here all the other plastic as far as it goes. And we still have 12.2 tons, and I didn't even have this thing here running that much. Three polymer presses, one oil refinery. We are definitely gonna, I'm not going to run out of plastic anytime soon, let me put it that way. Wonderful, our heat exchanger here is still working, is it? Yep, negative 20 compared to the outside at negative 34. And also all this solid crude oil here is going to melt soon. And that should then be most of what we need over here. So we have plenty of crude oil. There's even more over here on the left side. Can't forget about that. We haven't even talked about this yet. So yeah, very good. Getting there slowly but steadily. Also this here we can dig out to lower our oil level a little bit more. Very nice. Uh, how much sand do we have here now? I'd say 10 to 15, we are at 19. <laughs> of course. That's totally fine though. Still, don't care too much. We're just going to turn this here off and we are good. And no more sand. That's plenty to go around. And as soon as we have those last few things here dug up, uh, we can go ahead and build us some power production right here. Probably just going to go with something simple for the beginning. But anything's better than nothing to get rid of most of this polluted oxygen right there. Uh, currently, my base is overrun with critters. I did have a shine bug explosion, about 40 of them enclosed in the base. Uh, there was radiation and vomit everywhere. 
I was struggling getting the read fibers running because it's so cold on Rhyme. Yes, that is certainly an issue. We had our own problem with it, but we overcame it. Actually, in this case, it wasn't too hard, thankfully. Um, we just had to heat up our water a little bit, our polluted water, which is exactly what we did. And that solved our problem, at least. In that case. Who is trapped over here? And where? And how? Mainly how. <laughs> Must have been down here, just for a second. There we go. Of course, two more pieces right here that they missed. How else would it possibly be, as usual? Um, the supply teleporter here on cold deal. How are we looking? We have 1400 kilograms of hydrogen and we have nothing in natural gas. A hydrogen vent is uh, still um, not activated, but you're probably in, uh, you probably know where I'm going with this. We could. Just transport a little bit of hydrogen gas over to the other side and not have the dupes to it, but have a straightforward, have a hydrogen generator work on it. That would be an option. I think we wait a little bit with that. We're just going to have a dupe do it real quick. We are not going to have a lot of uh, power usage in the beginning. Most of what we are going to do is, um, well, filter air for right now and then go a little bit more on the exploration side here and see what we can find. Because right at the moment, it's all about survival. The dupes just need to be morale-wise okay. They need to be stress-wise okay. They need their bathrooms, they need their bedrooms, and preferably some normal air to breathe. That's it. That is literally as simple as possible. Check the aluminum volcano for dormancy. Good call. It is still idle. Still idle sitting there. Uh, yeah, but that is a good call. Keep reminding me of that, uh, Jay. <laughs> Because the moment it goes dormant, we are going to build us a big fat tamer around that thing. That is for sure. So you have fibers and plastic, no need for Dracos, right? No, there is no need. I do have 322 units of reed fiber and I have 12.2 tons of plastic. But just because I don't need them doesn't necessarily um, mean that I don't want them. <laughs> <laughs> because it's still a problem you see we ran completely dry here uh, we have a little bit back up here it's still not as much as it could be or necessarily even should be but yes um, we can turn this here back on whenever we want so yeah it, it's not the end of the world if we don't have a Draco again still would be nice to have one though Just made a second test. Only water does not damage the sieve or the desalinator. The other liquids will pass, but do damage. Tested it with crude oil, petroleum, and liquid gold. Liquid gold? I'm surprised you didn't melt that thing to the ground. <laughs> but once again, thanks for your testing. That's amazing. That is um, definitely good information to have. The more you know, the better it is. In any case. Almost through the last pieces, and we have a nice, beautiful space available. Very, very good. Just need to put in a floor, and we are good to go here. A matter of fact, where is my floor? One, two, three, four up. This here would be my natural floor. We can just leave it as is and dig four high across here and four high across there. Wonderful. That worked out just fine. Thermium buildings. <laughs> well, <laughs> of course. <laughs> Go in full force right away. I like it. We are going to put a few tiles in here, though. Block off the ground. Not here. 
But over here, we're gonna do it. So the dupes don't have to go up and down and up and down, just to be a little bit faster and slightly more efficient. Chase this, I will try, but don't count on me. <laughs> Sandbox and death mode. Yeah, that's how all the tutorials on my channel are being made. Because it's A, the easiest thing and B, the fastest thing. And at the same time, um, I do try to explain how to build it in a real game. Because everything that I build in one of my tutorials is all buildable in a normal game. That is always important to everything that I build. Um, I know that... There are some builds from other creators that are definitely not viable in a, in a normal game. So I always try to keep that in mind when I build something. Can I actually build it in survival mode? And if that answer is a yes, then it deserves a video. That is usually my, my corner points for do I publish it or not. Who or what is entombed over here? Of course, the rocket platform. Nobody cares. And that's it. Yeah, only the rocket platform. Let's get rid of the error message. So we get some more important ones when we need them. But other than that, we are good. And this here... Oh, this time it didn't even block off our access way. That's surprising. Uh, gonna dig up this gas vent right here. Uh, but then also deconstruct it because we don't need it. Had an internet burp. Did anything happen in the last few minutes? No. <laughs> nope. Not really. Um, now there's something about to happen, though, finally. Because we have just dug up everything that we need to dig up. So, let's build us a room before we do anything else. Two nomadic doors and some floors. What do we even have here? Sedimentary rock. 199 tons. All right. That will work for me. You're just going to plop it in. Um, and then we are going to start with power. We're going to build us one manual generator and probably two chumbo batteries. Uh, well, the chumbo batteries do create quite a lot of heat. Uh, let's take a look here. As a matter of fact, is that really true? 1.25 kilo DTUs and 1.25 kilo DTUs? I thought they used to create more than the normal ones. I guess we will build us one of them. It's good enough. With normal wires. We need to get some refined metals over here though. Because I do want to get away from normal wires as quickly as we can. It's always a pain if we don't do it. And now, where do we put in oxygen a few of our deodorizers? What are some strategically smart places? I guess one right here would work. We're going to tear out the store if we can. Should be able and put another one right there. That covers that exit. And then right down here, probably going to put two more mesh tiles and put then the odorizers right into this spot right here. Everywhere where the polluted water is. And then just randomly throughout the base to filter out as much as we can. Stuck dupe again? Where is she at this time? Oh, you got to be choking. How did you even get down there? This thing was already built. You should have no way to get down here. Get out of there. Damn it, May. Damn it, May. <laughs> oh, no. Dug out the dirt. Oh, she was standing on top of this tile and then dug it out. Oh, my God. Of course she was. <sighs> okay, not a mini pod. Let's take a look here. We have a snazzier green suit and another vol pup. Let's take the snazzier green suit. Um... Brandon, you did a really good job over here. A really, really good job. Where is that suit at? Let's see if we can find it. Um, should be here somewhere. A snazzier green suit. We are going to give it to Brandon. Uh, for being the first one to discover a new frontier. Very nice. The science doesn't make her smarter, it seems. <laughs> oh. oh, God. That is funny. May Day from May again. <laughs> oh no. Oxygen deodorizer. Snap one here, snap one there. 
and then another one right here and then let's build us some wires along here that's definitely a good start to get this here up and running and then over to here as well a little too far there we have it let's put all this stuff here in real quick and i am going to take a quick pee break and i'll be right back give me two minutes And I'm back. All right. That's a polluted break. <laughs> I really need to have like a little animation or something you know, that I can play while I take a quick pee break or something like that. That would certainly be uh, handy. But yes, either way around, we need some power, guys. How about you uh, get this going here? That would be highly uh, appreciated. Uh, while well, you edit, lock this here, open this here. Did you remember to wash your hands? Um, I'm going to call the Asmon Gold here. <laughs> if you have ever watched him or not. Um, if anything, I need to wash my dick because my hands are clean. Save the water. No washing hands. That's right. One or two plugs can help. Yes, I could do that. That is actually a smart idea. I could. Uh, just relocate those up into right there. A PRP screen with a slowly filling polluted reservoir while you pee. <laughs> oh my god. That would be funny. That would indeed be funny. Not gonna lie about it. Okay, we have power. Now we just need to give those priority... Uh, prioritizes deodorizers a higher priority so to actually get filled up with those 19.2 tons worth of sand that we have sitting around here and we actually start filtering some stuff here there we go oh look at this we're starting to look a little blue in this area very very good we also have uh, some hydrogen gas here from our plug slug of course surprise surprise um this thing here is actually too deep we could go ahead and deconstruct this here we could just use this here as a natural infinite storage. When we delete this here in base, we can grab us an automatic dispenser, plop one here, plop one there, and we are good to go. Very good. Um, in food, if I go ahead and I grab a critter drop off, we would need a rancher, though. Isn't Brandon a pretty, uh, pretty good at ranching? I believe it was Brandon. He is not good at ranching, but at farming. We can give him this here, though. So he can actually go ahead and wrestle those things. And we can just plop him into this room here. And I believe, if I remember correctly, I don't use Plex Lux a lot, not gonna lie. They need a too high space, don't they? And they do automatically try to go to a wire when there is one. Isn't that correct? Maybe you guys can give me a reminder on that. But I believe that's how that works. So now, critter drop off, plug slug. Are you going to give May a new name? Yes, yes, yes. May needs a new name. Uh, that's a very good call. May definitely needs a new name. 
I need to check real quick in the member list who has not a name yet. And then we will go from there. So let me take a look here off dream on the other screen. In the member list, we have, let's see here. Let's take a look. Um, who do we have here? Who do we not have yet? We have Ojin. Oh, I know who we're going to use. That's right. Can I just copy this name here? That would be nice to do. Not entirely sure if the game will recognize it. Let's test it out. Yeah, that's not going to fly. <laughs> we are going to use the Baris Autoc. I have no idea how to pronounce this, so Baris, if you are around... I'm very sorry about butchering your name, but Barris gave in the last stream 20 um, gifted memberships, if I remember that correctly. So most definitely Barris does deserve his own dupe. We just didn't get a new dupe yet. And now we have one and Barris has made it to the game. So if you're around today, Barris, I hope you see this either in the water or not. Now you are now officially in the game. It was a long time coming. And you definitely deserve it. There is no question about it. Uh, you have to take the metal out. Yes, you are correct. That is exactly why I uh, opened this here up. As a matter of fact. Uh, automatic dispenser here. Automatic dispenser there. And uh, then we will uh, start going through here and grab all uh, the cobalt ore. That is going to be the channel there. Oh yeah, the slugs. They uh, can they? Oh yeah, they can't just go around here. Keep forgetting about those damn slugs. Um, what can we do here? I could just. Yeah, I'm gonna set it back to auto. That's fine. Um, wrangle, wrangle, maximum critters. However many. I don't care about them. It's not like we are ranching them or anything. We're just gonna put them in there and call it a day. Uh, apparently, we have even three of them. So let's do that. Let's put those things in here. And let's see if this here actually works and they go up here automatically. Very good. Uh, these here, though, cannot be built. Which, oh, but the pl uh, slug plug should, sh should still be able to get up here, right? So right at the moment, before we do this here, because they will just take everything. So... I'm going to build two storage bins and I'm going to set those to cobalt ore only and then from the from the storage bins we're going to put them in here because if I just go through here and I set these here usually to everything except for uh, liquid fireballs so everything else goes in there but they're going to be set to sweep only therefore um, it's going to be hard to just pick out that cobalt ore right there um, there's really no function to like sort out what you want to select so the storage bins here are going to be set to metal or any metal or for all i care um but a seven priority copy the settings and now the dupes should just pick up all of it of course they're going to start with whatever's closest but they should make their way up here very soon wait you just drag priority for one building type or building type in general uh, this here is um the copy settings mode so if you set the priority to for example let's say seven and you say copy settings, you can just drag it across the entire screen and you can see it. The settings are only being applied to the deodorizers and nothing else that only works with this copy setting function. You're going to hang from the ceiling. So if you put a power wire on the second empty tile from the ceiling, they'll attach, they'll attach and charge at night. The second empty tile from the ceiling. Oh, is it the second empty tile? Oh, son of a gun. Uh, so it's not here, it's there, I see. So let's go one lower with it, and let's see if that goes. 
If you give a priority sweep, they should still favor the swept medals over non-swept. Probably. But if I give a priority sweep through here, they will take out everything, including the sedimentary rock, including the bog bucket seeds, and whatever else the hell is laying around in here. And I, at the moment, want to prioritize the um, cobalt ore. So if I have a storage bin with only cobalt ore here, it will... Um, Eventually, they will get up there. That should be faster than doing it the other way around. I hope, at least. Oh, you think doing this here. And now they will prioritize the metals in here over other metals. I don't know. I guess we will see. If I set it to a 9, maybe, and make it the highest one. Uh, need to, of course, not set this thing here to metals now. Or they will put those in here and everywhere. But yeah, that seems to be working. There's a mod called Sweep by Type. Really? Oh, that's nice. Maybe I have to take a look at that. Because that certainly sounds like something that would come in handy. My infinites are not set to Sweep only. Didn't I do that? Sweep only. Oh, this one here now. Didn't I copy the settings over? Apparently not. Hey, yay, hey, hey. yay. There we go. Does this one here still have metal? No. Okay, good. Now we're good. Now we are, in fact, good. And all the metal should disappear. We already have a bunch of hydrogen. Thankfully, it's just uh, going to accumulate up here. It's not going to be that big a deal. But the metals here should be almost gone. We will see it right away when they bring anything over here to those automatic dispensers. We know all the metals are gone. Or my storage bins are full. I guess whatever comes first. Okay, now they're going to go ahead and pick up these metals right here, which means up here on the top, all the metal should be gone by now. I am running out of breathable gas. And I'm not entirely sure why, because we have plenty of polluted oxygen, you would think. Oh, that's why, because we have water here. I don't think we are emitting a hell of a lot, are we? Um, what is a quick solution for this here? Let's see, what do we have? Do we have any algae? I didn't see any. No, we don't. We can always go ahead and just use something that we have a lot of. For example, here, a, sublim a sublimation station. We could always use something like this here. Uh, not going to give us much grief uh, because it is going to emit um, polluted dirt, uh, polluted oxygen, I mean. So that is definitely going to be helpful. How much polluted dirt do we have on this thing? There should be plenty, right? Uh, polluted dirt, 40 tons. Yeah, you can't just plop one of those things down. Probably somewhere close to the deodorizer, so probably somewhere down here. How much does it actually create? Let's take a look. I don't use those things very often. Uh, 660 grams per second. And a deodorizer can suck up um, 100 grams per second. So we need six deodorizers for actually seven deodorizers for one sublimation station. Not necessarily optimal. But probably the best and simplest option that we have right now. What can we do here? Um, we could just plop it somewhere down here on the bottom. And then just um, encase it more or less in uh, the odorizers. Yeah, I don't see why that wouldn't work. Let's plop that thing in. Let's come over there with a cable. And then let's build us some airflow tiles made out of our wonderful cobalt ore. Basically above it and around it. Um, how are we going to do this? There's not even enough space over here for that, actually. I may have to build it somewhere like right here. Yeah. You want to do it this way around? And get rid of it. There we go. Now some airflow tiles around it. Something just like this here. Can't do that either because I don't have enough space. I need to dig lower down so I have more space above it so the dupes can actually go here. Because if I now plop a deodorizer here and I build three more of those, 
Uh, they will never be able to refill this thing with sand. That is a problem. Um, let's make it one level lower. We can't get through here. That's totally fine, though. Let's do that. That should give us the space that we need, and we should be okay. There's a trick for deodorizing oxygen, which doesn't allow any P2O through using a liquid barrier. Well, that is certainly a trick that I don't know. Using a liquid barrier, trying to think of what they could possibly look like. I'm not entirely sure. Like I said, usually I don't use this or this uh, sublimation station a hell of a lot. Usually I don't use it at all, as a matter of fact. So yeah, I'm not entirely sure what that could look like. Well, let's put one down. This time around, we're going to try it again with airflow tiles. It's probably still going to uh, leave a little bit through, but that's totally fine. We're just going to put six right here. Um, maybe I should do it differently. Instead of putting six right here... I should put one on the bottom. Probably right here and right there. That's probably the best thing. I know it's just six, but we still have these over here on the sides. So hopefully they will make up a little bit for it. And hopefully before our dupes die a horrendous death. That would also be nice. So let's come through here. Hook everything up to power. How much power does this thing even need? Let's take a peek at that. 60 watts. Oh, that's nothing. And please do this here with the highest possible priority. We need that built before you die. I can try to explain it. Yeah, sure. Give it a shot. I can try to understand it. <laughs> <coughs> um, sweet legs. More dupes. The last thing that I need right now is more dupes. So yeah. Um, I also really don't need sweet legs, I guess. We still have 39,000 kilograms of uh, kilocalories, I mean, of food. Just going to reject it all. Especially sweetles. We have sweetles over here. Plenty of them around here. All over the place, as a matter of fact. I just don't see a benefit. Going to need a ladder? Oh yeah, going to need a ladder to come up there. You're correct. That'll do it. The Deodorizer has a diamond-shaped range, which includes one space that is two spaces below it. That is correct. <laughs> it won't reach through a solid tile, but it will reach through a mesh tile and an airflow tile. Okay? So you build an air an airflow layer above the source of P2O and then mesh tile layer above the airflow layer. So first an airflow tile and then a mesh tile. And then I'm assuming you put some kind of liquid in there. You pour a liquid other than uh, polluted, uh, polluted water into the mesh layer and it prevents the P2O from rising through that level. That does make sense, but then how does it get out? Unless you then pump it out, I guess. That could be a thing. But I, I see where you're going with this, for sure. That does make sense. Of course, uh, both of you morons are now stuck up here. You've got to be choking. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. Look at those stupid, stupid dupes. Yeah, now look at them. Okay, they can't actually pick up the sedimentary rock. Thank God. I was like, you gotta be kidding, and I need to tear out all those airflow tiles again. <laughs> okay, now, deodorizers, copy settings. Let's go. Sublimation station, number eight as well. Grab the polluted dirt and slap it in there. Yes, top layer the deodorizers, below a layer of mesh tiles and below airflow tiles. The mesh tiles are flooded with about 2 kilograms of water each tile. The, deodoriz the deodorizers teleport the P2O from way below. Oh, there is actually a teleport function that literally just sucks it out of this tile here, basically speaking in this example, and then releases it up here. I had no idea. That is a good idea, though. 
I always hook up a dedicated oxygen gas pipe onto the teleporter and don't bother with O2 on the second planet. That would also be an option, I suppose. Um, especially since on Cold Deal we still have um, one entire electrolyzer and two gas pumps that are doing shit all. I'll be looking over here, by the way. Actually, also a little bit low, isn't it? <laughs> uh, how is it that low, though? Oh, we are producing slightly less than we are using, probably due to the um, gas pumps being off and the electrolyzer. How much water do we have over here? Um, 4.4 tons. Okay. We're going to turn this thing on, and let's take a look where our, ga our gas pipes are leading. Should probably fix that while we are at it. <laughs> Oxygen not included indeed. Yes. Um... What are we seeing here? What are we seeing here? There is not really... Well, I suppose... I suppose what we could do is, we could ensure that those two gas pipes here are filled at all times, because they're currently not. And we could use this method right here with the two radiant... Um, um, gas pipes. Um, what I'm thinking of is something like this here. In ventilation, of course, we need a gas bridge, one that goes here and one that goes there. And then we're going to build this something like this here. Um, probably even, not even something like this here, but probably more something like this here. There we go. That should help. Going to kill this here. Going to get rid of this one. Let's see what this here looks like once we turn these here on. That should fix the problem. There we go. Start to pump some oxygen. Plop that in, guys, and we will see if and how that works. Um, we come in out with oxygen at 83 degrees. What is the temperature of the oxygen that's coming through the top currently? 25 degrees, that's perfectly fine. And now through the bottom. Oh my goodness, yeah. <laughs> From 81 degrees to 12 degrees in a heartbeat. No problem at all. Um, of course, eventually this will stop up, but it will at least ensure that both of our pipes are 100% filled at any given time. So we will see if that makes a huge difference. Of course... One of the problems is that we are using a lot of oxygen down here, which means really nothing is going into this pipe right here. Um, because we are still cleaning up all of this debris down here on the bottom. Uh, that is the main issue. So yeah, we may have to do this here slightly different. Let's see real quick. We could come with a pipe out of here and up to there which then should change the priority of flows quite drastically, actually. Yeah. Now half of the oxygen on the right side always goes to the top, no matter what. And the other half will go down up until it's full, then everything will go to the top. So yeah, just changing the priority here should increase our output during heavy usage times down here by 50%. So that should be good. Looking pretty decent. I think we should be looking a hell of a lot better now. Is this Rodriguez enough for 20 dupes even? Uh, we have 18. But let's take a look here. Uh, one of these here is producing... Let's do it simpler. 888 grams per second, which makes a 1600, which makes a 3200. It's more than enough. <laughs> it should be more than enough uh, for the amount of dupes that we have. It's just a matter of distributing it in a somewhat reasonable fashion, which I a literally hindered of doing right here. We basically had only one pipe going into the base instead of two. <laughs> Aluminum Volcano, still idle. 
going to check that periodically to make sure everything's good. But yeah, let's see. That should change this year relatively quickly, I would assume. It's already getting uh, better. We can already see it. It was all dark purple just a second ago. And by now we are going towards a, a lighter blue slowly but steadily all over the place. So yeah, that should be good. All right. How are we looking over here? I still have not seen those things actually hook up to that. So not entirely sure if that's working or not, but yeah. So right here, we still have the bedrooms. Everything's good. Uh, these things, oh, they're cleaning up in here. That's what they're, what, that's what they are up to. Yeah, yeah. We need to go on a little bit of an exploration mission because it's not like I'm going to give him a good life over here or anything. Um, it's the bare minimum on planetoid number two. We don't need to have anything fancy here. We are here for resources. One just connected. So why don't the other two get your ass over here? Do I have to spread those out more? Um, is that what we have to do here, or or what's the deal here? Not entirely sure. Uh, I string a power wire across the room horizontally. If you go to electric only, you will see if they're charging. Oh yeah, okay. Oh, what she's saying is it doesn't actually have... Well, that makes sense. It doesn't even actually have to be a plug. It could just be this. That makes a hell of a lot of sense. <laughs> yeah. That does make sense. That makes a lot of sense, actually. I'm gonna do precisely that, as a matter of fact. That is a very, very good idea. Like I said, I don't ever use uh, Lux Lugs. But if you have them sitting around, might as well put them to work. So yeah, let's do exactly that. Down here we have the teleporter input. We will need that eventually. Where are we going to go? We need different skills here. Um, now, Barris here is ready. I almost said May. <laughs> I'm so used to it. Super duper hard digging or super hard digging. Better to say we can now get through the Abyssalite and we can explore this thing here a little bit more. The question is what is the best direction when we look at it? Probably doesn't matter too much. Take a look into our F3 overlay. We could literally just dig into this area over here. Um, oh, look at this here. That is, in fact, the problem. Even though it is abyssalite, it is still reacting with the oxygen. Um, need to put an insulated tile right there ASAP. That should do it. Uh, do we even have igneous rock? We do have igneous rock. Let's use that. And done. Einstein made the super smart dupe that always tries to kill herself. Yes, <laughs> that is exactly it. No suicide dupe. <laughs> hazardous in all directions, more hazardous in some than others. <laughs> that is a, uh, a pretty good description of what's going on here, indeed. Um, nothing, it's just nice and straightforward. Um, did we already look at what the hell this here is? Oh yeah, that's right. That was that minor volcano that we were so happy about earlier. I do remember now. I don't see anything else yet. This is absolute insanity, if you ask me. Absolute insanity. And is this here down here working now? Yes, look at that. It's a beauty, I would say. That is a beauty right there. And then up here on the top, I'm probably going to use one more deodorizer and slap it just somewhere right here uh, to get rid of this polluted oxygen here as well. That should basically be most of what we need right now. Uh, check the aluminum volcano and perhaps build a ladder to finish the ceiling. Uh, just check the aluminum volcano, but I'm happy to do so again just to be safe because we definitely want to tame that thing. And again, last time around, we used just my blueprint. Um, next time around, so when we find this aluminum volcano, or better to say when it is dormant, we already know where it's at. We just need it to be dormant. We're going to build it step by step from scratch. Just so if anybody is interested in that, sees how that is built uh, step by step, instead of just slapping in blindly a blueprint and calling it a day. Which, is, of course, is a hell of a lot easier and faster. But you also can't learn anything that way. So... There's that. I say, we are gonna dig straight over to here. 
I think that is the best course of action right now when I look around here. Everything else is orange. The only area that is at least yellow is right there. So right here where this ladder is, um, we can come just straight through here. And we're going to dig all the way through this sucker as far as we can, which is apparently about this far. This is how far we're going to dig. And then we will see what we will find. Looks like a hotspot on the left too. This one, you mean? Oh, yes. This one. What are you even? Like, how did you get there? This is insanity. Uh, you game. There we go. Definitely gotta be careful to close all of those off. But still, though. Literally. There's one with 500 degrees. Oh, wait a second. It's actually the overlay that's wrong. They're all 500 degrees. Just here, the color is just messed up. No, there are 22 degrees. It's 500 kilograms. You're at 1,000 degrees. How did this happen? How do I have 1,000 degrees here, 22 degrees there, 22 degrees there, and then 1,300 degrees here? This is crazy. <laughs> Pretty sure the uh, world seed uh, building um, RNG or... or Whatever, just fucked it up completely, I guess. Yeah, I could dig it up, absolutely. It will just be sitting around. But I'm just going to plop an insulated tile and call it a day for right now. That's the easiest solution. Eventually, we will have to dig up here anyways, but yeah. Mini pod. Excellent fruit. That actually comes in handy over here. 12,800 kilocalories. Uh, welcome to the game. <laughs> Not gonna say no to that one. Oh yes, our F4 overlay looks better. Our F1 overlay will get better. Um, going to replace this tile and this tile right here, actually, with airflow tiles, just to get a little bit more reach on this. And then I'm probably going to tear out all of these right here. We don't need them. They're good for absolutely nothing. And we will promote the exchange of gases just a little bit at least. Of course, I'm going to give this dig over here a little bit of a high priority to take a peek as well. And then it probably makes the most sense to get rid of this here as well. So the oxygen can come over here and rise to the top as well. Uh, easiest way to do that. Kind of hard to say. Probably need to do something like this here. There we go. That should do it. Should be able to dig all of this here up now. And then replace those tiles right here. Because they will all fall at least the mud. Not necessarily the sedimentary rock. But the rest will fall. You got a few spots of infected slime on the wrong side of the abyssalite. Where? So you have to take special measures to avoid exposing your dupes to slime lung. Um, the wrong side of the abyssalite. No, I don't think so. The abyssalite's going right through here. We're all the way over here on the right. The abyssalite goes through here. We're up here on the top. Oh, not speaking about the current game. Describing a common situation with biome leakage. I gotcha. I gotcha. Oh, but look at this here. We uncovered another one. What are you? You are the gold volcano. Very good. We found the gold volcano. That is nice. Now, if we can unearth the aluminum volcano somewhere, I wouldn't be complaining. But yes, that is definitely going to be a project that we will tackle very, very soon. How are we looking? Slowly but steadily, we are getting more blue. Slowly but steadily. Definitely helpful that we implemented this thing here. Just need to be careful because eventually... I mean, it should work for an insane amount of time down here. But one time it, or at one point it will not work anymore like this. And we gotta be ready for that. Down here we have the aluminum volcano. Tame it now with two dupes. <laughs> I mean, we could try it. We could at least dig into it. And see if it is idle, or better to say, if it is uh, dormant. Um, temperatures, though. Temperatures, uh, though. 
I will need. Yeah, I will need a little bit of crude oil over here. That's okay, though. Uh, the nice thing is, in F6, we have this output right here. What says tame it now? All right, we will bloody tame it now. <laughs> we'll take a look at it. You say you were choking, but I know you're dead serious. So am I. <laughs> we'll take a quick look. If, if it happens to be dormant, we will take a look at it. Um, let's see here. In what am I trying to find? Even I'm trying to find insulated tiles. That's what I'm trying to find. Uh, too high. We're just gonna build this little base in right here. Nothing fancy. A poodle alarm is going off in the background. You can definitely hear that. I need to be able to put it a little bit further off. Come on, buddy. What's wrong? It's all good, buddy. There we go. Let's put it over a little bit. And drop it into right there. Cancel the build. And then come over like this with the ladder. All we need is to be able to get in here. And then put in, of course, our uh, pitcher pump. Which we still can't do. That is a problem. Let's inspect this thing. I don't think we can demolish it. No, we cannot. That is a problem. I need more space. Cancel. Cancel. Um, we're going to put it further over here. There we go. We are going to put it right on top of here. That will solve the problem. Just like this. And then liquid vent cancel build. Come into here and into there. There we have it. Finally. And Gabriel is back. Welcome back, Gabriel. Uh, how was your bath or shower? Or what did you say? Oh. Very good. Slowly but steadily making sense over here. Some nice frozen crude oil. Yes, that is definitely a, another benefit. That's not a lie. <laughs> that is certainly going to come in handy. And yeah, our sublimation station down here is doing the Lord's work. Putting out wonderful oxygen. And thankfully, mainly only oxygen. So yes, these deodorizers are making short work. But we're already down four tons from what we had. So yeah, there's that. Very, very good. Uh, on Cold Yell, though, of course, we need to somehow feed this thing here with actual um, oil, which we can't do yet because we need to build more insulated pipes. Very, very easy. Thankfully, it's somewhat nearby. Not like this. There we go. Pop it into here. Make it all. Please insulate it because it's bloody cold. And we should be golden. How are we doing down here with our heat exchanger? Just fine. 31 degrees, 38, 37.3, another point, another point one degrees. Again, 37.1 is the number for solid crude oil to become a liquid. So this one here should blow up any second now. Maybe we can even watch it. We're not going to see a lot because it just disappears. But it should happen here any second now. There it is. And that right there is what it looks like when you get an extra 3,200 kilograms worth of oil. Not very spectacular, for sure. But yeah, we can go ahead and we can dig all of this here out. We can dig all of this here out. And then we can even go ahead and dig underneath it as well. Uh, the more sides the oil can get towards the uh, frozen oil, the better it is. There's no question about it, so... Let's get this here dug up. Other than that, we're looking good over here. Still hoping that this thing here goes dormant any time now, but it doesn't want to. 
And yes, we do, of course, need this pipe here. But once it is connected, we will see it very quickly because it will come over here basically immediately. Oops are eating. How is our stress? No problem. And when we take a look into the skills, also our morale here is looking really, really good. Look at this, 21 and 14, respectively. No problems whatsoever with this stuff. And food-wise, we are still at 45,000 kilocalories. And in a worst-case scenario, we can always send some over. So, not that big a deal. What do you need the oil for, may I ask? I'm just going to send a little bit over to build some liquid locks. Simple. Um, because right here, we are at negative 33 degrees. You only have polluted water, which outgasses, and I don't want that. Um, and a little bit of water, which we don't have a lot of, and it will freeze over there. So... Just going to put a little bit of crude oil over here to help out with that problem. Just want to say the oil with the red looks cool. The oil with the red. You mean the magma? <laughs> yep. Got plenty of that shit laying around here. There's no question. Magma liquid lock. <laughs> you mean magma, yes. <laughs> oh, God. Too funny. Too funny. Gonna dig down here so we can put that floor in. Um, I would also really prefer, guys, if you would build this here before you build this here. Because if this here is done and this here is not, the oil will come. I have a feeling that on Cold Deal, they are building slightly faster than we do on Smelina. So, yeah. Certainly have to uh, choose our priorities wisely over here before a disaster happens. But yeah, even though this here doesn't look very impressive for what we need over here, I would say it's pretty damn good, honestly. Um, it has everything that we need. We already found over here our gold volcano, so that is very, very nice. We are most definitely getting there. Most definitely. And then in plumbing, we can plop down also our pitcher pump. Finally, we have a space for it. Good grief. I'm probably going to put it just right here. It's not like we're going to put this much in here. We do not need 16 tons worth of oil over here. Uh, just a little bit. But yeah, maybe enough for three liquid locks. So we need what? Roughly 2,000 kilograms, maybe 3,000. But yeah. There is some nasty water above the pump. Just a tiny little bit though, 21 grams. Um, as soon as they dig that up, we can always... Um, back to mixing oil and water. <laughs> well, I hope this time we can avoid it. We can mop it up down here before the oil comes. <coughs> Over here, the pipe is, of course, ready, and the oil is already sitting here, waiting for its uh, glorious uh, turn to go over to Smelina. Uh, hopefully, that will take another second. Here, we dug all around, so now we have the best, or at least the fastest possible chance to uh, melt down the last bit of crude oil. And I think now we can say we have, for once, enough crude oil. I, I think that is safe to say now. And I think it's also safe to say that we can just plop in a ladder every other tile and dig up the rest just to get rid of this one line here as well. Very, very good. And even, even though we have that much liquid or crude oil, our pitcher pump right here is once again not reaching the actual oil. <laughs> it's too funny. 
Let's get it done. No problem. Doesn't matter as the pitcher pump will do the filtering. If I put it to auto bottle, yeah, that is very true. We could do that. But how about you build it first? Number nine priority. I want to get this here done before anything else, please. And there we have it. Pitcher pump's done. And get rid of it. Our oil should be arriving now any second. Not a mini pod. What do we got? <clears throat> a little bit of aluminum ore. A little bit of dirt. Uh, I don't know. Doesn't really matter. It's only 100 kilograms. You have plenty of dirt over here, so I'm not too worried about that either. That is something, though. All the polluted dirt we have on this planet, we could send with the supply teleporter back over to Coldiel, where we have apparently somebody trapped. How are you trapped? Can you... Oh, yeah. Of course. Here we have the crude oil. Um... One more piece of ladder. With a high priority. So we can rescue you three. But you're just standing around. You're fine. There we go. Somebody build me that ladder real quick, please. No? Really? Where are you going? Help. <laughs> oh, those dupes. Anyone? Nobody? Really? Nobody? Don't feel the love? How about that? Can we build it out of something that we have close by, maybe? Um, granite, for example? That should get the job done, I hope. Once again, nobody. <laughs> Oh my goodness. There we have it. Get out of there, dupes. Alright, I was still picking up some igneous rocks, so apparently it couldn't have been that important to get out of there in the first place. Oh yeah, and we have one more blueprint. I just remembered. How about we take a look? Something good? A, a dreamy retro wall pot. It's common. Uh, vert vertical gardens are pretty nifty, are they now? All right, that is our blueprint contingent for today. We got one good one, though. How can I change those, by the way? I haven't even looked at that. Do I do that in here? No. What if I uh, click on the actual dupe? How do I switch out the styles here? I guess I can... Um, Atmosuit. I thought it was an atmosphere thing that we got, and it was none of those two. Even though we could do that. <laughs> My god, what the hell am I looking at? Uh, Elfie? Um, let me take a closer look at you. <laughs> oh My god, look at that thing. <laughs> Is that now only for Alfie, or is it this atmosphere right there? Let's see here. When you hang it up, is it still gonna be that? No. If another dupe takes it. I think you can only change an entire atmosphere, so you need to design a new atmosphere with the specific parts, really? I want to see another dupe take this one and see if it's still the same one. Or if that only counts. It's just for Elfie? Okay. Yes. Okay, so you need to restyle each and every dupe individually. Yeah, that ain't happening, at least not right now. At least not right now. The oil is now flowing. Very, very nice. Uh, let's get a few tons in here. And then let's go from there. Which means at this point we can start digging downwards with a ladder. Um, 
Gonna bring that down to here, maybe. It seems to be about a good spot as any. And then let's dig us a nice liquid lock right here. Uh, let's see. That should get the job done right here. Actually, need to go over one. Something like this here. There we go. Let's dig that out. And then from right here, we're going to go over. That should work. Dupe should be able to come through here. And we should be able to build our pitcher pump right here once we dig all this stuff here up. No problem whatsoever. Very good. Easy way to tell dupes or dupes jobs apart if you decide on which suit for which dupe. That is one way to do it, though. And that's actually a pretty smart idea. <laughs> Never thought about that. A lot of people name their dupes like they would say Brandon slash engineer, for example, or something like that. I'm not too lazy to do that. The dupes will figure out themselves what they have to do. I'm not too worried about that. are we looking down here? The only problem is going to be the oxygen supply in here is going to suck badly. Um, we have a little few pieces around here though that will keep us alive up until the point we make it over here and we actually see what's going on and look at the amount of weeds words here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of those things and here we have an anti-entropy thermal nullifier as well. Um, I'm surprised I haven't found one on the main world yet. But there is one on the um, asteroid. That is actually crazy. Didn't expect that. Not gonna lie. Oxalite. Oh yes, we also have oxalite right here. A Weezword based volcano tamer. I don't even know. <laughs> How would we even do that? I don't think I've ever even heard of that, honestly. Is that, is that actually a thing, Jay? Or are you just making shit up again? <laughs> I never used those things. Weezworths? You have never used Weezworths? Weezworths are usually my choice. Instead of using, in our case over here, um, where is it at? Uh, radiation lamp. Because Weezworths, Surprise, surprise, my favorite thing, as you all know. <laughs> have a fuckload of radiation. And if you combine these things here properly, oh my god. Well, it could be a thing, but it would be very inefficient and slow. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like, how would that even be a thing? I used it for sour gas boiler before space program. Uh, it works, but really hard to do. For a sour gas boiler to cool it back down to the temperature, you mean? Is the, the sour gas to a natural gas? Yeah, I have never used them to actually... Or have I? Is that a lie? I don't know if that's a lie or not. I don't think, let me say, I don't think I've ever used it to actually cool anything meaningful. Um, I always use it only for its radiation. Looks like water is not much of a problem. The heat seems to be seeping into the ice biome. Yeah, it's coming through from over here on, uh, on the left side. We should probably stop that. We should probably make our way down here and put in some, uh, some tiles. Because, yes, it is going to seep in here rather quickly. And it's going to destroy the entirety of this wonderful uh, cold biome. Which we can definitely use on this planetoid. Um, obviously, on our other planet, I wouldn't care about that at all. But, yeah. We'd have to build a hydrogen Weezword farm and run radiant pipes through it. And then use... That too cool igneous rock. You never access the magma directly, just occasionally dig up some igneous. Yeah, that does not sound like something that makes a hell of a lot of sense. At least not from an efficiency standpoint. I 
but we will take a look at this volcano here pretty soon. No, I think it makes the opposite of sense. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> At least we are on the same page on that one. That would be a waste of resource and a waste of wonderful radiation. You can do so much with them. Like again, if you just look at this, it is not insubstantial. If you um, arrange those, and I have actually done that. If you have watched my Let's Play 2, I have done the exact same thing. You take the Wii's words and you're basically um, arranging them in a pattern that looks um, something like this here. You feed them. If you have the Wii's words right there, that is a, a lot of radiation that you can get out of it. Uh, you just put a single, um, what are those things you're called, uh, red bolt generator, basically somewhere right here. Suck up as much radiation as you can and that's all you will ever need for research alone. Really nice. I mean, you could still use the radiation, I, I would think. I don't play the DLC, so I have no practice. Oh, I see. If you don't have the DLC, you don't have radiation. So there used to be a time where the Beast Words didn't have radiation, and a lot of people used them in a lot of builds for a lot of different cooling. But that has been a hot minute ago, though. I don't think I have seen that in recent times or in... in uh, other than pre... DLC times. We need to turn that oil off. I'm going slow with the rat bolts for research. Yes, shine bugs is also another option for research. Again, for research, you don't need a hell of a lot, but it's pretty neat. Uh, we're going to snip this here off. We're going to bring the last oil through here, and then we are done. Down here on the bottom, how are we looking? 37.2 degrees, not a point one. We have a few more tiles here. We are basically through with this here. That's pretty neat. Now let's build us some ladders over here so we can tear all the stuff here out when we don't need it anymore. And we should be golden. Iron to steel, what are we short on? Refined carbon. Well, how about you then? We have now 152 tons. How about you go ahead and make me a chili 99 of those things, huh? Wouldn't that be nice? Uh, so we don't have that problem again. Uh, what are these things you're currently eating, if I may ask? They're eating sand. Now we know where our sand went. Stop eating sand. You're done. Hatches, you are done. Um, we're just going to let you starve to death in there now. We don't need normal hatches anymore. What are you guys eating? Copper ore. I guarantee you we don't have any more. But we have a lot of copper, don't we? Why am I caps locking? Um, actually, we still have 9.4 tons. If we have 9.4 tons, uh, how is the thing here empty at a number 9 priority? Yeah, that uh, is something that I don't quite understand right now. And up here, what are you guys feeding on? On igneous rock. That would explain why our igneous rock is going down. Uh, sedimentary rock, we have 44 tons. Igneous rock, 181 tons. I mean, obviously, you will be eating a lot of igneous rock eventually, but right at the moment, that is not what to eat. Cool all the days when you used these words to cool your oxygen. Yes, that is exactly one of the things that you used to use. <laughs> uh, last time I did shine bucks for reds, I think I ended up with 40k emitted on the tile next to it. Holy shit! Well, if you do have a big enough population, that certainly can happen. I see that in uh, absolutely no problem. <laughs> uh, what are we going to feed these things? Mafic, uh, mafic rock. Do we have a use for this stuff? Not that I can remember. Yeah, that stuff can just go more or less. <coughs> Let me just take a look here. Is there anything that I'm forgetting about? Um, Bays, insulated tiles, uh, mafic rock. It has a very low thermal conductivity, but other than that, thermal mass is pretty low. 
That is actually now a good question because when we look at igneous rock, the thermal conductivity is 0.02 and the thermal mass is 400. Gramatic rock has a thermal conductivity of 0.01, so effectively 50% of what igneous rock has, but the thermal mass is only 80 kilodTUs per Celsius, where that of igneous rock is 400 kilodTUs. So that makes igneous rock still better than mafic rock. Um, we're just going to feed a mafic rock, who cares? Let's get rid of that stuff. And why is there a hatch in here? And a lot of questions. Oh, well, can I even feed him that? Oh, I can't feed him mafic rock. <laughs> okay, igneous rock it is for right now. Uh, soon, very soon, I am planning on taming uh, one of the two volcanoes that we have. Uh, we should have igneous rock coming out of our ears at that point, so it shouldn't matter. But it still doesn't answer the question why we don't have anything into this critter feeder right here. Everything looks perfectly fine. Not sure why this thing here is empty. I guess let's take a look at ore. What do we have ore-wise going on here? Oh, he now it says copper ore is zero kilograms. Like, what in the hell? I truly don't understand what's going on with this graph here. Uh, we have iron ore. Lots and lots of iron ore. Probably gonna feed him that. Not the aluminum, uh, not the gold. Yeah, you get iron now. There we go. That should fix the problem. Eventually, um, once we have that volcano here tamed, not this one, this one, um, we're probably going to get rid of smooth hatches and the normal hatches. We're going to let them die off right now. And we're only going to have stone hatches, uh, three of them, like three farms full of them. That should be plenty of coal coming in and also plenty of food over time. And everything that we are hatching over here extra is going to go straight into the critical ore. Oh, that's always a good thing. Back over here now. Do we have our liquid lock? No, we don't. Why do we not? Oh, because you guys are picking up, of course. How about you get me some oil? Anyway, you can't reach that or something? No, you should be able to reach everything. You should be getting me oil. Did I set this to a high priority? No. Why are you not getting me oil? Never lot a bottle. That's why. There we go. <sighs> Arbor acorn. Once again, not what I want. We do have a ton of pakus down here that are just happily living in our reservoir. The problem is that they fixed paku farming, at least the way that I'm used to it. I have read about it, but I'm not entirely sure what the new meta is. I guess we can uh, fiddle around with that a little bit. I really used to like my old starving ranch, though. But that apparently is not a thing anymore. So, rip Aku starving farm, I guess. What are they doing? Oh, they're in their off time. That's right. I gave them extra off time. I was just like, why are they just standing around and doing absolutely nothing? Like, what the hell is going on here? <laughs> I really want to take a quick look at this gold volcano here. Bring me some oil, please. Let's turn up the speed here. I just want to see what it is doing. <laughs> Come on. Give me more oil. There are only two bottles in here. We need five. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. One more bottle and we are good. And there we have it. And to save a lot of bottle, deconstruct this thing. We are done here. Now, we can continue digging. 
Um, it's just going to come straight over here. Screw it. We are not going to do anything fancy or anything. Um, we just want to get up here. Up to right here. And then uh, let's dig through here. Which we can't do, unfortunately. Uh, it's not good. Uh, this one here, though, we definitely don't want to dig in any way, shape, or form. So let's go four high so we can go all around here. In skills, Barris, how are you looking? Okay, Barris, you're almost ready for the third level. So that shouldn't be a problem for a long time. Once we start to get digging over here, we should have that skill point in absolutely no time. And we will see what this gold volcano here is made out of. Very nice. Shouldn't be a problem at all. Come on, sleep faster. There you go. In the meantime, let's take a look here. Still idle. But apparently we are still missing three um, vents on the main planet. So how is that possible? Where are you hiding? <clears throat> and what are you? Oh, you are the polluted oxygen vent. Yeah, infectious polluted oxygen vent. That's right. Um, we could just go on another quick excursion just into this general direction over here. Let's just dig all the way over here and see what the hell we find. Simple as that. Did we find anything down here? No, but we could go further. There's just carbon dioxide over here. We could literally just, uh, let's see, dig our way through here all the way to right around there. And then slowly but steadily come down two tiles at a time all the way as far as we can. And then we will see if we will discover something right there. Damn it, that's basically the extent of it. It looks like over here, the... Who is suffocating? All you have to do is get over there. What the hell? Infectious polluted oxygen vent is another use case for airflow mesh teleportation deodorizer technique. That is actually a... A good idea, yeah. If you ever see my LP2, I built one there. I certainly didn't use uh, that technique. Um, but yeah, that is a good idea. You still need to deal with the germs. Um, I would do it here exactly like I did it, if I do it here, <laughs> as in my last Let's Play. Um, I mean, my last Let's Play, it wasn't here. It wasn't on uh, on a cold part of the planet. It was on the second planet. It was actually located somewhere on the right side, roughly right here. I remember it. Um, and all I did is I just cooled the entire area down uh, to make the cold deal with the germs, which is a pretty good solution, actually. Um, definitely works. Uh, what we could have also done is the same that we could do right now. Uh, radiation. We, of course, could just irradiate everything. So... Cooling it, heating it, or using radiation are usually my three go-to methods of dealing with germs. All right, let's come over here, Barris. Uh, let's get up there. Now the build is reachable. I want to see what's going on there, and I need you to level up. You need to do most of the work. Oh, you already did. Very nice. Super duper hard digging. Or buddy buds, that's right. I have done that many times as well. Just plop buddy buds all over the base. Um, I usually do that if I have a big infection. Like if this entire area here would be full. Um, obviously, it's not feasible to irradiate everything in the entire base. It's also not feasible to cool or heat the entire thing up. So buddy buds are definitely the way to go for large areas. Uh, can highly recommend that for sure. <clears throat> maybe the downtime for those guys here is slightly excessive can that be i wanted to give them the extra morale but i'm not sure if they need it you're gonna work more now how about that 
I'm gonna get the same as the other guys. The other guys even still have a bath time. But we have two schedules, so you don't really notice it this much. I mean, only two dupes every second they do nothing is uh, 100% noticeable and annoying as hell. <laughs> There is buddy buds. Do we have buddy buds? I didn't even pay attention. Let's take a look here. Buddy. Buddy bud seeds. We have three of them. You're correct. That's nice. That is actually very nice. In case we should ever have an infection, which we will never have over here. That should basically be impossible unless I... Um. Wait, what happened over here? Didn't we have three of the spore kits? What happened here? Uh, <laughs> I am slightly flabbergasted because I didn't do a damn thing with him. Were they built on uh, uh, solid crude oil? I didn't pay attention. Did they literally just melt away? Or did they die because the crude oil got in there? I thought they were surrounded by abyssalite. But seriously, what happened over here? <laughs> <laughs> I was just looking at this. These here, this one here is still here, but it's a uh, eight million zombie spore germs. Please check your F nine. Um, yeah, there's nothing here. The only thing that we have is this here. Nothing got infected. The spore kids are dead. <laughs> I am. I got nothing. I have no idea what in the hell happened over here. I didn't do it, I swear to God. <laughs> I promise I didn't do it. <laughs> I think by now, we don't need this here anymore either. By the way. I didn't do it. <laughs> I'm gonna blame you anyway, son. I'm gonna blame you anyway. What happened to my glorious poor kids, man? <laughs> Yeah, uh, I don't have an explanation. That is actually insane. That is a first for me. I guarantee you that. I have no idea. I've never seen those just commit suicide by themselves without uh, active intervention. I'm a great scapegoat. <laughs> you are indeed. <laughs> While we were messing around on Smelina, then came by and just eradicated those things. Like it's absolutely nothing. The gold volcano is actually dormant. Seriously? <laughs> oh no. How are you doing over here? Overpressured. We have some digital circuits over on the left. Oh, right here you mean? Yeah, we are digging our way slowly but steadily towards that. I'm mainly trying to consolidate my oil over here. I thought that these reservoirs here would be enough that it wouldn't go over this area. Apparently, I'm dead wrong about that. <laughs> I remember when they first introduced the spore kids into germs many years ago. I still have flashbacks to the lost colony whenever I see a spore kid. Currently looking at eight of them on my screen. <laughs> I mean, if you're playing the DLC, radiation, all about radiation. <laughs> if in doubt, throw some radiation at it. We have more solid crude oil that we have to melt over here. We can just use the exact same tactic. We can just go with our liquid pump and pump oil over here in this, into this area when we have to. No problem. But yeah. Oh, look, Elfie's back. At least now we always know Elfie Jr. Uh, when we see this beautiful, beautiful Atma suit here. So, it's always a good thing. Radiation wasn't a thing back then? Yeah, I know it wasn't back then. But nowadays, what I'm saying is, radiation is your friend. <laughs> but yeah, sure enough, this thing here is actually currently dormant. 
That is insanity. Germs, radiation, annoying critters, radiation, <laughs> erectile dysfunction, radiation. <laughs> <laughs> I need to do something about this down here, though. That has to be priority because it's literally going to melt the entirety of this cold area. And I do not want that to happen. We need this cold area, especially since I really don't see another one. And that may be the only one on the entire planetoid. So it would be um, advisable, let's say, to keep this thing here alive and dig up as little ice as possible in the process. Um... How are we going to do this? That's the bigger question, probably. The wall's going to go right here. We need to get to right there, so we probably... Let's see. Where can we make our way down there? Probably here. And then just straight over. Something has to give. It's those few tiles right here. And that should be fine. Let me put in this thing here, uh, made out of igneous rock, of course. We're going to put it right down here through the middle. I'm going to come over here and down there. Something like this here is what we need desperately. And we will have it sooner rather than later. A couple more tiles that will have to go, otherwise we won't be able to enter here. That should be it. For a gold volcano to tame, we need a bunch of refined metals over here. So we should probably get started on that. Again, oxyfern seed. Why would I want that? Come on. Speaking of that, how is this base looking? This base is now amazing. The sublimation station is helping us greatly. And we still have 13.8 tons over here of sand. Uh, how is this base looking? Also a hell of a lot better. So yeah, sometimes the problem is as simple as literally changing the priority of the pipes. It was going in here, everything was going down here, and that was not going to work for our base. Now, at the bare minimum, every other package is going up, and it works. Just as simple as that. And in our infinite storage, we still have 4,000 kilograms at the bare minimum per tile. Very, very nice. Does anyone use plant mutations? I haven't really. At least not in a survival game. Um, I was actually planning on making a, a tutorial about it. I do know how it works, but it's just so time consuming. And the gain that you get out of it at the end of the day, just it, it just doesn't feel, you know, worth it. That's how I personally look at it, at least. Um, but yeah, let's see. We have 5.4 tons of steel. How about we take some of that steel and bring it where we need it most? <clears throat> um, refined metal. We will need some aluminum. Let's plop some of that in there right away. How much of that stuff do we actually have? Aluminum. Let's open it up. Two and a half tons. That's it. Where's the rest of my aluminum? Didn't I make a bunch? Got a sworn I did at some point. There you go. I should fix that problem. How did a stone hatchling egg end up down here? Like, seriously. What happened? Crazy. Uh, we can make this one here a stone hatchling egg for all I care. That's fine. Still, though, the hatchling egg. Let's get rid of that thing. And didn't we have a hatch in here? Yes, we do have a hatch in here. Move that thing. And move it to here. How does here sound? Does that work on critters? It sure as hell does. <laughs> okay, then. You just grab that sucker like it's nothing. Very good. Very, very good, actually. But yeah, we are getting our aluminum over there. So 
As soon as we have that, we're going to switch over to steel. For all I care, I can put all the aluminum over there. It's totally fine on this side here. We can always make more, and in an absolute worst case scenario, we can always send it back. It's uh, not that big a deal. So there's that. Most of it is gone. Let's go to steel. And let's plop some steel in there. And get that over there as well. How much does an aqua tuna cost? 1200, that's what I thought. Good. So let's try to get us at least 1200 kilograms of steel over there. Come on, give me the steel. There we go, another 80 kilograms. That's not really worth it. <clears throat> not really worth it. Bring me a little bit more. Come on, guys. Maybe I should increase the uh, priority a little bit actually get what I want. Give me the steel. Bring it over to the other planetoid. What are you doing? You dupes are killing me. There you have another 920 kilograms. That is now certainly enough. And then we can turn the steel back off as soon as this here is empty. Very good. All right. Plenty of aluminum and steel. Uh, we will need a little bit more, though. Probably... Uh, what are we going to slap over there? Iron. We should have plenty of iron around. So let's send that over as well. And that should be then most of the refined metals that we need. <clears throat> we need them for automation wires. We need them for all sorts of stuff. So that is definitely the number one thing that we need over there right now. Bring it on. Every last bit of it. A little bit more, a little bit more. Again, better too much than not enough. Always sucks if you're in the middle of the build and you have to send a little bit more. Just because you didn't have enough in the first place. That should now be plenty. Let's send a little bit that rest out that's in there. Sin was going to bring more. Nope, not going to do that. we got plenty now. Uh, what do we have entombed again? Oh, of course, we can't go to space anymore. Uh, anything else? Of course, our rocket once again. The meteor showers are upon us once again. But couldn't care less right now about that. Let's take a look. What do we have already here? Can we build now? In uh, utilities, our aqua tuner out of steel. Yes, we have 2,000. That is plenty that we need right here. Do we have enough space? Uh, use a blueprint. Right here is our timer. And we do, in fact, have plenty of space. Very, very good. Uh, we're just going to plop that in here. I said I will build the next one from scratch. But with two dupes, that is going to take forever. We are building, let me be more specific, I guess. We are going to build this aluminum volcano right here from scratch. Um, just because we have more dupes available, even though we're going to build everything step by step by step, it's still going to be a hell of a lot faster than trying to do the same thing over here with two dupes. Here we're just going to give them the command and call it a day. It's going to be this simple. Uh, no reason to mess around with two dupes for an extended period, uh, period, for an extended amount of time for no particular reason. There we have it. All right. Most of this stuff here obviously cannot be reached, cannot be built, yada yada. We have error messages all across the board, all around. Once again, you would think for no particular reason. But in this case here, they're actually correct because in skills, Brandon right here is not a mechatronics engineer. So as soon as we do that, most of those will disappear. And what is left over is, of course, we don't have the appropriate materials. Uh, because some of the stuff here is, for example, built out of gold. And we don't have gold. Not over here, at least. 
So we're gonna let them build as much as they can build, and then we will see what we have. Good luck with the two. Yes, I will need it. <laughs> um, we will also need us a fresh ladder. Uh, let's see. We need to get into here. So we're going to cancel this build. Cancel this build. Gonna open this here up so we can get through. And then right here we're gonna try to get in. Here and there. We are gonna come further up though. Too high. Gonna come across here. Unless we have slime lung in here. Which we do. Which is a problem. We need to be a little bit careful with that. Shouldn't be that big a deal though. Uh, it's just going to slow us down slightly. You here have slime line, don't you? You sure as hell do. So, um, where are we at? In base, do we have uranium over here? No, we don't. Yeah. <laughs> Let's hope they don't trap themselves. Oh, they will. They are dupes. <laughs> that, is, <laughs> that is the truest thing I've read all day. <laughs> I'm surprised nobody's trapped yet, let me put it this way. Let's go. And as a matter of fact, we're going to do it completely different. Right at the moment, before we build anything bigger, we have the time to actually make this here right and nice. Uh, right here, we have a four wide space. So right here, we're going to build us another liquid lock. We will need that for the vacuum anyway. So we might as well do that preemptively. And dig into here. There's no problem with heat or anything. Nope, all good. And then right here. I'm going to dig all this here out. That should be perfectly fine. And will effectively give us access to another liquid lock. Where we will have in the end enough space to um, actually have a pump right here to pump out the entirety of this area here as a vacuum, which is, of course, going to be good. Also, right there. We will see. I will wait as long as humanly possible uh, to uh, unveil this gold volcano because with only two dupes, again, it's going to take forever. Especially since we don't have any atmosphere or anything going on over here. And there also, one of them is a brand new dupe. He's extremely slow. And the other dupe, uh, Brandon here, has a few more levels, but he's still not the fastest on his feet, as we can see here. So chances are extremely high that this thing here will come online while we are still in the middle. But nonetheless, we are gonna give it a shot. Uh, chances are also that we are not going to be able to finish today. Because I've been streaming now for six hours almost. So, slowly but steadily, uh, you will have to think about ending it. We still have a little bit more time. Uh, but we don't have an infinite amount of that. Read this some time ago from a professional poker player. You have great skills playing the game if everyone tells you, you uh, tells you every time you are lucky. <laughs> true. Yes, that is very true. Uh. This conveyor chute here, we will not need it. Let's get rid of it. Um, that is, of course, just for my tutorial build. Therefore, we will actually come out here and all the way over to the base. So there's that. You have taken me closer to the Japan Formula, uh, Formula One start time. Only a few hours to go now. <laughs> well, at least you got something out of the stream, I guess. <laughs> We will probably need Igneous Rock over here, don't we? We don't have any of these 6.3 tons. That is not going to be enough to build all of this here. I'm pretty confident about that. But yeah. Let's see. The two dupe build a 
Volcano Tamer in time challenge. <laughs> I don't want to say it's Jay's fault, but it's definitely Jay's fault. Just saying. Let's get them a little bit more access around here. Is the cooler not a little bit small? Or don't you plan to geotune the gold volcano? Well, at the moment, I don't have any plans uh, to geotune it, but even geotuned, this thing here will easily handle it. Um, I have actually tested that before. No problem whatsoever. Come on, bears. I really need to give them some skill points in, like, uh, building, I guess. <laughs> uh, Morel needed 9, Morel needed 12. Can't really give him... Well, I could give him 1. Plus 2 construction. Anything helps at this point, I suppose. In here, we are not lucky enough to have anywhere some trapped oxygen, are we? Over here, we do. So that would actually help out. We could just build a piece of ladder right here, dig this up, and we should be good to go. You can't reach that because this is in the way. You should be able to get across here as soon as... Well, this thing here is still in the way. Um, what are we going to do here? We could dig up this Weezworth right here. We don't need it. It's just going to be in the way. And the radiation is not going to be helpful anyway over here. This one here I don't care about. But yeah, this one here we have to dig up. Just to get rid of the radiation. Uh, the dupes are going to spend a significant amount of time here. Did they finish the heat shield? Ah, uh, yeah. They didn't finish the heat shield. You were right. That was actually priority. There we go. You are right, I forgot about the damn heat shield. Thanks for the tip, I built my coolers much bigger. Yeah, this design here does work. Um, no problem whatsoever, actually. As long as you have enough steam in there. The steam, the amount of steam matters. Uh, if you have too little, it will not work, tuned or untuned. Um, I made a tutorial video about how to build this thing here, it's on my channel. And if you look through the comments, the number one reason why it's not working um, is that people don't put enough steam in there. Steam per tile, or better to say in this case, thermal mass does matter a great deal. I think this gold volcano tamer is going to be finished for in time for, it, for its next dormancy. Yeah, probably. Probably. Damn it, Shay. What did you do? And why are they still building up here if I gave this down here number 9 priority? Unreachable. Oh. That would explain that. Right here. Now it should be reachable, and now they should, hopefully, finish this heat shield here before they start working on this one here again. Now they have plenty to do, we just need to watch out for any error messages for trapped dupes. That is probably the biggest issue right now. These two here are about to melt. This one here is about to melt. So yeah, we did get so much more oil going on here, it's insanity. Absolute insanity. But the problem is still that my basin here is too small. So I guess we could dig over here and could also make this area here another extended version of it. We have more solid crew, but I think that's what it's got to be. We're going to make it three high. I'm trying to keep the abyssalite alive. Where are we hot? Here we are hot. So we need to leave this one here intact right here. We can go three high through there. All the way over to here. 
then let the oil drain into here and start melting down this solid crude oil here as well. That will take a while. That stuff is at almost negative 50 degrees. And then we're going to make this one here another oil reservoir all the way down to right there. Thanks, I will rewatch the guide. Absolutely. I kind of want to use this area right here to um, dig into the magma and then use it to uh, flash over the crude oil to petroleum. That's why I'm trying to keep the oil out of this area here as much as I can, but due to the sport kit accident, that didn't really happen. So I'm not entirely sure now how to get rid of all this oil here, especially since we're getting more and more and more. It just does not end. Like, how much oil is there on this map? That shouldn't even be a thing. There we go. Slowly but steadily, our uh, heat shield is being built. Pumps. Yes, that is probably going to be the answer. Like I just said to somebody, I can't remember who on my Discord channel the other day, if in doubt, just throw power at it. <laughs> or radiation, I guess, one or the other. Preferably both. That was actually you? <laughs> That's funny. But at least that, that makes you see, I live by my own advice. If in doubt, throw power at it. Buy another name. Now I actually have to look at my Discord. Hold on one second. Where are we at? Uh, where is the... If in doubt, throw power at it. Oh, yeah. Now I see. And your advice worked. <laughs> uh. Okay. Couple more pieces of ladder and the heat shield is complete. And our cold area should be just fine. Especially since we still have all these wheeze words right here. And these wheeze words right here, again, they're not just good for radiation. They're also cooling, so that works just fine. making sure that thing is still dormant of course by now ignis rock is out so we're gonna send a few tons of this stuff over there oh, let's see here ignis rock i'm on priority build that sucker up how much do we have left over here 221 tons probably should keep this here a little bit on my list to watch 227 wasn't 100 wasn't it a hell of a lot less earlier like a lot less? I guess we dug a lot. <laughs> Let's see. Build us a few ladders, not into the solid crude oil. We do want to still dig, dig that out, of course. Um, but we want to also dig underneath it so we can encapsulate it in our crude oil. That is the most efficient way. I think so, yes, but you have been digging in oil biomes. Yeah, there's certainly igneous rock around here. I do remember the number 144, I believe, if I'm not completely mistaken. There we go. That looks a little bit better. And once we get further down here, hopefully our oil level will drop, even though we will get a lot more out of this stuff here it does not end look at all this here holy cow it just will not end <laughs> it's how long have you been digging in this oil biome by now look at the amount you remember when we started and it was about this big right here 
It was literally just this corner. Now it's all of this. And hit still is nowhere near the end. Absolute insanity. We still have 22,000 kilocalories over here. That is something else we need to keep in mind. So that is certainly something we need to make sure that we send food over here when we need it. How much do we have over here? 130,000 the area golden. No problem. Could be a little bit more, but it's not going to kill us. As our water is war looking, it's getting lower. We need to dig up some more ice, probably. That would be the quickest solution to the problem. Or at least the simplest solution, I guess. Um, where do we have a nice amount of ice? We could just dig up this area. We could dig up this area. It literally doesn't make a difference. Therefore, let's just dig straight into here. Dig into there. And dig into here. Uh, all this here is still reachable. Everybody can walk through here. Probably so. Should be fine. Somebody's going to get trapped anyhow. Or melt some ice for double the water. Yeah, we could do that too, right? We could melt some water. How's our piping looking? We do have a pipe that goes all the way up here. And all the way up here. And literally ends right there. That would actually be a predestined position for it. Okay. All right. You got me. You are 100% correct, Jay and Kionis. Oh, Kionis, you were referring to the uh, uh, to the oil. That is now indeed expanding. Yes, you can't deny it. <laughs> How are we going to melt it, though? Um, um, simplest solution is, as usual, to just throw power at it, probably. Since it's not really urgent, we could literally just put a space heater down here. I mean, who cares at this point, right? Power is certainly a problem of the past. Um, looking at you here specifically. <laughs> so it's not really... Uh, that we are looking for the most efficient method. We are looking for the simplest method at this point. The oil level definitely didn't look like a lot at first. I know we looked at this and we were like, okay, that's cool. It's a little bit of frozen oil. Yay, let's go. And yeah, it didn't turn out to be that way, did it? <laughs> Space heater. You know what? Screw it. Let's make it straight out of steel. Just because we can. <laughs> and plop it in there. How much igneous rock did we feed over to Smelina by now? Let's take a look here. We have igneous rock. 10 tons. That should be plenty. Probably can stop it right around now. Um, where you at? There you are. Let's go. Anything else I can do at this moment over here? Probably not. Starvation. What you doing, Jay? Get yourself some food. Come on. But yeah, other than that. Dig underneath, fill below the uh, below the ice with water or petroleum and build a liquid tepid as a much more efficient. You're not wrong. You are absolutely not wrong. Um I mean, right here. We could literally just fill this here up. You know what? You're correct. Even though, again, I said we don't care about power. Um, 
if there is a better mousetrap that happens to be as simple as this one mainly because we do have the abyssalite right here might as well go all the way down fill the sucker up with oil and then go from there and as a matter of fact we don't even need a bloody bottle emptier because we happen to have a pipe right here that is connected to oil all we have to do is build anywhere where it fits a uh, liquid vent uh, then we're just going to close off this right side here with normal touts, specifically normal touts. I'm going to get rid of the algae as well. And we're just going to heat up this entire area right here. I like it. I like it. That makes perfect sense. And as I always say, I'm always open for suggestions. I don't mind that at all. Which is actually, for me at least, another... Uh, fun part about streaming because more eyes usually come up with more solutions and that's a good thing liquid tepid acids are so boring but they solve many problems <laughs> I mean space heaters are not really uh, any more exciting I guess who is dying Brandon what you doing how about we dig this up and then get the hell out of there? You not feeling it or what? Oh, you dupes. Yeah, but space heaters don't solve problems. They do solve some problems. <laughs> All right, very good. That is coming along. Don't worry about the thermal sensor gear, we will need one of those. But at the moment we don't even have... Well, they built that instantly. <laughs> they did build that thing instantly. Uh, yeah, the dupes on this planetary currently really don't have a hell of a lot to do. I mean, they even cleaned up most of this stuff right here. I mean, there is still a lot here because we dug a lot more. But most of it, <laughs> compared to earlier, is gone. So how about we give them something to do if they are literally that bored? So let's just go across here one more time. Everything that is in any way, shape or form reachable. Let's uh, suck it up. <laughs> Bring it home. Uh, what about this stuff in here? We can reach all of that. How about the stuff over here? There we go. Completely missed that. Bring it all up to the base where it belongs. This one here we can't reach. What do we have down here? Oh, it's brine eyes. Yeah, we don't have a storage for that. That's actually crazy. There is not a hell of a lot left to even pick up for the dupes. <laughs> Gotta love it. Um, right here we have aluminum ore, dirt. None of that's going to be a big problem. Just have to dig two tiles in and we're good. All right, that's good. All we need now is oil, and we're going to plop that in right away. All we have to do is this, and here comes the oil. It's going to be about as simple as it can be. Over here, of course, the carbon dioxide will get a little bit in the way, but fuck it, it's okay. Not going to be an issue in any way, shape, or form. At least nothing that we care about too much. And then we're just going to heat it, send a green signal if below, and let's say it's 30 degrees. To rip it in there. Not submerged in liquid, that should solve itself really quickly. And as soon as that error goes away, we're going to turn off the oil. I'll just speed it up a little bit. Come on. 
And the nice thing is, if we want to get rid of the oil again, we just have to reverse the flow. We're just going to get rid of the liquid tepidizer, put a pump in. <laughs> uh, once the oil is in place, you could build some metal tiles to keep the oil and water separate and transfer heat. Um, to keep the oil and metal separate, it should hopefully keep itself somewhat separate. I am going to put a wall up right here, though. Um, there shouldn't really be anything where the water can break through, no matter the pressure. All we need is to get rid of those two tiles right here. Um, and we're going to put in a wall and uh, going to dig out the top layer right here. So there's a nice basin for the water. Um, it's going to take a little bit of a little, little while to... Um, Heat up the Cygnus rock right here. There we have it. Now we have enough uh, liquid in here. It can get a little bit more until it touches the top here, I suppose. It's probably uh, the most efficient. But yeah, we can see the Ignis rock is already heating up. Negative 23 and so on and so forth. We're going up. And right here, we're just going to come up with a wall. And then we have the dupes. Come on. Don't save. There we go. Dig down four tiles and put a ladder across so they can keep on walking. Actually, let's put another tile right there. There we go. Could also then go ahead once it's a little bit more molten. Um, we're going to go down deeper. We should be able when we are here to come back back up. Yeah, all that is totally fine. Going to be a pretty simple operation here. more oil is coming maybe a little bit faster guys what are we doing over here looks like we're making progress very good uh, this second steam turbine right here we uh, don't want to build just want to dig it up there we go we do still want to go up here though that is uh, required and then we are just going to irradiate this slime here step by step through. It's not really important. But it'll get the job done. Anything else that we have uncovered by now? Doesn't really look like it. It's still dormant though, so that's a good thing. Yeah. I'm probably going to be here for another 10 minutes or so. I'm going to call it a day at 10 o'clock Eastern. Ugh, considering we started today at 3.30. I think that is a good time. So we are definitely not going to see this thing here run today. Not even sure if it's going to be next stream. <laughs> the speed that they're working. But right here we have now enough oil. More than enough oil as a matter of fact. So let's cut this here off. Thank you so much for streaming for us. Oh, absolutely. It's a hell of a lot of fun. I thoroughly enjoy myself here, not gonna lie. If I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it. It's that simple. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a hell of a lot of fun hanging out with you guys every single time so far. I cannot say that I had anything close to a quote-unquote bad stream yet where I didn't enjoy it. Let's see. Negative 3, negative 21.3. Fortunately, I would really get, like to get rid of this here. Always fun last stream space, and <laughs> this one fartland. <laughs> and next time around, uh, like I already hinted uh, this time around, I am um, considering going to space next time around. Not necessarily space space, uh, but at the bare minimum, send a dupe, which will be soon, by the way, for an extended period of time into space with a quote-unquote real rocket to get us some data banks so we can advance our research here a little bit more. Because at the moment, we are lagging behind a bit on that. And by the way, we need to research our spacefarer module while we are speaking of it. Uh, where did we stop? Right here. You can build a metal tile there to delete the CO2 and increase heat conduction. You're not wrong. You're 100% correct. We're going to do precisely that. And while we're at it, we're going to build it out of aluminum. Because 
Screw it. We gotta do it. Uh, D3 or four tiles here can be dug up. And then this here, we're just gonna use this here as is. As a natural barrier. You know what, all, what else I could do? I could go to utilities and grab me a temp shift blade. Made out of diamond. And I could plop a couple of those in as well. For example, right above here, I could put one right here and I could put one right there. And then I could have put even one more right over here. Let's try that out. Let's see how that goes. You have done 10 times as much as I have while you streamed and I pl and I played. I play so slow. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. And honestly, I feel like we didn't even get that much done, sadly enough. I mean, we built this fancy timer right here. It's probably the biggest accomplishment. Everything else was just messing around, really. <laughs> uh. Let's see here. This thing here works really nicely now. So the old design, and once again, this is not my design. I'm not. I'm not going to take credit where it's not due. This is actually a very old design by Francis John. I just modified it slightly. Like for example, he had his temp, uh, his temp shift plates, and it's uh, from like five years ago, I believe, all the way around here. Which nowadays is of course frowned upon because the temp shift plates will transfer heat into the insulated tiles right here. So these things here would be hotter as uh, hotter than hell right now um, if he would have done that. So definitely put a very, very slight modern uh, spell on it, but that's about it. Brandon, what are you doing? Get out of there. Oh, you dupes. Are you going all the way down there to breathe? Of course you are. Why wouldn't you? But yes, this here looks a hell of a lot better now. All right, looking good, looking good. Um, all we can do is watch this here and hope that nobody dies a horrible death. That's what it comes down to. We have our temp shift plates right here. We are at 28 degrees now. That's a hell of a lot better. Oh, yeah. And we are only heating the stuff here to 30 degrees right now. Maybe I should go 20 degrees higher. Not like that our water instantly gonna flash into 50 degrees or anything. Should be okay. Should be totally fine. Um, I know I'm hilarious and I make it fun for you. I mean, everyone else is like smart with, with suggestions, so that's there too. Yeah. Hey, everybody needs a class clown, right? <laughs> seriously everyone here is cool great hanging out with everyone i couldn't agree more sin i mean i'm pretty happy that i have now streamed what probably a total across all streams that i've done what 60 hours or so and i hadn't i didn't have to delete a message i didn't have to thankfully ban anybody from the channel everybody is just nice hanging out having a good time that's how that should be so yeah i mean i personally couldn't be much happier yeah, I know the second tally is not reachable. Todd, I just noticed that myself while looking at the screen and talking. Um, Jay says, I think a lot of people play only slow streamers after all are selected for being able to play fast. I mean, yeah, I mean, just doing nothing would be pretty boring, I would presume. So it is definitely something that you always have to have something to do, right? Because otherwise... Um, who is going to watch me just sitting here and doing nothing? <laughs> so the, the, the most difficult part, honestly, is to come up with ideas, a life, what to do. Like if I make a video, it's pretty straightforward, right? I have all the time in the world to come in here, to look at my map, uh, to dig something up. I can just cut out whatever the hell I want, whatever is boring while live streaming. All that stuff that is usually cut out in a video, in a YouTube video, now is here and i cut it out because it's boring as hell uh so how do you make that interesting while streaming that is most definitely <laughs> the biggest struggle not gonna lie about that okay now when we get this one here going it should heat up this area here a hell of a lot quicker i would hope we should see almost an instantaneous change 
That would be the idea. We are 34.6. And yes. <laughs> that is exactly what I was hoping for. Very nice. Uh, so this here is all going to be molten. We are going to reuse the pipe that we already have. Yeah, we are good. Looking good. Be to your board vlog. Sounds more fun than my old life journal. <laughs> I agree, no rush for anything, even making the rolly. <laughs> I take my time. Yeah, there is nothing wrong with it. Yeah, the snow melted. I think pretty sure those were two snow tiles. The ice will take another few seconds here. But yeah, it's gonna come. It's gonna go. It has no choice. It will budge one way or another. I loved the radiation infinite storage and was figuring what else I could do with something similar. Oh yeah, that's a, that's a beauty, honestly. <laughs> and I'm also not going to lie about it. This is the first time that I actually built this thing here and tried it. I assumed it would work because why wouldn't it? But I actually did not know if it would when I built it. Life on stream, I was like, well, if it's a failure, it's a failure. Who gives a shit? Um, but it works like a charm, as it turns out. Sandstone and aluminum ore. Give me the stones. Yeah, we can't reach this tile here. Aluminum ore. Dirt. I'm worried about the dirt that the water, once it melts, will go through the dirt. It will not go through the igneous rock or the aluminum ore, but the dirt does worry me slightly. But yeah, even this over here should be going, especially once we get to the point where this uh, snow here melts. Um, that's all we need. A little bit of fluid along this abyssalite right here, heated up by this tile right there, and the rest here should melt pretty quickly as well. That should work without an issue whatsoever. And here we already have it more and more is actually melting down. Look at the snow just going. <laughs> That is pretty good. You could break into the melted water and corner build another temp shift plate. We could try to here with the igneous rock, I guess. I would have to have a ladder here, but nobody can stand on it. Would that work? I don't think that would work. Before using aqua tuners to boil the toilet and shower water, I used them very much to get rid of germs. Yeah, that's certainly a way to do it. It's, again, that, that is why Oxygen Not Included is such an ingenious game. Because to get one thing done, there are so many options what you can do. Like, hey, look at this ice right here. I can dig it up and I can melt it somewhere else. I can use a liquid tepidizer. I can use a, um, um, a spice heater. I can use an aqua tuner. Like, there are so many options of things that I can do to accomplish the same exact way. Uh, the same exact result, I mean. It's just the beauty of this game. There is no other way to say it, right? That is what makes Oxygen Included probably one of the best games ever made and definitely one of the most underrated games that uh, have ever existed. But... I said I would stop at 10 o'clock, now it's 10.02, so I think um, the point is reached. Um, life since 6 hours and 30 minutes, um, I would say that is more than enough, the longest stream ever. And I feel like I already said that after the last stream, so getting, it's getting more and more. But yeah, I would say thank you guys all for joining, of course, as always, especially the people that have been here from the very beginning. You've been sitting here with me for six hours and 30 minutes. You guys are absolutely insane. And I am not going to lie when I say I loved every single second about it. 
Um, of course, Sin, thank you very much for your five gifted memberships. You are the true MVP here. Uh, you are awesome. But yeah, I will be back latest next week on Saturday, I believe. Actually, next week. I'm not sure yet. It could be Sunday. I need to see. Um, next week on Saturday. I think there's something going on. I need to check with my girlfriend. Not entirely sure what the, what the idea is. But yeah, we will definitely figure it out. And as soon as I know it myself, I will let you guys know on Discord. Of course, the stream notification will come about an hour or two hours before the stream starts. As usual, if you haven't joined the Discord yet, this is a good time. If you need any help with the game, once again, on Discord, always happy to help if I have time. And there are many other people, very knowledgeable people on the Discord that are always happy to help out a fellow Oxygen Not Included player. But yeah, I would say that is all I have for you today. And with that, I say thank you and peace.